Mic check, mic check. Mic check, one, two, mic check. Mic check, one, two, mic check. Mic check.
Welcome to the game. Hey, hey, welcome here at Live at the Bike. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble on social media. I'm super excited to be at this lineup here today, at Live at the Bike here at the Park West Bicycle Casino. We got a lot of action-packed players in the lineup tonight, featured by Big Bet Matt Berkey. We got Masato in the game. We got birthday boy Johnny Vibes trying his birthday luck on the felt today. Should be an action-packed quarter 50 game. We got a lot of big buy-ins. We got PB buying in for 50 grand. All the buy-ins anywhere from 10 to 50 grand so far today. 25, 50, mm -hmm. 50 any. Probably be a lot of straddles with the big stack sizes. Should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to the action here today. On a wet, rainy day here in Los Angeles. I'm sure things will heat up here shortly now that we got all these chips on the table. Everybody's looking to gamble, it looks yes. like. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, no. So sad. So sad. You can always offer it to bump it up. Round of straddles, guys. Well, <laughs> uh, now she's six. Almost on cue. They're talking about the straddles kicking in, so. Attainable. All right, sorry, yeah, it was uh, Berkey for 200, and then 12 from the Masato. Oh, stand-up game? And then 3,000 from the No, 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 not yet. Action packed out the gate here. Masato with Ace King, Berkey with pocket tens here. 15K effective right out the gate here. They have the ingredients for potentially a 30k no. pot here right, right off the top. Or not. Like steamy. Very. Very, okay. I almost opened to 300. 10 seconds. Hand one. Look at what we got brewing here. Big Bet Berkey Masato. Right, Pocket tens versus Ace King. <laughs> Do you have anything good? Yes. Masato calls the core bet here with Ace King. All right. Heads up to the flop here. Yes. Queen, 4-3 with two hearts. Berkey with the pocket tens. Masada with the ace king also has the ace of hearts. Already got 6K in this pot as we saw a flop here. Masato flatted Berkey's four bet with the ace king. Now he's going to check call 1,200 here. Offsuit six. Going to pot control and check this back here as we head to the river. Pairing six. Pretty good run out here for Berkey's pocket tens. Probably only really feel full of losing to possibly, possibly like a pocket jacks or an ace queen, king queen type of hand, perhaps. Mm. Perhaps. I'm afraid you had five six. <laughs> now I think I win. <laughs> ace high. Yeah, I win. Whoops, nice sorry. start here for Berkey. Ah, fair enough. Ah, you had a real one. So did you. What are you doing there? Let's go. <laughs> Put it in. Ah, what the luck box. Put it in. Funky. Wow, we are out of line today. Ah. 2550. All right, I'm going to need stand-up game, uh, <laughs> double war bomb pots, once in orbit. Bare minimum. Looks like Berkey's not uh, satisfied with the 2550 level of action given the stack sizes. I understand that. I anticipate this is going to be 50, 100, probably more than quarter 50 is my hunch. But we shall see here as the action heats up here at the Park West Bicycle Casino. Live at the back, brought to you by Bally's. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. Thanks for tuning in on YouTube and Twitch. We appreciate all the likes and comments I'm seeing in the, in the chat here. Thanks for that. I'm always with you. Uh, 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 he's coming. Are you a race car driver? <laughs> so you're very good then. Ah, yeah. Don't stop. It was 200 from Berkey, then Paul, raise 1,000, re raise 1,000 from Berkey. For 3,000 from Berkey. Uh, 15 plus whatever I just beat him for. <laughs> So 19 something. Yeah, about, about yeah, 19, 5. 19. 2550 is a big game. You guys should slow down. It was 3,000 from Berkey. Oh, Ishan. Another right. big pot here. Berkey with the pocket. Queens, queen 4 2 all hard flop. Berkey off to a flying start here. 12. 
Oh. We got pocket tens versus ace king the first hand. Now we got pocket queens versus pocket jacks. Everybody, real quick. Oh shit! I want to do a happy birthday to Johnny. Woo! Three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. We are playing the forfeit bus. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear Johnny. Give him ten more seconds. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Thank you. Shout out to high quality <laughs> vloggers. Thank you, guys. You guys are not allowed to get lucky on me today. It's yeah. birthday request. <laughs> wow. My timing was horrible. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. We are off to quite the eclectic start here at Live the Bike. We got two four bet pots, the first two hands. We got a birthday like cake ceremony. Who knows what we'll see the rest of the night. Uh, happy birthday song. <laughs> Tough spot for PP here. He's got the jacks with the jack of hearts, but ah, he's going to get out of the way there. Pretty tough turn there for the jacks. If I win 4K per hand, 2550 is not so bad. Yeah. Like, you know, keep it in two hands, one 4K, one 4K each. Four bet, four bet. Four bet, four bet. See if we can keep the four bet streak going here. Four bet. Two for two so far. Oh. <laughs> four bet, four bet, 4K, 4K. Ah, 4K pahan. Wow. <laughs> How much are you going to win today? More than yesterday, somehow. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to win 100,000 today. Like 100K a the day blinds, hour. The blinds don't matter. Uh, 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 Throw down. Oh, wow. okay. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't want to throw down. <laughs> Okay, okay. I believe you. Just a call. <laughs> okay. Heads up. Thank you. Check. Three. Three hundred. I believe you. Oh. Masato land the trap here at the A6. Check. Check. Can get another bluff here from Brown Bala. Looks like he's going to check back as well. Looks <coughs> like Bala's going to give it up here, and Pot's going to go to Masato. Yeah, my fast tonight. Michael, can I see a lot of birthday wishes for Johnny Vibes in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody, for that. It's very nice. And actually, we're going to be giving up a giving away a free YouTube channel upgrade for those once we get up to 200 likes. So feel free to like and subscribe. And once we get up to 200 likes, we will be picking a random active poster in the thread. So definitely feel free to. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and once we get to 200 yeah, likes, we're going to be giving away a YouTube channel so membership. Now. So oh, yeah. now you know. Now you know. Congratulations <laughs> to whoever wins that nice little upgrade. I'm feeling me a doubt out the rest of the day. Can't match those opening two pots. Thank you. Ah. Are you guys brothers? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? He's a race car driver. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Why do you think so? You guys look similar. <laughs> Are you even Japanese? No. I didn't think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see. Actually, he looks like Japanese. For me. For me as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
default. Oh. Default. Default. Oh. Huge flop here for Johnny Vibes with a king eight of hearts and this king ten nine two heart flop here. Pippi with the gut shot straight draw to the queen. Burke with the double gutter as well. Seven makes him a straight. Seven. Or a queen, although the queen will be the sucker side if he's in there with Pippi as well. Not quite familiar with how Pippi's going to play today. He's one of the newcomers to line up the bike. Got a couple of newcomers in the lineup today. Curious to see how they play. He's going to fold his gut shot on that two heart King 10 9 flop. It's going to be between Berkey and the, the birthday boy Berkey. vibes now. Absolute brick here, two of clubs. Check. Oh, Johnny. Burke is going to check over to Vibes. Put the glasses on. Interesting. I need to get some cool sunglasses. Hmm? I need to get some cool sunglasses. Yeah. It's going to bet 1,700 into this 26 row. Our pot. Burke is going to give it up. Yes. What a very weird opening. Uh, <laughs> Bit of a compromising to have an open and straight draw on a two heart board. Obviously, you're, if you make a straight that makes a heart, it's a little more complicated. And a couple of the straights were to the lower side as well. Because okay. so. there was a king and two hearts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could already be drawing dead to the queen jack, obviously. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> What? Oh, I didn't scare you. No, I had it. Uh, you had, had it. it. I had a fucking <laughs> ace, man. I don't want to walk. Wow. Wow. Everybody's scary. <laughs> uh, every time sitting there, like 3,000, 4,000. Uh, they don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to play with you. Me neither. First, first time we sit down, folds me on the button. <laughs> I open 4x. Asado, 24x. <laughs> what? Not 24x. I yeah. mean, uh, 24 big brand. Yeah. Uh, 24 uh, big brand. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh. Not 24x. 24x sounds crazy. Same. Did he show you? Was he bluffing? No, we both had it. Oh. I forbid his ass. Yeah. Oh. And then he, and then they he powered. Oh. And you jam? No, oh. yeah, I just. He should have. Oh my oh. god. He got scared. Yeah, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know 15,000 of real American dollars. You know? No, I, I know he never fought with a pocket to five, so he's right. <laughs> So you know, I, I was on, yeah, I know I was, no, no, I call, I call, and the uh, prop comes like queen, deuce, four, whatever, and uh, uh, check, 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 I was, I was so tilted, I, this morning I woke up and I changed my flight, but apparently I didn't click confirm, and it's free to change your flight on Southwest. Yeah. So I just went to check in right before the stream, and it's like, you already missed your flight. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, like, I changed yeah. it. So I bought a new one, it's $175, and I'm like so tilted over $175, but it's literally one raise in this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I booked a JSX flight for after the stream, but I think I may have accidentally booked it three separate times mm. uh, because it wasn't accepting my CVV code or whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, no, and I looked at my email, and the receipt has like... They shouldn't let you buy it three times. <laughs> They, they should know that you I'll can't sit that. there. Yeah, time. and it's the same confirmation number on all the responses, okay. but I do have three responses. Okay. So I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm worried I bought it three times, but if so, they'll like they'll give me a refund, I think. Yeah, for sure. One you guys are wondering what the JSX is that Berkey's referring to. Cash, and so he was trying to pay the stripper with PayPal. 
tries to pay. He tries to send her 1,000. He gets the error. It didn't go through. He tries seven times. He keeps getting the same error. And then the day after, he looks at his thing, and they all went through. And then, and then he contacted PayPal, and he was like, I need my 7,000 back. Like, I was just trying to send it one time. Did they refund him 6,000? Oh, here, okay. Did he get all 7,000 back? He got it back eventually, but it took a few months. <laughs> nice flop for Bala here with the Queen Eight of Hearts. Yeah. Queen, 10, 3, rainbow flop. James not believing with the pocket fours. He's going to tag along on this turn card. Repeating 10 on the turn here. Queen, Check. 10, 3, 10 of clubs now. Check. Check around. Check. Check. Queen. Ah. Check around. And they were talking about flights that uh, Berkey mentioned JSX. That's a Jet Suite X, which is a pretty popular little jet service that a lot of uh, higher stakes poker players like to use. Yeah, when you get too good for Spirit in Southwest, story. that's what your option ends up being. So He didn't even get any dances because the stripper was like, oh, it didn't go through. So he paid seven thousand dollars for nothing. And she the got the, she got the seven thousand the next day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how. Yeah, but she, but she ended up he, giving it back. Obviously, she probably if she probably got it back. Who knows? Maybe she maybe that was like PayPal paid it back. Because right? Because like if it went through the day after, like she could have just cashed it out, and then it's not like PayPal can get it back from her. One fifty. I think. They can like put a hold on your account until you pay it back. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably. <coughs> they could do something like that. Yeah. At the evil six 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 slop here between Vibes and Pippi. Anybody else cold? Mm, a little cold, yeah. I'm breathing my ass off. It's worth the three and nine. Yeah, it's just to see. It's to see. It's, it's, like, it's right above me. Yeah, it's blowing right on me. Ah. Oh. Limping is so contagious. Limping, limping. Ah! No, limping. It's like COVID, though. Yeah? It's expensive for you? Different colored yeah. bracelet on today. We'll see. I know bye. this is going to happen. Bye bye, bye, 50. Yeah. bye, bye, 50. Bye, bye, 50. Trying to take this down pre flop with a big blind race to 500 with King Jack off. But ah. Birthday boy vibes gonna tag along. 450 more with 9 7 of diamonds. I thought you see different color bracelets today. Yeah, yeah, I know. Every day different. Every day different. Every day different color. We're gonna be heads up at this flop between Nick and Johnny Vibes. 10 8 4. Pretty great flop for Johnny well, Vibes. He's got the open ended on the, on the rainbow three flop. Three to get a new bracelet. Nick came up empty as well. This King Jack off. Curious to see if Vibes plays this as a call or a raise. There are 10k effective behind here. He's going to play it as a call. Interesting turn. Vibes picks up the lead with a pair of nines. Also gives Nick an open in straight draw, however. Vibes currently a 3 to 1 favorite on that turn card. We got 2k in the pot. 11. He's going to bet a little over half pot here at 1100 when check two. Interesting spot for Nick now. Looks like he's going to play it as a check call as we see this river here heads up. 4200 in the pot, 8800 behind for Nick. 
repeating four on the river, four clubs, ten, eight, four, nine, four. Backdoor clubs comes in. Check, check, check. King high. And Vibe's going to take it down with the second pair here. Open ender wow, found a pair and it held. Johnny. Nice hand there for Johnny Vibes. Pretty impressed with Johnny Vibes playing on his birthday. I was actually shaking in that hand because I was so cold. <laughs> and then the air conditioning turned off like on the turn, so I stopped shaking. I always feel weird about playing on my birthday well. or a holiday. I don't know, it just feels like I'm not supposed to be at a casino on my birthday or Christmas or 4th of July or something like that. I typically take those days off poker wise. It just feels like bad luck playing on your birthday or playing on a big holiday. But uh, I'm very curious to test this theory out with Vibes today, though, now that he's playing on his birthday. He's off to a good start so far. Hopefully he has a big birthday heater upcoming here. And I see we are approaching 200 likes on the YouTube stream. Definitely feel free to smash that subscribe and like button. Once we get up to 200 likes, we are going to be giving away a YouTube channel membership upgrade. It will be a random assignment, so we'll be checking the chat and following the likes and seeing who's been posting and who's been active. Curious to uh, see who the lucky winner is on that one. Thanks for participating in the Twitch and YouTube chat. We appreciate it. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble. I'm a Long-time cash game professional. Game is a lot different than the forehand. Is yeah, <laughs> mostly no limit and pot limit Omaha for the most part. That yeah, one started seven-handed. Yeah. True. We lost all the necks. Yeah. <laughs> Got a pretty active talkative table looks like today, so I'm gonna do my best to try to stay out of the way so you guys can capture all the essence at the table, but I'll try to find some moments to tune in and. Chime in with some strategy insights Are or some like that game today too? general tomfoolery. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll do a change to find out. All right. Hold. This is going to tilt me. No. <laughs> what I feel that. like it's possible that someone has 0% VPIP. Yeah. One dealer can yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. I handed. Yeah. <laughs> can be. I don't think it's even that unlikely. In my mind, when I folded there, that was me saving the 175 on my mm. flight. I'm glad you're off tilt now. Yeah. <laughs> you're taking the fold, 9 o'clock flight? Fold. Yeah, southwest. Yeah, yeah, like last one out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second to last one out, mm. I think. If I miss JSX, I'll be there with you. I've actually never flown JSX. You have to, um, you have to go through like an approval process to get like, you know, it's amazing. Really? Just show up and they put you on a plane. Oh. Oh. No security, nothing. Yeah. Is it the same terminal uh, in LA? Uh, LAX, it's it's like right off of Check. the airport. It's a, okay. a private airfield or whatever. You don't have to go through the, the round no. circle thing? No. Okay. It's super easy to get. And then in Vegas, is it at the regular airport? No, Check. it's... Uh, Check. It's off of Las Vegas Boulevard. I know exactly where the helicopters yeah. are. Yeah, okay. yeah. Actually, pretty good location to get in and out of. Yeah, I mean, like the flight I'm taking tonight is just it double the cost of Southwest. Okay. I think it's 300 bucks. Okay. And it's like you can get there 20 minutes before the flight. Yeah. No hassle. I do have the global entry and the TSA three. That's nice. Also, that last flight on Southwest is. No, yeah. Like, nobody's in the airport. You know what else? I, I noticed I just booked it and then checked in. I was in the A group. Yeah, yeah. Which is, like, not normal for checking in eight hours in advance. Yeah. You got to take the one after that. That's the, uh, that's the stripper flight. Mm. Ever infamous stripper flight. Yeah, San Diego. From San Diego, there was always strippers on the flight. So yeah. LA, San Diego, the weekend. to Vegas run. For all you single fellows out there. <laughs> uh, before I bought at Panorama, I was renting. Mm -hmm. And the unit that I was renting, my neighbor upstairs was a stripper, I think. 
and she was like bringing clients home at like five in the morning and having sex, like loud sex. So I would, it was like my alarm clock, but I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to wake up that early though. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> People out there making a living vibes. Man, you would think trying you to get, get your Z's. Soundproofing at panel. <laughs> you know what? It's really good. That, so she was just extra loud, I think. Or, there, or maybe it, putting on a performance. You know? Or maybe it was like a, a vent yeah. that was like oh, yeah. traveling right. through. The perils or perks of living in Vegas. Yeah. 150, full, full. 150, full, full. One call. One call. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Nick. What made you uh, change your mind to stay? Um, so my, I was gonna go to San Diego last night to see my wife, but I wasn't gonna be able to get in until like one in the morning, 1.30 in the morning. And then secondly, when I talked to my wife today, two of her friends, girlfriends are going with her on the flight to Vegas today. Yeah. And they had like a dinner plan and stuff. Oh, okay. And I figured I, it was because they cut the steaks in half and there was no shot in hell of you getting even. No. I just, thought you were just masochist. No. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just figured we already kind of had the plans in place, so. Looks like Masato not buying this flop bet here by Nick. Perhaps trying to make a play, but he's going to duck out of the way. <laughs> No, mm -hmm. uh, they parted ways a couple months ago. Oh, okay. He's doing something with WSOP, T or sorry, WSOP uh, play money. Mm. Yeah. Are they gonna use him as an avatar? I don't know. They did. Uh, they did like some big commercial shoot in Florida with like the whole roster. It was like him, Adam Hendricks. Uh, Rampage. Sorry, what? Rampage. Rampage. Um, Espen. Sam Abernathy. Mm. I saw the commercial, it came out really well. Oh. It seems like the budget was there. Yeah. Johnny Vibes picking up the pocket queens as we head to this three way flop. Ace, nine, five with two diamonds. Tough flop here for Vibes. Follow this, pick up the diamond draw. Vibes gonna see bet 300 into 525 here. Berkey gonna call it the pair of fives. Ball gonna complete with these seven high diamonds. Three ways to this turn. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Music to Brown Bala's ears. Can make a straight flush with a six of diamonds as well, but not needed. He's firmly in the lead here now. Berkey with the plane here. It looks like he's going to call this turn as we head to the river here. Heads up, 2200 in the pot now. Bala first to act. I assume Berkey's calling that turn to apply pressure on the river. Let's see what happens here. 15. 15. But 
no luck. Looks like Berkey's maybe try to pick that up on check two, but Bala did not give him that option. Nice hand there for Brown. Bala might have worked out better for him. It looks like perhaps had he checked, I assume Berkey's not checking back a pair of fives there, but we shall never know. Nice he hand there for Brown Bala. Huh? You check turn, you make more money. <laughs> maybe. If you had a flush, you'd make more money. <laughs> If not, I just river you. Mm. Oh. Queen's no diamond? Waking up the queens now. He's gonna make it 150 from the hijack. Four five. Five three eight. Four five. Ace nine six with two spades. No aces among the field here. Let's go to check through. Seven of spades on the turn, bringing in a spade flush. If he does have the queen of spades with his pocket queens. Berkey with an ambitious bet of 300 here into this flush turn and uh, three people. Pairing nine on the river now. No bomb pad today. <coughs> if he did not make his queen high flush, he's going to check over to Berkey now. 1300 in the pot here. Berkey just with king high. Should do bomb. Yeah. From now on, we can do bomb pot. <laughs> I return my money. Guys, you guys want to do it next time? Go check, check, and nice score there for Yiffy. Can you pop this? Thank you. Thank you. Did you guys want it? No? What? Bomb pot? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Why not? For a collection? Or for a <laughs> yeah, go ahead and not for a collection. 300, 400. <laughs> what are we doing? <coughs> How many hundreds? How many hundreds? 200? 100? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and return his. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What do you guys usually oh. do? Return? Two ones? Yeah, the 15, yeah. Thank you. So. We decided to do bomb for off for you. Oh. Uh, 100 is out of this? I guess so. Everyone's full 100? Yeah. 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 Well, like yeah. Only one? Five. Okay. Well, fine, fine. Uh, okay. 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 Two boy. Uh, double. <laughs> so eight pairs in, right? Give me ten nuts. Got a double board bomb pot in action here. Everybody annies $100. Sees the flop. The action starts from the flop onward. The pot's divided half for the top board, half for the bottom board. Often how the collection or rake is decided at higher stakes games. The winner of this pot will pay the rake for the entire table. Looks like Bala got a nice hand here. He's got the king queen. He's got top pair on each board. However, up against Nick's pocket kings. Pretty tough spot for Brown Bala, obviously. <coughs> having king queen, having pocket kings beat out there with Nick's hand. That's a. Tough time in there for Brown Ball. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be a pretty great double board hand. <laughs> I thought he was thinking. I thought he was too. Heads up. 
Ace of hearts and stops. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. I'm in the same hand. Ace is on each board <laughs> yeah, somehow. Pretty terrible turn for both pl players here. 2400 in the pot now. 14. Nick 14. first to act. He's going to bet 14, 14 into 2400 here at the Pocket Kings. 14 kings and Steven. Obviously, the ace of hearts on the top board lets them know that Brown Ball did not call the bottom board with the ace high flush draw with ace high hearts, given the ace of hearts revealed itself on that top board. Brown Ball calls the turn. Now we have a five and a four. Nick's still firmly in the lead here. He's going to check over to Brown Ball. He's going to bet 2K into 5200. Nick is going to call. King Queen, no good. And it's going to be a nice okay. scoop here for Nick. Oh, uh, I got a scoop. Wrecked. Yes. Absolutely yeah. wrecked is I right. Scoop. It's going to be a scoop on that board so often. I, uh, it's like almost identical boards. Somebody grab King Jack. Sure. Yeah. Jack. Yeah, ace queen, queen, like ace queen yeah. five, two hearts on both yeah. boards. The, the dog scoop is like King Jack, Jack, and Hannah Hart. Yeah. 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 But you can't share binding them for lock it down. I forgot it. Ace scoops to me. Uh, yeah, I also didn't think he really had many aces. He just paid the Going right after that Queen Jack. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he had a Queen. It was like a worse kicker. I see why you don't like double board bomb oh, pots. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> we found his weakness. <laughs> No limit, high low. That's the game I want to play versus you, Sean. <laughs> I'm good at high low. With five cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different game. Uh, two cards. It's no. pot limit, and you have <laughs> two and a half times as many cards. Yeah. Up hot here between Wei and Pippi, both with Ace Queen on this 6 5 5 rainbow flop. Nice to be the player in position here, obviously. <coughs> Tougher spot for Pippi now. Oh. Nice turn for Wei here, picking up. Ace high diamonds now, oh. the diamond draw. Yeah, the ace is a good bluff card. Yeah. And it came ace ace, right? You have it. Yeah, on the turn. Yeah, yeah but the things you're trying to bluff him. He's going to bet 2100 here. I think the, the gig is up yeah. here yeah. for Pippi. I can't imagine ace. he's going to continue now. Oh. It's just ace, queen, high, unimproved. Could, yeah, but I could get him to pull the ace. Maybe. Could be a chance to but pull off a bluff as well, but he's going to get out of the way. Right. Nice yeah. hand there yeah. for Way. Yeah. And joining me in the booth yeah. now was live with the bike, Cairo. Nice to have you in the booth here. You can treat. Yeah, nice to have you, man. Good. Just uh, enjoying some action here. The first two hands are pretty crazy. First two hands were four bet. We've got some big time players in the game as well, so some new faces. Yeah, it is Johnny's birthday. I mentioned that earlier. I, I feel yeah. weird about that. I personally, on my birthday, I feel weird about playing your game on my birthday. It feels like a bad luck or a bad omen, but you know, that's maybe I'm a little su superstitious, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> right? It just feels like a, I don't know. Seven. Seven? Seven hundred. It is. I wore that on Wednesday. It's actually pretty good merch. I actually like how it all came out. It came out pretty good. And you actually just started a nice little YouTube channel membership upgrade promotion with the likes, so appreciate that. What is it?
Check. Check. Absolutely. Yeah, we definitely appreciate all the feedback we get on Twitch, on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all the likes and subscribes that we get. Thanks for keeping Live the Bike going. We are the longest active running poker stream going. It goes back a couple decades. There are a lot of streams going right now, but we were the first. We are the longest running one, so thanks for keeping that momentum going. We appreciate it. And we are at the Park West Bicycle Casino here in Bell Gardens, California. A rare rainy day here in Los Angeles, though it's been a little more common lately, but if you're watching from afar and you're wondering where is Bell Gardens, it's about 20 minutes from downtown Los Angeles, so if there's no traffic, you know. <laughs> Murky, have you guys thought about streaming in 4K? Yeah, yeah, especially right yeah. now with the rain, it uh, would take some time. <coughs> The issue is, I don't know. It is a pretty YouTube funny video. dynamic for sure. I'm uh, from Kansas like, City, and it's I'm used to driving YouTube. in the rain, but it's yeah. uh, everybody's pretty wilding out here with the rain and the we weather. Have 4K for sure. equipment. Oh, you do. Do you have? Uh, do you Maybe, use? Uh, do you use a hardware encoder or do you use a laptop? Uh, oh, computer. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we love our we love our sports teams. We're oh, power and light district. Yeah, power and light district. Yep, that's a fun, that's a fun, that's a fun big little city, as I call it, so. Yeah, a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag flop. He's got bottom pair, he's got a straight draw, but it's kind of to the low side, obviously, so. As we see here, if he catches a nine, that'll be bad for him, because that'll make Queen Jack a higher straight, so that's why it's a bit of a, bit of a complicated uh, pair plus straight draw. PP, yeah, I felt I felt weird saying PP, unless I knew for sure it's PP. <laughs> Fair enough. I wasn't sure what it was, so I decided to go for the little more uh, sanitized version. But Johnny Vibes gonna check over to to PP as we're gonna call it in this hand, and PP's gonna bet 600 here. He's gonna bet about full pot here now. Absolutely, very wet, dynamic board, no doubt about it. He's hoping to take it down with a bet as he does. Nice play there by Pippi. Uh, do you hardwire your. Do you hardwire your. Absolutely. The yeah. You know, so you're I mean, it's all. It's all fine. Then. Absolutely. You're, Shout out to Saul for yeah. and Matt Berkey. I remember playing um, with Berkey back in Vegas. Shoot, early on I mean, as a pro, probably it's worth, you know, ten years ago. Playing the wind, the five ten and ten twenty. Yeah, he would mean, always bring a huge a thermos with him, like a military grade uh, thermos and like chili. Like that was Berkey well, back then, no doubt. Well, yeah. But uh, I don't. I don't know enough about YouTube and like. I believe it. I remember him bringing in his own like chili and stuff back in the day. So something that compresses differently. I'm not sure. Yeah. PP with the ace king, man. Nice hand to have. Late position. He's going to make it 150. He's going to get a four bet from Nick on the cutoff with the ace two of spades. Favorite hand for people to four, uh, four bet and three bet are those suited no, ace know, X's. They got the card removal and you got yeah, it's a noticeable difference. some flush draw possibility yeah. on flops. Is this? Why do you need like a 4K monitor to see the difference? You got James you can, stuck in the middle can, here with I pocket sevens on the button. I notice it, but if you look on any TV, you'll notice yeah. it. Yeah, on TV. Yes, it is, as expected. That would be a fold. I would definitely fold. There's just to to two thousand to sixteen hundred more. Yeah, it's, it's not that deep behind. And and I think I'd probably like find a fold really here in pocket sevens. Hard for them to do that. I mean, it's also because almost everybody watches. They definitely fold. are. Uh, yeah. I mean, if Nick so calls, I'd be more inclined to complete, so. So yeah, once Nick calls here, if he is calling, yeah, I'll complete here with the pocket sevens. Why though? They film in 4K. Yeah, I think it's just the streaming part of it. Yeah. yeah. Because all the cameras have to A lot of times there's a four bet and a call, you're gonna be up against an ace king or two people with higher pairs than you, and you're gonna basically be trying to hit two outs in the first three cards, so it's yeah, I was watching a bit tough of a proposition. The live feed up while we were doing our today on cue. <laughs> on on you definitely like, called it. 10, 9, 7. It's noticeably worse. Rainbow yeah. flop. You did. You had you had the faith in the hockey sticks from the get-go. All the, all the poker streams are definitely would have. It looks right like now. both players like, kind of came up empty uh, here in this hand. Ace King and Ace Two on this 1097. It's like 1440 instead of 1080. Mm. He didn't even need it at all, but definitely gives you confidence to to 
play it on the flop when people start piling a lot of money when they could be having aces and kings as well. So it's... <laughs> you definitely, uh... You definitely did. That was pretty clairvoyant flop read there by you, no doubt about it. Call. Going to get a call from these ace king. Three of clubs on the turn. Ten nine seven three. Now bringing in two clubs. Seventy five hundred in the pot now. Nick's got eleven and a half behind here. He's going to check over to Nick now. Does he have enough courage to find another barrel? Or is going to be a one-pump chump here? We shall see. He's going to check back that turn. Queen of spades on the river now. Very curious to see how this river is played between these two players. And then up with both unimproved ace X's and a four-bet pot preflop. They did get out the pocket sevens. As Kiro was sadly just sad to see here, he felt that seven coming on the flop, and sure enough, it did come. But <laughs> they they definitely are. It looks like Pippi's gonna have uh, leverage out a bet here, 4,500, perhaps hoping to get folds from some pairs, or possibly trying to fold out the mirror ace king as well, perhaps hoping to get another player with ace king to fold. Definitely does definitely put Nick to the test here. Nick just has an unimproved ace high, so it'll be an easy fold here for Nick. But interesting play there by uh, PP. I was curious what he was hoping to fold out there on the river. Perhaps another ace king. Obviously, ace queen got there on the river. But uh, perhaps an unimproved pocket pair that did not hit a set like the sevens. Perhaps he's hoping to get a fold from there. But uh, did not matter in this case. It was a battle of the unimproved ace X's, as it turns out. I'm sure. Uh, Players got some FOMO about folding those sevens, but uh, that's all good. Yeah, I, th yeah, I thought he might have completed once another player came in because he's getting a little better odds to flop a set. But obviously, um, you know, not. It's hard to know. Sometimes people play these streams that might only have one or two bullets. So sometimes people kind of have like a bullet management, so to speak, where they're trying to conserve the resources. Maybe trying to play a little more solid. It's hard to know what people are coming into this game with, but it's like most people are pretty well capitalized, though, truth be told. So. Who what? Queen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are kind of. The, I think these are kind of the fun pots to watch. You know, you that's kind of where the money is made. A lot of professional, a lot of poker players like kind of focusing on like the bad beats or whatever. But to be honest, like what you really should be focusing on are all these small and medium-sized pots where nobody has anything. Who's picking up that loose money? That's really kind of the the arbiter of what's a good poker player is kind of picking up all those loose pots, picking up those pots where nobody's paying attention. Coolers are going to happen. You're going to have kings versus aces. Somebody's going to get a king. All that shit. That's going to happen. So it's silly to focus on that, to be honest. But as as players, it's easy to kind of to kind of mope and kind of complain about your bad luck. But really, your focus should be, as an aspiring player, just try to pick up all that loose money at the table and just kind of let those coolers. That'll play out itself. <laughs> No doubt, that's that's because that's there's a lot more volume with those types cool. of hands and the the coolers that come up way more infrequently. So you really want to be pretty good at playing the small and medium sized pots because they come up so often. And look at the look what we got now, PP with the pocket aces here. Albino and eaters with the pocket ace. Yeah, they got the eight. <laughs> it is very rare, very rare hand. And this could be very interesting. Both very deep stacks player here. Brown baller with 36k. PP with. 47k here. Replay. Definitely could see some fireworks here. We got another player in with ace, jack of spades as well. You see three ways to this flop. Queen, 2-2 two, two here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice flop for Bali. Does pick up the diamonds. It's always nice when you have aces and you have a three or four bet pot and you get like a couple ducks in the flop or a couple threes. Bit of an orphan flop, so to speak, aside from somebody having pocket queens. So. <laughs> uh, you don't have pocket aces, have a three or four bad, have it come like queen jack nine or king queen you know ten. You know it's a lot of intersection in a three or four bad pot, but uh, it's nice seeing those repeating low cards for sure. Five on the turn now. Brown ball called with his eight high diamonds. We almost got three k in this pot now. Stacks are deep, thirty five k effective, however. Peep. 
action is on PP now. He's definitely got to feel great about his aces on this board. Absolutely. He's going to bet almost full pot here. PP betting 25 into 2,800 here. Let's see what Brown Ball does. He does have 35K behind, so it's not like we're calling 2,500 with 6K behind here. But he's going to get out of the way. Oh. He knows pocket queens are in the three bet four betting range. He potentially could be drawing dead. Obviously, his opponent could have higher diamonds as well. It's a pretty solid fold there by Brown Bala. Do not fault that at all. Thank you. Ab Absolutely, yeah, that's the whole race car driver inside joke. We had a race car driver player before. Now I think any young Asian player, they're just saying, oh, are, you the, are you the race car driver is the running joke. It is. It's like I'm walking into a Supreme store or something. It feels like you get all the. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think Johnny Vibes more got the Supreme style going. But yeah, they got the uh, the higher end stuff. No doubt. Same with the AJ Benz is always wearing that stuff too. AJ Benz has always got that kind of streetwear going. Berkey waking up with Ace King here from the small blind. He's gonna three bet to 500. Looks like Wei's gonna tag along with his suited hand. Heads up to this flop. Ace, Jack, four, what a flop here. Absolutely, Berkey flops top pair. Wei flops pair and a flesh draw here. We should see fireworks here. Wei is also 11K deep as well. I think if he raises this flop, we could maybe get it on the flop potentially or the turn. We shall see how Wei decides to play it. He's gonna play it as a call here. Ten of diamonds on the turn now. 2,300 in the pot. Berkey in the lead with the top pair. Ace king on this ace high flop, but why we is lurking with the pair plus flush draw here. He's only a two to one dog as we head to this river. Let's see if he's going to try to bet Berkey off his hand or if he's going to see this free river here if he checks back. He is going to see a free river and check it back. And there we go, three of spades on the river. He has secured the bag, as they say with that three of spades on the river. He cannot lose unless he somehow finds a fold. Looks like Burgess is going to go for a standard issue value bet, hoping hoping to get a call from a worse ace X here that isn't two pair. Hoping to get a call from ace queen, ace nine, ace eight, maybe a curious jack X. Burgess hoping to get a call from. Pretty trivial call for Way. He's going to call with his jack high spades. Some players may raise for value there, but Wade didn't want to get in trouble there. Potentially having Berkey could have like the lone king of spades and could ship them all in with the blocker or something potentially. He's just going to play it safe and play it as a call. Nice hand there for Wade. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice hand there for Wade. Stone Cold Killer showing no emotion, <laughs> no doubt about it. If there is all these interesting styles at the table, that's one thing I do like about coming live at the bike. You got all these young kids wearing all these, some people wearing the streetwear, some people wearing the upper high-end Chanel type of stuff. You got Dr. H and always wearing like a classy sweater all the time is what Dr. H seems to go with. <laughs> Pretty big preflop hands developing here. We got a couple, we got three suited aces here. Masato in the lead with the ace queen of diamonds. Johnny Vibes three bet is ace three of hearts to 500. Berkey on the button with the ace two of clubs, eventually mulling over a four bet spot here. And there is the four bet for Masato. Like 20,000. The Masato, he's got no, four uh, bet. I actually lost the 2800 with the ace queen of diamonds. <coughs> Actually,
connection back to Vibes here now. The birthday boy, Johnny Vibes, opened this pot. Ace three of hearts, he three bet it. Berkey platted the three bet on the button to 500. They both pulled in. Masato's going to take it down. Hold on, hold on. It's never terrible when you win the pot pre-flop. You don't have to fade any outs. You've got a no Over. risk. Nobody went broke taking a profit, as they say, Cairo. So he's going to take that down. Nice little $1,500 win there for Masato pre-flop. What's your take on this uh, knit tax rule? You know what? Up update me on the knit tax rule. So two people with the lowest VP of every dealer change have to pay a, a double the big blind ante. I think so that's great. So when it's their big blind, they got to pay twice as much One of that ante. I think that's a great wrinkle. I was here on Wednesday and they were doing that, so I was curious if they added another wrinkle to it or if that looks that's like that's a, still that it. That is the new staple of Live at the Bike uh, rules. I like that. It's a good one. I really would just like to see the stand-up game, well, the sit-down version of it. I agree. I think that's a great catalyst for action as well. Brown Baller usually tries to get that that going. He definitely does. Twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. Come on, see you, Big pot brewing here between nice. Brown Bala nice. and Nick. Brown Bala with the four bet to twenty four hundred with pocket queens under the gun here. Nice. It's gonna get Brown Bala out of the way with a Jack Ten of Clubs. That's the most tasty hand to see a flop with. You don't get any more suited and connected <laughs> than Jack Ten of Clubs. But Nick not super deep behind, it. only about ten k behind. So. Good fold there by Brown Ball. If they're both 30k effective, you'd be more likely to to peel a flop there with a suited snapper like a Jack Ten of Diamonds or a Ten Out of Diamonds. But not as good a proposition as the sh as the stacks are shallower. I love, so I love the bowing. Good fold there by Brown Ball. I like that. <laughs> Johnny Vibes saying, "I love the bowing when the Masato meets his fans." I like the bowing. In <laughs> a lot of bowing in ball. Masato. Mm -hmm. I feels like very foreign culture. Yes, it is part of the Asian culture, bowling. from what I hear. Oh, bowling. Okay. <laughs> ah, bowling. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You can do it. I wonder why no other culture really is yeah. like, on that. Good. Yeah. When you that's a good question. the pot against me. Like. Yeah. I'll do that next <laughs> time. It seems to be a lot more of a deferential culture than than a lot of other ones. Someone just pulled Ace Ten suited. That must have been a uh, must have been a graphic <laughs> misclick or something. I don't know. I, I didn't catch that one. <laughs> uh, Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I, yeah, I eat a I'm pretty sure. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna. If they're folding yeah, Ace Ten suited. They're definitely gonna be in the bottom two yeah, uh, knit okay. tax. I would say yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much is most this? Most definitely. Eight. eight? Hmm? It's now four thousand. Ah, yeah. Four thousand. Four thousand. Johnny. Johnny Vibes. Bad yeah, I got a that, that graphic over there said uh, Ace no, 10 okay. suited for Johnny Vibes. Uh, I think he ah, maybe four bet, and I think the graphics just had a bit of a lag there, it looks like. One day like. you'll actually have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> wow, nine players today, Friday, some high stakes poker. This is good. Absolutely good not. Friday. Not a bad way to spend a wet, rainy Friday in Los Angeles. Yeah, the sure. bike is active today, especially with all the tournaments going on right now too. So a lot of pros in the building. And um, yeah, I just walked over there before the stream. First place is a hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Are down to the final fifty or so players in that seventeen hundred bike tournament. So always definitely check out the bikes tournament schedule. That was a lot of awesome tournaments going. Creative structures where you can buy in day two, day three sometimes. So yeah. definitely uh. Check what out I those doing? schedules and definitely yeah. notice that you might be able to buy in late. You maybe didn't miss the first day like you thought. That's so. right. Jared Griner's out there. Um, yep. you know, I've co-commentated co co with him plenty of times. I went over there, wished him luck. Uh, Absolutely. He got it in I with queen versus ace king first hand of the day and stacked somebody. And I looked at him and said, I take full credit for that. There you go. And uh, Sammy Bouchard's out there. A lot of, the lot of is, pros I think the yeah, yeah, I saw a Canuck shape. out there who went deep in the because LAPC like, you know, recently. So yeah, a lot of yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of LA grinders in the yeah. building, no doubt about it. Cool boy way with the ace queen. Absolutely. <coughs> Brown, yeah, ball in the lead here with this 10-9 on this 9-3-3. Eight on the turn. 
400. Ball going to continue to bet his hand for value here. He's going to bet 400 into 600. Way pretty, still pretty decent price. Yeah, not too bad. He's getting 400. He's getting a little over about two and a half to one on his call. But just with ace queen high, he does have that ace of spades. If he decides to rep the spade on the river, he will have the nut flush blocker as well. But he decides to duck out of the way. That's the standard play there by way. It's good fold. Nothing wrong with that. Look at Wayne doing Wayne activities. Look at Wayne doing the Lord's work as always is Wayne. We got Michael in the booth dealing, Corey back there on the mic, Jeff on the camera. The whole, the whole staff here is crushing. All hands on deck here this Friday for this action-packed star-studded lineup featuring Matthew Big, Big Bet Berkey of Solve for Y Academy, which you mentioned earlier. You're, that's like it's pretty good content on that on that website as well. They got some podcasts as well. Yep, I think only friends, friends. Only friends, yeah. They just want a GPI for that. Absolutely. I told him I need, a, I need my shout out. Keep working on that. I told him I'm going to buy some ad space where you just have to talk about me. Absolutely. Yeah, I've watched, uh, I've definitely watched that podcast a few times. It's pretty fun. Controversial. Yes, yes. Him and Conrad and I think I'm I Melissa. Like, Melissa and yeah, yes. I feel like most of the poker community is on, there is no middle ground. You either love that podcast or you hate their guts. Oh, it's everything's a polar world, right? It's got to suck or be amazing. There's no in between. There's no nuance. There's no middle ground. It's you know you got to pick a side. It's okay. Sign of the times, it seems mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. work for them for a long time. I always say, if I tune in and I watch it, I guess by default, or if anybody watches it, it makes you a fan. So if you watch it because you hate it, you're still a fan. So. And even if you're revenge watching, you're still contributing to the. Contributing. Yeah, but the ones before were smaller ones. You guys could go pick up a salt for white hat, wear it at your local. Uh, poker room and get into arguments like Facebook with people at the table. <coughs> Solve for Y is a good one. There's a lot of uh, online. There's a lot of online poker content, but a lot of it seems to be more oriented for online play. So it's nice to see some that kind of have a little more um, stuff for live play and live players. So. Yeah, Solve for Y. Uh, so in my interview with Berkey uh, a few months ago, uh, yeah. he said you know they structure a lot of their stuff for live streaming as well, which is uh, something that not a lot of the courses uh, have insight or offer. So. If you're looking like to play on streams one day, cool. they do uh, yeah, give you insight on that. And Berkey's so been playing been every day for the last few streams here at Live at the Bike, clocking win after win after win. So, see if he can run another one today. So, this is a double board bomb pot. Absolutely. Everybody antes. Uh, so far today, it's been a $100 ante. So, everybody antes $100, sees the flop. The action starts from the flop onward. Half the pot goes to the top board. Half the pot goes to the bottom board. You can scoop it by betting and getting everybody to fold. But if there is a showdown, obviously, half goes to the top, half goes to the bottom. Ideally, you want to have a piece on each board. And you definitely would like to have the nuts on one board. Because then if you have the nuts on one board, you can kind of just push out the other hand and you can get a scoop. Yep. So, it's definitely... Uh, those are definitely things to consider. You do not want to be playing for half the pot. That is yeah. a really good way to get three-quartered or scoops. So and that now is Berkey with two pair on the top board. He has kings on both boards. Absolutely. That is a pretty good hand to have, to have that top set, almost almost like having top set removal on each board. He has top pair on each. He doesn't have a strong hand on either. He does have kings and sevens on the top, although that flush makes it a little complicated. Yeah, would you rather have Berkey's hand or Masato's hand? Because Masato has the redraw to the two, and Berkey's sitting solid with two pair right now. And wow, never mind, another seven <laughs> comes on top, and it gives Berkey a boat. So. See, now this, yeah, this gives Berkey a really good opportunity to get a potentially a better hand on the bottom to fold, but... But I don't even think that even exists. I think he has the best hand on each board. Well, they like. chopped the bottom board because the the fives with the ten, so both yeah. of their kickers don't play. So, so he can he could uh, yeah he could definitely uh, buy out that chop and get the chop hand to fold for sure if he really pressures this pot. He looks like he's probably going for a check raise here. It looks like. Well, unfortunately, oh, PP oh, yeah. has nothing. Oh, and as you see, Masato only gets a piece of that bottom board, while Berkey gets the full top board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like Berkey's gonna. Yeah, yeah. Masato's still happy. It doesn't matter. He's pulling in some chips. Yeah, Berkey. Big boat, Berkey. Big bet, Berkey. Big boat, Berkey. Uh, Wayne in the chat saying Berkey's only fan is nice sick. Check. Nice check. <laughs> Wayne is sick. There we go. <laughs> ah. And Khan saying Wayne, that's <laughs> not Berkey, that's Johnny Sin. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, Are you familiar with Johnny Sins? I am not. Uh, I feel like you're I lying to me. Greedy. Johnny Sins? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not. It's okay, Google him. Okay. Johnny Sins. I'm gonna watch you Google him, see how you react to this. That was a quarter, right? Huh? Was it a quarter? Yeah, yeah. Berkey got yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. three quarters. No, it's not. It's not. All right, it looks like somebody that maybe could be confused with me, with my uh, yeah. bald shaved head you and the blue Berkey eyes. And, uh, yeah. Johnny Sims. Yeah. I don't know what he has. I'd also yeah, say Jason that. Statham, but hey, maybe that's just me, you know, I don't know. Well, they're both film <laughs> actors, but Johnny Sims is an adult <laughs> film actor. <laughs> I see. So. There you go. I have the same hand. That's a new one. I have not heard that. I've heard exactly. Agassi before. Yeah. I've heard it look like Agassi. Agassi I've heard it look like Jason be. Kidd. Jason Kidd is definitely there. We both I've heard Jason well. Kidd. Seven. So you guys don't follow him. Yeah, follow. I don't follow him now. So you guys can see why this is hilarious. Yep, I am a comedic gamble on the social media. I'll drop your link. Don't I worry. can't bluff there. The king's never going to fall. Bluff. That was hilarious. And I dropped a, a link to your Instagram in the chat. Oh, if you guys want to have a good laugh at why <laughs> Comedic Gamble looks like Berkey, Johnny Sins, and Andre Agassi, and Jason Statham. <laughs> we'll give that a look as Nick turned a set of 10s. Yeah, what a great spot here for Nick, turning that set of 10s. He was in the lead versus Berkey's 8-6, but obviously he doesn't know that in the moment. He just know he had a bit of a vulnerable second pair type of hand, but now he's got the set. And Berkey's going nowhere. He's open-ended. For 2,000? Nah, he's going nowhere. It's a bit of a complicated open-ended, but it is a heads-up pot, so you're not as fearful of somebody having queen eight or king queen as you would in like a three, four, or five-way pot, but it does pick up some additional equity there with that open-ender, no doubt about it. Ace of clubs on the river, running clubs. $8,200 in this pot now, about a pot size bet left for Nick. He's got 8,600. Berkey checks over to Nick. Nick has the set of tens, but the board did get a little nasty come to the river here. Running clubs, we've got a lot of straight possibilities as well. King, queen, seven, eight, queen, eight, backdoor clubs. Let's see what Nick does here. He's gonna bet 2,000 at 8,000, trying to get a value bet call from a worst two pair type of hand potentially, but nothing home there for Berkey. He does, decides not to bluff his missed draw and nice pot there for Nick. All right, everybody in the chat, if you hit the like button, we are eight likes away. It's 10 minutes past four. I don't care. If you guys get us to 200 likes, I'm going to do a quick channel membership giveaway. It highlights your name in green. You guys get access to our emojis. There's 1,800 of you plus watching on YouTube. Many of you guys on Twitch. I still love you on Twitch. If you guys want to come over and hit that like button real quick, and you guys will randomly hopefully win one of these channel memberships you got to have a gifting option turned on in the chat so make sure you guys turn that on and good luck eight likes away getting close nice to get that free channel membership upgrade yeah and i pay for these they don't pay me to do this i just like giving back and i'll tell for those that maybe that are unfamiliar with what that entails so you guys get uh some perks on the channel it's like an upgrade. It's like a premium Live at the Bike. Everybody can watch Live at the Bike for free. But you have a channel membership. Not only when you engage in chat does your name get highlighted, you get access to our emojis. And when we have exclusive content, you get that exclusive content. And, yeah, pretty much it, you get more shout-outs, too. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like a nice Because when I see your name in green, I just know that, hey, you're down with the team. So Absolutely. Nice. Cool boy way with the jack. Yeah, he's got a little yeah, nice pot brewing here. He's three betting pocket jacks yeah. out of the small blind here to 2300. We are a team. After Vibes opening the button here with Ace Nine of Diamonds. You had a chance to limit Johnny. Looks like Vibes is going to get out chance. of the way. Birthday boy not feeling the luck. He's going <laughs> to duck out of the way. Nice hand there for way with the pocket jacks. All right, we hit our 200 mark. Really good Incoming video. channel Pips. membership. Oh, we'll still give away another one, so don't go nowhere. I'm gonna play. Just hit that share button and tell all your friends to come smash that like button. And the winner is, let's see. No hand is too good to lose. On your bike. That is your username. On your bike. 
was gifted a membership by Kyra Loves You. I feel like that name's appropriate. On your bike at Live at the Bike. That almost seems kind of rigged, to be honest. That seems a little fishy. I was like, man, is that kind of Live at the Bike adjacent person? They got well, the bike and the handle. I don't know if there's going to be an bike. investigation on this or not. But. On your bike is often <laughs> in the chat, so I know he's a constant oh. winner. Just like Veen. Veen was a winner yesterday, so congrats Wait. to you guys. As we look at our cumulative winnings, Nick up almost 7,000. Way about up 4,500, Johnny. And Matt in the green. PP James. Yithe, Masato, and Brad and Bala in the, the deficit right now, but it's early okay. in the game, so don't worry. A lot of action to come. I feel like Brown Bala, when he's stuck, tries to initiate the stand-up game almost immediately, so we could hopefully see that. And the nit tax is still in play, so people are going to try to keep that VPIP up. Yesterday, we had three players over 50% VPIP for the first two hours. That is pretty strong. That was really strong. And now well, we have highest. Corey in the booth, the or in the, the box, highest. dealing out these cards. He is the dealer dad VP? on Never. Instagram. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I did not know that. that Interesting, I will add that. The Live dealer at dad. the bike, dealer dad. Nick and Jane. I like that. And if you guys want to be wearing uh, some of the swag that Kairos wearing, he's got a really slick <laughs> Live the Bike shirt on. That's what I wore on Wednesday. <laughs> Definitely feel free to play that LATV predictor game on Bally well, Play. Yeah. Make your picks perky. for a chance to win a free Live the Bike swag. That's www.ballyplay.com backslash LATB. Get yourself some free swag. Yeah, man. Who doesn't like free swag? It's, just, it's free equity, as a player would say, right? Pick up those free dollars. Yep. And it looks like uh, Wayne's about to announce our lowest VPIP. Like You're talking about Zayn's like or VPIP? No VPIP. No VIP. Anybody talk to you? Makes sense. I just want to be all in. <laughs> Khan saying, bring back Action Man Eric Person. Eric Person will be back. Not very soon, but soon. If you guys don't know, I actually uh, work for Eric Person. I do all of his social media content. Oh, and fantastic. YouTube and uh, I'm lucky to get mentorship by him on the daily. He is my big homie and also my favorite poker player. So shout out to Eric. I'll tell you what, he is the straw that stirs the drink in any game he sits in. That is for sure. I went out to his million dollar buy-in game over in Vegas a couple weeks ago and I was on the, the rails just freaking out the whole time and he was cool, calm, collective. And yeah. He had a good time watching me freak out. Yeah, to be a fly on the wall in that game, eh, as you got to experience. Andrew Robo going crazy. Unbelievable. He won we got some people going crazy uh, this hand. We got Ace King out there. We got uh, Pocket Jacks, King Queen, Berkey with the Ace King of Clubs. He's going to four bet from the small blind to 1700. Vibes, three bet the hijack with Pocket Jacks. We got some storm clouds brewing here, it looks like. Potentially some fireworks in the making here between Birthday Boy, Johnny Vibes, and Berkey. You hate it? I hate bumps. It looks like a flat call. We should just do stand up game. <laughs> looks like Berkey's gonna <laughs> get some uh, contestment here. He's gonna have a heads up pot. Yeah. Vibes. Oh, oh, oh look, look at that. Look at that nut flush plus versus yeah, set yeah. of jacks. No limit oh this my is, goodness. This is not fair on his birthday. This is yeah. We're gonna this birthday luck is gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out this hand looks like that's for I, sure. I hate this hand already. Yeah. I mean the heads up pot too. I mean Johnny check. Johnny please check. Well it's just like you can't. He's gonna have to bet his hand for value. He doesn't want a club to peel off. How much is he gonna bet is the question here. Just like and Matt Berkey right before his hand says I just want to be all in. So I have a feeling like something's about to get ripped in. At least in PLO you can like only lose the pot three times. And even then, usually you'll have the nuts on one. Huge spot developing here. Berkey, 2,400 oh, for the call. Canaries. Oh, no, he grabs a... Oh, he just calls. He's going to play it as a check call. Pair the board. Pair it. Oh, my God. Eight offsuit on the turn now. 8,400 in the pot. Stacks are fairly shallow, all things considered. A little over a pot size bet left. 11K behind. Already 8,500 in the pot. We haven't even got any action yet on the turn. We might see an all-in on this very street. Let's see what Vibes does oh. when check to here. He's gonna go oh. all in. Oh. And he's gonna get a call from Berkey with the oh. nuts. Run twice, run twice. Oh. Wow. 30K pot okay. here. Somebody's gonna win yep. a car. Yeah, they're, no, they're gonna go twice. All in all, running it two times. Birthday luck. Yeah. All right, two on this first okay. board, 10 on the second board. It's my birthday, I'm supposed to get one of here these. Here we go, the birthday karma is coming into question here. Does it come home to roost or not? Brick on the first five of clubs. No luck for the birthday boy vibes. <laughs> Can Berkey fade one more river here? Yes! There you go. And the ten pairs. Jack's full for Johnny Vibes. Yes. And Woo. we got a chop. Woo. We got a chop. 
I'm telling you right now, I've never been happier to see a 10 on a Friday you know, all you, my life. You don't want to see anybody lose five figures on their birthday in a flip, right? I mean, that's tough. That is sick. <laughs> Berkey. Everybody, flame emojis in the chat for Johnny on his birthday. Cake emojis. Cake emojis and fire emojis. He, he did say it's my birthday. I have to get one of these. He did, he did call his birthday one time. That is his birthday one time. He did call his birthday one time. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that he he didn't get stacked there. You know, I did I did uh, do the happy birthday for Johnny, but Johnny, as a content creator in poker, really uh, was a pioneer, uh, path setter for a lot of us <laughs> poker content creators today. And I think he does deserve his flowers for that. Um, the man was ahead of the head of the curve, and he also put on a lot of people that are are popular point. today yeah. um I bet and you a lot of poker call. content creators wouldn't have careers if it wasn't for people like johnny vibes so now, for those that are wondering how far back does vibes content go uh, about a decade oh okay wow absolutely. a little bit closer a little bit under i just rounded <laughs> up it sounds better to say the word decade well sure seven eight years or whatever it was at least at least it sounds like you're saying at least yeah. six or seven years so that's yeah, pretty impressive sure. no doubt and yeah. we have like red king queen as we get back to this action I think everybody's catching their breath after that last hand. That was pretty crazy. Four bet flop, top set versus flop, nut flush. I mean, that's that is pretty wild hand there. Oh, heads up. And five of clubs on this river. Fives and sixes are good. Put them a small bet. Does Nick feel like looking him up with ace high? Very, very thin value bet. Deuces. And Nick finds the call with the ace queen. Deuces. And the very thin value bet six from Vibes six. is a good one. He gets a call six. from a worse <laughs> yeah, hand. Six nice six. value bet there by Johnny Vibes. Definitely a spot a lot of people would have checked back, but he did not. He saw. The potential in betting there. Nice play there by Johnny Vibes. I think some people are afraid to value bet hands like that because they're afraid, well, what am I going to do if I get check raised? And they're kind of thinking about the monsters on the bed. And it kind of keeps them from making a lot of value bets that they should. So it ended up being a very good value bet there by Johnny Vibes. Really good understanding of his opponent and what his tendencies were. Nicely played there by Johnny Vibes. He's on, uh, he's heating up. He's got that birthday heater coming. He's trying to get that $175 back from that canceled Southwest flight that's still chapping his, you know what, he's a little on tilt about the Southwest flight, not being able to get a refund on it. We've all been there. It seems weird complaining about a $175 loss on a flight when you're playing for this magnitude, but as poker players, you kind of learn to have a separation of church and state with your bankroll and flights. And you're spending off the table, obviously, but um, so it might seem a little odd, but uh, it's kind of a good thing, I think, in many ways, to to be competitive with your dollars off the felt. Masada with the ladies. And Masada with the ladies on the button. Three bets for 800. I was not Keep expected punished. that. Yeah. <laughs> Get him, Nick. I lazy, you, not him. He gets out of the way with the snapper 10-7 spades. And Masada looking at a cold four bet from yeah. Nick. Yeah, Nick cold four bets that ace queen from the big blind to 2,400. Like total. Come on. Mm -hmm. This would be a lot more delicate of a situation if these players were 15, 20, 30k deep, but they're only 15k deep behind. Still fairly deep for quarter 50, but obviously, you know, they got some 30, 40k stacks to this table. Be curious to see how Masato call. plays this. Call. I think he's just going to play it as a call. I think if Nick were shallower, like cool. seven, eight, nine k, he probably would just send this in with pocket queens. But a little bit more depth in the hand, he's going to play it as a call. King eight, eight with two hearts. He won two thousand. I'm surprised Masato didn't rip stick it. Pre-flop? 
Yeah, I think it was definitely definitely would have been a, a possibility for sure. And I think if if Nick was a little, if they were a little shallower, I think he would have. I think it was kind of around the borderline of oh. of the hand that he would flat preflop with the hand strength and the pot si and the stack sizes. Mm. That has to be uncomfortable. It's kind of a good hand for queens, obviously, because you're losing to a king X regardless. When another king comes, it just makes it less likely that you're up against a king. So it's actually a pretty good card for Masada with the pocket queens. It makes it less likely his opponent had a king X. Ace X here. He's got Ace High. Half his day. Putting the pressure on Masato here. Ooh. Masato doesn't even fold his laundry. <laughs> Prob not folding this. Probably not. Probably not. He's getting pretty compelling pot odds here. Not quite. You know, just a little under three to one in this call here. adding Tough spot here for Masada. Wondering, does Nick have that King X? Does he have the Ace Ace? And he wow. finds a fold. I that was an unexpected fold. I did not see Masada folding the Queens there, almost getting three to one. But the sniper Nick, the ninja, he gets away with some of these bluffs sometimes. Nice play there by Nick. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, he's the only one. Flash draw? Yeah. What's, uh, what, what's the language you code? Three pair. Uh, three pair. So when I was working, I did Kotlin, mm. which is like kind of like Java. Mm. Uh, but for my side Quite project, the play there by I'm Nick. doing Flutter. It's Dart. It's like Google's uh, cross-platform language. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think AI can code pretty well? I use I use uh, like GitHub Copilot, mm. which is it's really useful. Nice. C6 raised to 500. Hold. Wait, so what happened here? Straddle. Straddle call. Yeah. Five. Fifteen. Oh, being trapped, saving. King Jack Diamond for brown ball on the button. Three bets to 1500. PP looks down at sevens and bucks. Hold. Big Pet Berkey with the canine unit. Doesn't know he's dominated, but he's going to need some, some clubs or a nine. And that is the nuts. What a flop for Brown Bala. <laughs> that is the nuts. Flops the nuts. 400. Thanks for that, dude. 400. Is Berkey a believer or a non-believer? A super small sizing from Bala could induce a spaz from Berkey here. We shall see. He's going to check call here. Pairing six on the turn now. Almost 4K in this pot. Bala flopped the nuts and bet like a tenth of the pot on the flop. Induced a call from Berkey. Here we are on the turn now. 4K in the pot. No. Bala going to bet small again Not and get a hold here. from Berkey. Nice hand there from Brown Bala. New club. Yeah, we do have some chip ASMR going on, like every poker room in, in the world does have. It's part of poker. You can't get players to stop shuffling, like LMFAO. Back in the days, every day we shuffling. Johnny? 
Hey, we got a super chat from Niff. He's saying Cairo is the effing man. Give him a full-time gig on the show. I actually do work here full-time, so thank you for that. Uh, Niff, if nobody loves you, Cairo loves you. If you guys want to send in a super chat, me and Comedic Gamble will read uh, all of your super chats. Oh, is that a tell? Is that a tell that I run over here to play my hand? We appreciate you guys' uh, just had trash. support on this Friday. You guys could be anywhere March 10th, 2023 at 4.27 Pacific Standard Time, but you guys are here with us, and I appreciate that. When I drive home, I feel joy and pride that you guys support us. Johnny with the fish hooks, getting jiggity with it. Five of diamonds. Proves James' hand to a flush draw. C2, 250. Oh. And Jack's hold. Check. Check. Queen eye. Johnny with another little pot. Stephen Mahone. <laughs> Run home. I don't know how name, but he's saying, why is Wei wearing a woman's bathrobe? He is called Drip. His terry cloth material with his bucket hat. I have dubbed him Schoolboy Wei in honor of Schoolboy Q. Oh, you get jacked so many times. And not lose. That's the <laughs> Folded yeah. the ace for you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for the birthday present. Yeah. Shout out to Joker Jake in the chat. Old, old turkey. And I agree with you, Scott Sherman. Everyone should be able to comment how they want in the language. Brown, I'll give Brown Bala some action. <laughs> okay, you might regret it. Are you Brown Bala on the stream today? <laughs> yeah, I'm always Brown Bala. <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> you regret it. But not that. Hundred dollar bet by Brown Bala. And his nine is good. Johnny gave him a little action. How do you feel about snipers in um, poker games on stream? Not just at the table, but on stream specifically. People who sit back, wait for the hands, wait to wait, make money, don't participate in the conversations, are not social, and uh, literally here on stream just to grind it out. I don't think they should be surprised if they don't get to play again. I mean, I think it definitely, when you're playing these streams, I think you definitely want to try to be a fun person at the table. You want to be a catalyst for action. You want to be a conversationalist. You want to be engaging. So I think it's I think it's important. But uh, I also realize I'm a bit of a charismatic, talkative person to begin with, and sometimes I forget that there are people out there who are a, li a bit more introverted and such, and it may be hard for them to do so. But it uh, definitely makes for a better broadcast, a better stream if people are in there mixing it up, either talking or playing a lot of hands, kind of contributing to the vibe, so to speak. So I definitely think it's a good thing. of the vibes, Johnny makes it up with King Six offsuit from the small block. Absolutely. Yeah. Him and Way are going to go heads up. And he hits a gut shot. Way with just the ace high right now in the lead. Four hundred. We gonna bet his ace high for value here in this blind versus blind battle. He's gonna get a call from Vibes. He's got the gut shot to the seven here with this king six. Three of clubs on the turn. Way picks up a gut shot to the two now. He's got a wheel draw to go with his ace high. 1300 in the pot. Vibes checks to Wee now. He's four. 700. He's gonna bet 700 into 1300. A little more than half pot bet here. Should be enough to get vibes out of the hand, unless he decides to be a bit ambitious here with this king six. We shall see. 2K in the pot, 700 for vibes to call. Sensing weakness, vibes is going to raise to 3,200 now. He's really going to put the pressure on way with the ace four wheel draw. Really good instincts here by vibes. Gets a full from the better hand. Nice play there by Johnny Vibes. Really bon good bon instincts bon there. Bon bon. 
Yeah. Also a nice part. Yeah. Got the nice moment. classes as well. Battle of the Shades versus Barky. the Bucket Hat in that bum, one. Bum. Yeah. I like that. Bum, bum, bum. Berkey. Bum, bum. Double board, right, guys? Double board, the bomb bomb. All right, if you guys have already hit the like button, when we get to 400, I'll do another giveaway. But if you already hit the like button on the honor system, put a one in chat, and we'll give you a shout out after the game. It's for free, and also on on Twitch, if you drop a one in the chat, or I will set the boss. Do a shout out. That will get back to the table. Double set is hard to get though. Thank you guys. Yeah. Single set is hard to get. The single set is hard to get, yeah. <laughs> I've got a double set once, I think, in No Limit Bell yeah. Once, yeah. <laughs> We're playing 2550 No Limit Hold'em here at the Park West Bicycle Casino. 2550 $50 ante. We got Matt Big Bet Berkey in the house. We got Masato in the house. We got birthday boy Johnny Vibes as well. We are in a double board bomb pot hand at the moment. That's how the collection or rake gets decided in higher stakes games. Oh, this is a spicy one. Brown baller with the aces, but Masato with the queen four. This could get messy for sure. We shall see some fireworks here between Masato and Brown Bala. Ife with the king on the bottom. He doesn't know that Brown Bala has aces and his king is behind. He is in a tough spot here. He's okay. not a good not a good spot as Yiffe. He's got absolutely nothing on the top board and he is beat on the bottom board. An ace on the top board would be disastrous for Masano. Yes it would. That would be the absolute max pain turn on the top, no doubt about it. Ace of Diamonds would be even spicier because Yefe would have the nut plus draw. That would be nuts. That would be pretty nuts. Just manifest chaos. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you 100% are. Two so Brown Bala made it 200. Yefe called and Masato bumped it up to 1600. It's now over Brown Bala. 1400 to go. You have aces. You could be winning the bottom Serious board. Serious laptop right there. Which he is. Nice rig. Gets out of the way. We've got a heads up pot here as we go to this turn. No cruel ace yet. Yeah, thank you. Safe on Keyword. the turn. Keyword, yet. Yeah. We've got a six and a seven now. Masato now has a flush draw on the bottom board. Things got a lot more interesting. He's got a flush draw. He also has a gut shot with a six. We'll make a straight as well. He's got a gut shot, straight draw, and a flush draw with his queen four of spades. And he's also got the top board absolutely locked up, aside from a two out shout ace on the river. Really great spot here for Masato to get a scoop and at least chop. He is in the catbird seat here, no doubt about it. Ace of spades on the bottom board would be disastrous for Brown Bala, and it would equal scoop bill for Masato. That is what Bala is hoping to see an ace, no doubt about it. Masato got to love that turn as well. He's got, he's got the queen eye spades. He's got the gut shot to the six. He's got trips up top. Ah, it's going to be tough. All in, Brown Bala. Brown Bala going all in. 35K. Wow. Masato can't fold uh, trips up top and flush draw on the bottom. I mean, he could. Perhaps Masato's thinking I'm losing to a better queen X up top and I'm basically just on a flush draw and gut shot on the bottom. Obviously when eight people see a flop, it's not hard for somebody to have a queen X that's bigger than your queen four, but it's a tough spot for Masato. He's worried about being scooped as well, potentially here to a better queen X. Yeah, especially in these bomb pots, Brown Baller could easily have a set of twos, a set of sixes. I mean, that's all it takes is for Brown Ball to have a queen, you know, something like queen seven or you know, something that makes a pair on the bottom that beats his queen four and he's got him on top with a better kicker, you know, something like that. There's a lot of ways for Masato to to be in trouble here as well. That's what makes double board bomb pot such a complicated, kind of tough, nuanced game. As we can see it, he's, you know, in an amazing spot, but he's definitely fearful about eight people seeing a flop and somebody having a bigger queen X. There is no solver for this. It's definitely a lot more undiscovered uh, landscape of poker, no doubt about it. A lot more guesswork. 
As he studies the board, it's interesting that he's not studying Brown Bala at all. Ten seconds. So they're sitting right next to each other. I think Brown Bala's chips are. Yeah, he's he's really worried about getting. Adding time. He's adding a time chip here. Each player gets five one minute, minute time, time chip. Time you might chip. see all of them being yeah. used in this no. hand. I think perhaps. This is already worth it. <laughs> I paid 11,000 to eat all your time chips. <laughs> Massive hand of consequence here between Masato and Brown Bala. Double board bomb pot. Uh, I should have a goal already on the turn. <laughs> if I check going this. Oh, so disgusting. <laughs> I should have just go all in. <laughs> you know, it was way easier than this. I wouldn't this. have folded. <laughs> obviously, Masato very worried about a hand like King Queen. Obviously, would have him absolutely in terrible shape. You know, what would be funny if the person that makes you yes. use the time chip gets the time chip. Since I made him use his time chip, I should get them. <laughs> and now, like. <sighs> yeah, I fold, I fold. And he oh, finds a fold. Aces. I literally was like, give me aces in a bump oh. pot. And I got aces in a bump pot. <laughs> wow. Now he wants to see the river. Oh, he was so good. Chop, 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 right? Yeah. <laughs> Sato Let's making go. some two, two really <laughs> awkward lay down. I First was queen, like, now just give me aces and a bomb queen. pot. And then I look at my cards and I was like, aces. And I was like, let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. I should have just go only on the turn. <laughs> what do you have? Queen, ah, queen yes. Queen, right? Queen, yes. Yeah. But I can scoop you with king, queen. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, like, you know, I had a very, very weak like queen. So. <laughs> yeah, but I got a drone. That on the flop, on the, on the, on the flop, I was no, thinking no, I, about shoving or calling. No. And, and then I didn't shove because I was like, if I shove and you have a queen and he has a set, yeah. then I then I just get scooped. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I was That's like, right. I'll just call. And then when he got out of the way, I was like, all right, let's go. Now I'm, I'm ah. losing both. <laughs> I'm like a double border fish. <laughs> I had a draw on the bottom as well. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 So I, had, I had a chance. Three, I had a chance. Four or something, or queen six. Queen four, queen four, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Fuck! Yeah, yeah, but you're like getting scooped by Max Payne. 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 I can relate to that. I play Every quite a bit of double board myself. And queen, it's, if you have it's a tough game to play. Queen 7, Queen 8, Queen 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have just go orient the turn. Yeah. <laughs> I love bomb pops. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> I made my Sato fold the top. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you 100% call with my holder, right? Then yes. Yeah, I have aces. I yeah. can never yeah. lose on both. How can yeah. I fold? I could yeah. be getting pre roll. The worst case is if you have like king queen. But that's it, right? Exactly. Or pocket yeah. king. Like but actually, I had a, like, you know, one loop that are, you know, was the combination against you. I had a queen and the, no. you know, just, yeah, raise. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. if you don't raise the flop, it gets more dicey. Because three ways to the turn, yeah. I'll probably check back. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. to hear their inside on the hand. So when you get a heads up, now I get to put you in the case. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to Masada there. I mean, it's obviously he's in, it looks like he, when we can see the cards, he looks like he's obviously in an amazing spot. But obviously, in his seat, he knows eight people saw a flop <laughs> randomly, and it's not that hard for somebody to have a bigger queen X than queen four. So, the sign way with the flush drop. That's four. Right, what should I ask for next? I want quads against top up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second wish. I already got my first one granted by accident. Ah, <laughs> now if I get quads against top oh, one, everyone's going to quit the game. You can run. <laughs> ah, so stupid. Why I check? <laughs> Good check. Good check. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> Your head's not good enough to gym. Good check, good check. You want to <laughs> control the size of the pot. 
I tell you, small blind person. Good check. Good check. Uh, well, I go all in. Kind of suicide, like <laughs> you know, uh, on the queen side, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah wide. Uh, you know, like, can't go all in. Like, what if I have a, I, I have a queen a lot there when I call you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I will revenge. <laughs> revenge. <laughs> revenge. Yeah, no, you'll give me the rest of your stack. Check. Mm. Ice, ice cold. Okay, 500. <laughs> Poker <laughs> players can be ruthless, boy, I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> Brown baller now, bullying uh, Masato. Somebody call the embassy. <laughs> For real, right? I'll never call it worse. Yeah, yeah, but but if you go all in, I might, I'm, I might fold a hand that has a lot of equity against you. Like if I have like queen deuce or something, and you shove the turn, like probably I would fold because I have nothing on yeah. the other board, right? Yeah. Never Good seen check. so many people Good get check. angry. <laughs> you let me shove. Brown turn. ball is laughter. My life. It's pretty great life. I feel like it's just whoever gets the shove first. <laughs> Puts the other person in a more tough spot. They're like, how dare he be happy in playing poker? Seriously, <laughs> right? I, I love that. I love people like that at the table, man. I'm tired of everybody wearing headphones, asking for a seat changes all the time, being so cutthroat. It's so annoying. It's nice to see people that are just you having fun at the table and not worried yeah, about every single edge that can be I taken. Think, yeah. Just go all in. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Normal too. Why, why go all in? See one, 400. <laughs> then I go, yeah. <laughs> then I go. <laughs> if you bet small and then yeah, I bet. Yeah. 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 Because then it's not like 4x pot. Yeah. Uh, C9 raise. 1400. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a pretty big raise. Double ball of fish. Well, I am too. Oh, with the ace king? Another guy had king. <laughs> <laughs> I like this play yeah, by Pippi here. It's kind of too weak a hand yeah, to yeah, check yeah, call. It's just the gut shot, but it's a pretty good semi blocking yeah, hand, obviously. Like, it's like, it's got backdoor hearts. He it's I got a six for a straight. I didn't think any farther than that. I think it's way better to play that hand aggressively with like a check raise versus a check call. But I didn't think about kings. First 40 hands of this stream have been, been deep. When we started off with two four bet pots, the very first two hands, it really got off to a flying start, no doubt. That was a nice hand. I got some revenge on Seen some interesting double board bomb pot hands, which has Finally, been cool. Sometimes those mistake. don't intersect Finally, in a way that makes for uh, a lot of Finally. action, but we've had some big uh, pile ups so far with those so more. far. C7, raise to 300. Full, full. I also made him use all this time to look away with a three bet here to 1,000 with the ace ten hearts, putting the pressure on Masato's button to open. Yeah, but today pretty early on. Usually he still has one or two left at the end. This time I ate all of them. Masato declines the four bet ops for the call of the three bet in position here. Heads up between Wee and Masato. I think I've said Wee and Wei. I'm going to guarantee myself getting it right, saying it about every possible way. I feel like that would be fair. i got to <laughs> pick a pronunciation at this point. I think 10, 8, 7 with two diamonds. C4, 800. Wei going to bet 800 into 21 here with his ace 10 that he three bet pre flop. Probably blocking the camera, right? Masato now facing an $800 bet. After opening the button, getting three bet, flatting the three bet. Now he's in a flat, the flop lead here from Wei. Who's in this here? Well, there was no five two, right? Yeah, I think Jack of Diamonds on the turn. Just tell him to step back. I was in four, Masato was in six. So hey, bud, you're blocking the camera. Oh, okay. Whatever luck you're experiencing is just all like your own. Uh -huh. Check. Johnny's like quiet on the set. 
<laughs> I mean, it's brutal. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Looks like we're gonna go check, check on this turn. Masato gonna take his free look at another diamond here with this Queen of Diamonds. Nope. Is, is Brick City on the river here, six of hearts. Got a one liner straight to the nine. We got three diamonds, three bet pot, button versus blind here. Way three Every bets and blinds. I bet someone, they just have it, and then I lose. <laughs> After Masato opened the button. Seven handed. Okay, I can raise check. some garbage. Check to Masato here. Gonna be pretty hard for him to maybe check this back just with ace high. Probably gonna be very tempted to try to bluff this pot here. Let's see what he does here. 3,700 in the pot as he's thinking here. What's your ethnicity? Indian. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't look Indian to me. Yeah, people say I look Persian usually. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. yeah. Both your parents are Indian? Yep. Oh. Like Masato that's has a bit of a range advantage yeah. here. Yeah. They're from North India. Uh, so that's why on the button, pretty light. you can represent a 9x yeah. a little easier, as well as diamonds as well. Way a little more oriented to the higher cards and the higher pairs. Where are you from? 5,000. Yeah, I'm from over half his My mom's Turkish. Oh, okay. Over bet here from dad. Masato. Uh, 5,000 into 3,700. Oh, okay. nice. You're beat by a jack if you're way. You're beat by a flush. Yeah, you're beat by a straight. The only thing you have is a bluff catcher. Absolutely, a stone cold bluff catcher here. A nine makes a straight. <laughs> two diamonds make a flush. Two pair combinations. He just got that lone 10x here, ace 10. He did three bet it from the blinds here after Masato opened the button. Masato defended the three bet. I guess food service. time chip here. Each player has 30 seconds to act. They do get five one minute time chip extensions. You can use all five time chips in one hand if you choose. Way going deep into the tank here. Like that, so facing an overbet of 5,000 into a $3,700 pot. A pot that he three bet from the blinds after Masato opened the button. Timer, yeah. But yeah, like when it comes down to the end, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. That is where that's from, huh? Call. And he makes the call. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Masato just ships it. There we go. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Wow. What a call there. He by like way. <laughs> wow. You teach these kids a lesson. Wow. Hero call of the day. Adding 20. <laughs> Here's 20 k Masato the big winner wow. yesterday with over 6,000 or 60,000 in profits <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Taking a big little chunk of that out as he goes into his bag for some, some reloading chips. I'll tell you what, that was well played by both players. I think Masato put a great bluff there. Way made an incredible call. I can be your hero, baby. What a call on that river there. I mean, holy moly, I did not expect that coming at all. That was something else there by Way. How about that? Unbelievable call there. Play of the day by far here by Way. Unreal, unreal call. Great bet by Masato as well. I mean, if Masato could see his opponent's hand, he would have made that same bet. Just great play by both players, in my opinion. Even better play by Way there to gulp down that 5K call. Heroic call there by Way. Very impressive. Call, fold. C4 call, C5 fold, C6 raise to 200, C7 call, C8 fold, C9 raise to 1,000. C2, fold. C4, fold. Sato's looking like he's still thinking about that hand. Absolutely, it's hard not to. I believe Masato said in for 20, but I'm only seeing perhaps we're waiting for more chips, it looks like. a pressure anyone from Masato because you feel like you read the situation perfect. You felt like you read your opponent having a weak range as he did. He's not going to be able to call this, but 
you got the hand reading part down right, but you got the kind of emotional part wrong where how he's going to respond to that bet. Obviously, he got the hand reading part down right, but just didn't guess correctly as to how he would have responded to that bet. TP betting 700 with his king, queen of diamonds. Oh, Matt Berkey um, with the flush draw. Oh, right? uh, Redraw to the straight flush is now banned. Like is that to a club 15 comps? years ago. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. Yeah. So you did like C++ or Java? Or Java. Yeah. And then uh, I did web development. So I was like okay. .NET. I don't even know if they have .NET anymore. .NET, yeah. Second barrel from PP no right here. Not a one pump yeah. chump. He's going to fire out another like barrel like here. Or like, it's king queen. Uh, yeah, like a lot of the stuff you said, I didn't remember. Berkey, Berkey not remember. an easy guy I've been, to barrel I've been into as well. well for 16 years. No, Flutter is like very new. It's Colin is also pretty new. Mm. Berkey yeah. sniffed that out immediately. But before that, like when I first continue started, with this flush draw Gala. in position. Also. I'll do like little things here and there. Like I, um, Other Jack, PP just has to fire a third uh, barrel and he'll take this down. This is where it gets nine. interesting here. This is where the rubber meets the road in the and hand. Then, like, I wanted it to Each player brick, but who's you know, going to have the courage to fire that shell? Okay. So I just feel like a Google Basically script to do it. Oh, that's cool. So I'll do little things here and there, but... Check. He's just in the way of the white flag here. He's going to check over to Berkey. Berkey left with 10 high. It's got to be a bluff here, I have to think. And, um, it's just a matter of what kind of size is Berkey going to opt 25. for here. Okay, 2,500 takes it down. Thank you. I was never a very good developer, though. Honestly, like, mm. my code was always, like, three times as long as it needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of it is just, like, learning the right ways to structure things. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's easy. He's going to give it oh, up. He's going to check back to 10 high. <laughs> He's going to hate to see the king queen from PP here. When I first started, um, Berkey definitely missed I also, I win. like, would write everything in one file, and it would be really hard to read and things yeah. like that, yeah. Perhaps feeling he wasn't able to credibly rep yeah. yeah. the, the bet on the river there, checking back the turn in position, like, really, perhaps. Really yeah. Perhaps now. thought like, maybe he was trapping there. Like, basically, like, oh. say, like, no, 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 no. I want to, like, write a function <laughs> that, like, sorts these things or like look for this thing in this list you can just like write a comment and be like function that does this and it'll generate it for you yeah it's pretty crazy yeah it, ma it makes it way easier yeah. I mean, obviously you can't do it for a lot of like everything but you can do it helps with a lot of things yeah. like even for ui like you can write a comment and be like button that like does this and says this wow. and then if you have a function that like can do that it'll like It'll like to know that it can just call that function from that place. That's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah, like very, it very, very, very useful. Um, huh? yeah, and then like chat um, GPT is really yeah, useful too. Yeah. Like the it can write code as well, right? Yeah, it can, yeah. Me. But like me. Huh? The codex, which is like the GitHub compiler. That's better for like when you already know what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then ChatGPT is better for like planning it. Sorry, I was just listening there. Very oh, good. ChatGPT is just better for like planning. Twenty percent. Like, Nick, I the V pip leader here, almost forty percent. Like, Nick, thirty-nine. ChatGPT is great, man. Yeah. Way big winner here after that hero it. call. I used it to uh, help me boy, Johnny write a green. YouTube title 3, the other day. Oh, that's nice cool. to see yeah. that. You play on your birthday, I feel like you should like, be rewarded. I, I said, uh, to give see me vibes 10 in the lead. YouTube titles he dodged, felt about by, uh, bluffing and poker. Oh, and then he, just yeah. he was at yeah. risk, no doubt about it. He got that second, I, I second highly run tested. out to chop. <laughs> New bench. <laughs> New bench. <laughs> Is it able? Uh, interrupting a revenge. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. Interruption. No. Revenge interruption. <laughs> I also had a write, uh, card player wanted a bio from me. I just wrote uh, like a list. Oh, just to go with this style. I just wrote a list of things and said code. write a short bio <laughs> based on this. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's really good for the, that type of stuff, too. Flop? Like a lot of Ooh. people use it for uh, like essays and mm. resumes. Masato hits his ace. Way hits his king. Nines really are still in there. Stuff. Position. Masato mm. bets 500. Mm. Prompt okay. ball top of the way. Yeah. Way says I have a pair. Can't improve <laughs> with either a backdoor flush draw or a ten or a king. The eight of clubs does nothing for either player. Ten on the river would be quite eventful. 2,000. 2K. 
Uh, he benched. Uh, that's probably gonna happen. No. <laughs> he said show it. He said no. And this time. Here, give me one of those. Five it's gonna be an interesting dynamic between Masato and Wei the rest of the day. No doubt about it after that hero give call. Thank you. You guys, I totally yeah, forgot to read time. your shout outs but, uh, for one, so if you guys could drop one again in the chat. Uh, I will do that used to as be I scrolled mine. back up. <laughs> anymore, but if I go over to Twitch, <laughs> some of them, some yeah. shout out yeah. to Goblin Spoker, yeah. Pupski, yeah. Dano yeah. Face, Why, yeah, uh, Addy Wit, Michael, uh, uh, TV Token, 20. Sandy Joy, Masada, the Noble Lord Bar, Jamboran, and everybody there. Everybody on YouTube, if you could drop a one again for your shout out, but you had to have hit the like button. We're 106 likes away from another giveaway, so what is the straddle to? make sure you press like if you haven't, okay. and hit the share button and tell the homies because it's the easiest way for us to get more people in here to hit like. And Johnny Vibes, for the third time, is getting pocket jacks. We're going to start calling them pocket Johnnies. He raises his 700. Way comes along with his elbow. Oh, no, he doesn't. I have no, I have, I have no time to <laughs> <laughs> tip. Masato wakes up with the albino anteaters, a.k.a. American so Airlines, a.k.a. Pocket Rockets. I guess this could get messy time. for vibes. <laughs> good. <laughs> or the birthday nice. run good. They call with 7 deuce. The 7 deuce game is not on. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Too expensive. <laughs> Yeah. Johnny C. You can say that now, but when you're facing 20,000 on the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will buy it then. <laughs> and the side of the price will go up. There. Yeah. He's very ecstatic at this bet. <coughs> that is a black call. I'm going to play it as a check call. He's got the ace of hearts as well. That but Nick has redraw. a two. And Nick does have a two, and apparently a plan, I have to assume, to put that call pre flop. His plan Ooh. is the pink of seven. He's really wanting to turn this oh. hand over, I think. King of Hearts on the turn, giving a nut plush Ooh. redraw to Masato's Ooh. pocket Ooh. aces. Is Johnny going to try to represent this king? No. Yeah. Masato has every reason to bet here. Yo. Okay. He needs to get Nick and Johnny to fold nice. their hands. Are you doing good? Check. Check it out. Not a good card for Johnny. Brick yeah. City on the river. Bottom checks and Nick can bluff his stack off and win this pot. There's 5,500 in the pot. Pot size bet should take this down. Flush is out there. Trip Kings is out there. And no, he surrenders. He gives it up. I win. I win. Oh my god, how do you have an <laughs> I really thought Nick was going to try to do some heroic stuff on that post flop, calling the pre flop a 7 2 offsuit, but uh, Hart would have been drastic for Nick there. I guess he thought the better of it and pivoted mid hand, I suppose. Unless they have some 7 2 prop on that we're unfamiliar of. I think we would have heard that mentioned at some point, but. Nick, Nick just has balls of steel. He just. Shout out to KZ Chiller, Jeff Balswick, Dean, Chris Stewart, Father Burn, Corey R. Somebody with a Japanese name. Thank you for dropping a one in the chat and pressing like. We're at a 305 likes, 95 likes away from another Cairo Loves You channel membership oh, giveaway. Oh, oh, oh. And don't forget that LA TV predictor on Valley Play. Make sure you get the chance in to get some free Live the Bike swag. Monster, yes. Valleyplay.com yeah. backslash yeah. LATV for that free yeah. Live the Bike swag that both yeah, Cairo and I have been yeah. rocking in oh. here. You actually saved me your money. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I just have the long sleeve that you're rocking so far. I want some Let's more see. merch. I need some more Live the Bike merch. Uh, yeah. You should uh, start sure predicting right. on Friday. Sure. Yeah, I think yeah. I need to. Shoot, I need to start getting that, getting okay. that Valley predictor in there. Okay. Try to score a hoodie or something. That'd be nice. You saved me your money. Six. <laughs> Nick L with an air burger. Twelve hundred from Johnny. Off you raise three hundred, he lays, down. and you know, hit you call, mm -hmm. yeah. and you fold nice. on the spot. You save a lot. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> maybe bump. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Bump. Maybe. <laughs>
And if you guys are wondering, the predictor game did end at 4 o'clock. But we do play that every Friday here at Live the Bike. So good luck to those that entered. If you missed out, make sure you enter in next week, every week here at Live the Bike. Sorry, but your chance to win the swag is over. Gotta wait. Yeah, you have to Gotta wait. wait. I forgot what time it was, man. I'm an hour late. It's past uh, 5 p.m. Brown Baller with a red and black king in his hand. I got no sense of time in this booth in here. When I'm in this black box, I don't know what time it is. I couldn't tell you what time it is. I just know it's time to see some action. We got pocket kings here from Brown Bala. Masato opened this pot with 10-9 of hearts under the gun. A great little snapper hand there, as we would call it. The four bet is coming. And look at Bala, just a little camouflage call there from Brown Bala. Plus one, he called the 150 with pocket kings. He gets a three bet from PP with the ace eight of spades. Perfect plan here for Brown Ball so far. Camouflage this call here with Pocket Kings. Now he's hoping to get potentially a four bet spot here by the time he gets back to him. And he's going to go over pot if he does. <coughs> Very interesting. Both players are super deep here. Two deepest stacks at the table. We're 40K hey. north hey, effective go. here. And that is a. <laughs> yes! Triple pot size. That is a bet. huge bet in. here from Brown Ball. <laughs> PP's ace eight is no good. Nine He's going to get out of the you way. Are the man. Maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> tough sizing there for anybody to continue with the pocket, pocket kings. That's a great way to win a small to medium amount pre flop, but might be tough to win a bigger pot. Putting that much in pre flop might be kind of narrowing the field down to just aces potentially with action like that pre flop for that kind of size when you hold kings. Yeah, interesting point, PLO net. Oh, Brown Baller did run didn't have jacks there. kings into aces two days in a row. Go with he did it. not want to have that happen. You're three glad days. you didn't have kings into aces, eh? That's pretty tough. He made 5,000 with a hand better than jack. Jack. No, because he had like king queen or something. That's yeah. pretty tough. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> it's very painful that you didn't have jacks. Although if somebody does have aces, you're making it 5K, he's not going to get them out the way. But What do you mean? I don't think he's putting 5K in a folding. I had a good hand. Yeah, Not better than Jack. These are good hands. <laughs> Don't ever have kings. <laughs> I will play collect this time. You play what? Collect. Not that like, means. not like last time. <laughs> I played long. Oh, correct. Check. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's action time. I thought you were gonna collect. Bom double okay. board bomb pot. Check. Check. Everybody, hundred dollars. <laughs> sees the flop action yeah, starts from the flop onward. No pre-flop action, then double board mm. bomb. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. Our graph is getting caught up. Masato with an ace on both boards. Okay. Also has not like a flush draw on the bottom okay. board. Why do you play stupid versus me when you're king deuce? <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you pick that time to play good? Board to the turn, five diamonds up top. Queen he did the RNG. Stupid. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Like it's Masato and Nick heads up. Oh, yeah, there with Jack. Nine yeah, Masato has a check mark, meaning he scoops both boards. Check. Check. Jack nine is not yeah, doing anything. Eight. 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 Not much going there. Uh, Masato finally beating that bomb pot. Yes, he finally did. He finally did. These bomb pots seem to be often like not through. much going check through or massive fireworks. It can be sometimes. So. Revenge. These bomb pots can be all or nothing hands, it seems like, at times. We are over 2,000 people on YouTube. Yeah, How about like that? How about that? How about that? Thanks for tuning queen. in YouTube and Twitch. Thanks for everybody tuning in the chat, being active with the posts and comments. We appreciate it. Yeah. Good to have a queen. Nice you guys to have, have any questions? On the Sandy Joy is holding it down on Twitch. She's oh, our moderator over time. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> not like Twitch without That'd you. be next time. Shout out to Nurse Heem. Chiming in, giving a shout out to the dealer. Appreciate that contribution, Nurse Heem, and YouTube. Thanks for that. We appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Michael's in uh, the, the box right now. Him well, and Corey both I'm deal on the floor here at the Bicycle Casino. Oh. And they are my two favorite dealers to have on the floor because I can talk massive trash to right. them for no reason. <laughs> uh -huh. It is nice to have a good, fun, competent dealer at the table. It's not easy to, to deal. It's a tough game to, do, to deal. you got all kinds of personalities to manage, and we appreciate all those good, hardworking dealers out there. Well, it's redemption time for Masada. The ladies came back. 
Ah, it's like an insta call. One call, Nick 3 bet, he's going to call the 4 bet with 9 8 of diamonds. Heads up flop here between Masato nice and Nick. Queens versus the 9 8 of diamonds. Thank you. Nick did spike a pair on this flop. 10 8 2 with two hearts. Neither player with a heart. You got 4,200 in this pot. We're playing 13K plus effective behind. Does he go quarter pot? Oh, thank you. 2,000. Nope, half pot basically. Yeah. Just a shade under yeah, half here, betting 2K into 4,200 with the Queens. Nick's gonna peel with his 9 8. Huh? Jack would be interesting. Uh, nice. Jack or a 7, a couple open ended yeah, cards he you. can catch, but the ace of clubs on the turn. And that's interesting because if Nick was calling with ace king here, ace queen, ace jack. I think Masato is probably discounting ace king. I think he probably would have thought Nick is going to four bet ace king, but definitely other ace hexes so. like perhaps an ace jack, perhaps ace queen. Lily does have queen, so he blocks ace He's queen. Awesome. <coughs> but there is some chances that Nick could have intersected with this ace potentially as well. Sato does not hit the brakes. He does not yield. He bets 3,000. Nick lets go of his hand. Masato gets revenge. He gets revenge. He gets the win. Masato on a little baby heater. He is on a little heater. A little post. See Eric back there on the camera. He 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 felted me twice last week. Our camera guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't let it go yet. Oh no. Dude. Dude. <laughs> freeze. <laughs> you said freeze. Shout out to him and Brian, Jeff, <coughs> production team. What? We all yep. played. It was fun times just last week. Really nice a little no limit game I assume here on the floor. Oh yeah, high stakes one three. There you go. Nice. It's all money. It all plays in the real world. And uh, Corey and Michael, our dealers, played in that game as well. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, we had a good time. Drinks were flowing hard. That's nice. Oh. Nice to have the little... Shout out to Matt, the Weezinator. Oh. Game lubricant with the alcohol. I know he's tuned in. And shout out to Alex Lee. I know he's tuned in <coughs> from Vegas as well. We were all having a good time. Except for me, because I kept getting belted by... That was your chance to get him back, That man. makes it tougher. 8,000. Maybe I was tapping again. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Johnny Vibes can spike an ace or a nine here. Pretty sick spot here for Berkey. He three bet this king three of spades and he catches a king spade spade flop. Follow going nowhere. Vibes going nowhere. Now he's priced in. Wait, is he going to re raise? No. A couple canary chips get added to the pot. That three of diamonds mean nothing to anybody except for Berkey because he now has two pair. He's now further in the lead. He was in the lead on the flop, but now he's further in the lead, no doubt. He's got two pair. He's got a second up flush draw. He's got an absolute monster hand here. He three bet this king three of spades pre flop. Got an absolute dream flop. Even better turn. 4,000, 3,000, 2, 4, 5. I'm just saying numbers at this point. Absolutely tailor made board here for Berkey, who 3 bet pre flop. 4,500, wow. 4,500 into 6,000 here, a little 3 quarter pot size bet here. Berkey does have the majority of his chips in action here. He bet 4,500 on the turn. He's only got some ashtray money behind, 2,300 left. Pot's got well over 10,000 in it right now. Johnny. Back to vibes. He does have the open improve. He can improve. He can make an ace or a nine for the nut straight. Obviously, it cannot be a spade. So it's a bit of a complicated open end straight draw. He gets out of the way. Nice hand there for Matt Berkey. Alex Lee in the chat actually speaking about that game between the LA uh, TV staff. He says, I punted 1200 in that game, and it's an $80 buy-in. I caught some of those punts. Thank you, Alex. Nice trap. Also, shout out to Sammy the Bull. I'm pretty sure I For no reason. Sam. Besides what Alex was doing. Johnny, if Johnny falls the flop, I don't fall the trail. Just listening to the tape. <coughs> it was all going on the river. I had, well. eight I had eight out. I had eight out. I didn't need any out, but I had the eight best out. hand. 
And Queen Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Berkey's thinking he actually had six I outs. Six outs. There you go. Oh, spades, huh? You had spades? Mm -hmm. oh. Not as ideal oh, having straight called. draws on flush oh, draw yeah, boards. Oh. One forward. Heads up. Heads up. PP Binks top pair. He has the jack of diamonds Check. for the flush draw. Five of hearts. Probably a good time for PP to bet. It's only 775 in the pot. Nope. Looks like uh, 400. 275. 275. I can't count anything. I haven't seen PP or Yife get tangled up in too many hands of consequence so far. They've kind of been uh, out of the fray, so to speak, so far. But maybe we'll get to see them get tangled up in a big pot here at some point. Definitely would be interesting to see PP have a big pot. He's got the most chips at the table. He bought into like 50 large, so Perky's it would be interesting to see him get tangled up in something for sure. <laughs> Deck saved you once. I know. <laughs> Those sunglasses are just sharp. They are pretty pain. I never pretty want sharp, my birthday. Sure. I want everybody else to experience the same pain. <laughs> <laughs> 75, 75 likes away from the giveaway, guys. I believe in you. Nobody yeah. believes in you. Tired of this. Berkey just black calling to 300 with his ace queen off suit. James wakes up with jack 10 off. Makes the call. We're going to go to a flop. <clears throat> Wow. Okay. Brown ball of flops is second nut flush. Top Game flop here for Bala. The top pair for James with the redraw to the flush draw, which he does not want to hit at this point. Brown Bala Call. way far ahead. Call. Call. All right, we got the tight guy out. You guys want to chop it? <laughs> <laughs> Call it James the tight <laughs> Oh, we got the EP out. Seven of diamonds. Check. Check. Now Bali's got to get some value here. This is definitely his chance. Going to be a little less than half pot here. 1K into 2,200 here. James has every reason to not go anywhere, but he might be able to sniff this out. He does have top pair, he's got a mid flush draw, and he's got a gut shot here with an eight. Obviously, none of those are any actual outs given what Bala has, but of course, he can't possibly know that. Six of diamonds on the river. I think if Brown Bala bets big after James checks here, he's going to be able to, to give the appearance that he's putting in a big bluff. A potential lone heart that didn't come through for sure, no doubt about it. He definitely could elicit a call from James here. Three. The ball is definitely not one who's afraid to bluff or put chips in the pot as well. So it's definitely a player type that somebody could hear a call here with top pair as well. I don't think Brown Bala would just check down a lone ace of hearts or lone king of hearts here. He would be the type of person that would fire off here with just a lone heart. So definitely can see reasons why James could find a call here, but we shall see. Time chip, yeah, he's trying to sniff it out. And he is, there's definitely reason to find a call here. It's definitely definitely very possible the ball could be barreling off here with a lone heart or just any kind of lone bluff, maybe a a queen ten or something perhaps, or a you know, a ten eight that you know had some you know equity that he wanted to barrel off. He did not get there by the river and he's you know, trying to bluff here. And I saw James looking over at uh, Brown Baller who's trying to give off some comfortable energy and he's doing a good job selling it. Keeps looking over at James, scratched his head, took a drink, can't sit still. Yeah, it's definitely a tough spot and for there's James. There's the call, yeah. The call. I think he got a bad read. He got a bad read. He, he, I'm telling you, Brown Baller was selling it there. Yeah, trying to sell it, selling the uncomfortableness. Good move by Brown, Brown Baller. I feel like 3,000 was a slight not necessarily a huge over bet, but it was a bigger bet that looked like a missed flush draw. No doubt about it. Mm. And yeah, he gave off that uncomfortable energy very well. 
I've noticed Brown Baller when he has it, he likes to put his hands above his head, put the flexing guns up. That's his level of comfort, and when he wants to sell, he doesn't have it. He does seven different things within 10 seconds. <laughs> right? Nice move, nice move. Nice move. James is not going to forget that one. And Vibes, our graphic reader has to be wrong. <coughs> so that was an ace jack of diamonds that he just pulled? Yeah, that must uh, have been a, a misread on the graphics or something. I can't imagine that would ever be a fold. <laughs> Do not see yeah, cards in front of him. Wait for his head in the way. And there it is. Yeah, he still has his cards. Okay. If you guys do not see him on the graphics, it's because there was an error. But Johnny Vibes does have Ace Jack of Diamonds. And our graphics are resetting for you guys. PP with the, the Nichols, Sammy Hagar, I can't drive. There you go. 55. Thank you. I also call that the AARP. That'll work, yeah. AARP, 55 year old discount. The senior discount at Denny's. Correct. You know the vibes. He did get ace jack on the straddle. Three bets to 1500. He gets four bet to 3300 by PP from the button. That's very interesting. Not the ideal flop for ace jack, but he checks over to PP who's going to barrel this. He's going to look over at Johnny Stack and say, "I'm, I this is my boat to now. <laughs> I am the captain. Yeah, we shall see here. Definitely think he'll be able to get a bet through if he does. A lot of interesting turns potentially for Johnny Vibes. He's got backdoor diamonds. A nine would make Vibes open in it as well. Could catch a nine or a diamond or an ace, but he may not get to realize that. Let's see if he calls this 1500. I think he will for this price. He does a final call here. Let's see if that can freeze PP into barreling him off in the turn. We shall see here. Jack of spades on the turn. Wow. And that's why you make that call with the two overs right there. Nice, nice card for Vibes, no doubt about it. PB has to go huge, all puns intended, to represent this flush, but he's not. He's going to check it back. And that, that vibes checks. He's going to probably go check, check. PB looks like he has surrender face. It looks like he's going to give up as well. It might be tough to rep anything on this board after checking back the turn okay. in position. I think he's going to surrender after he checks back that turn. Nice hand for Vibes there. Nice hand for Vibes. Almost a nice little 5K win there for Vibes. With it's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a nice catch there on the turn. There's a lot of good profitable turns for Johnny there. He could have caught an ace, a jack, a couple cards for open-ended, diamond. Definitely he was very happy to see that small bet size, I'm sure, by PP. Would have been interesting to see what Vibes would have done had PP bet, say, half or two-thirds pot. But for 1500 made it a pretty trivial call there for Vibes. <coughs> Masato and uh, Brown Ball playing musical chairs on accident. No 1000? No. And when we get a dealer change, it's going to be uh, knit tax time. Yeah, the tightest two people from the previous uh, dealer down have to pay, is it two big blind tax, you're saying? Two, uh, double the ante. So instead of paying a $50 ante, they will pay a $100 ante. $100 ante. Every, every time it's their ante spot for the next hold, uh, the next the dealer down. Yeah. There you go. Definitely adds up. That is a live at the bike huh? uh, official oh. exclusive. I think Sorry. that's a great wrinkle. I've seen some big winner uh, bonuses to try to incentivize acts where the people that are the biggest winners on the stream get like a bonus or something, which I think is interesting. But uh, I think this one's maybe a little better, actually. Okay, so Nick makes two pair on this flop, but it is monotone spade. They go to the turn. It is a jack of clubs. Berkey has the eight of spades here. He can improve to the flush. He's going to take the lead and bet out, and Nick will most likely go nowhere. He's just going to play this as a call down, I have to assume here. His yes. ace nine turns into aces oh. with jacks. And that is the spade Berkey needed to win this hand. Oh. Check. Checks. Nick is going to check back. Check. He's too good. And Berkey takes that down. And you look at Nick over. He goes, man. Announce it proudly. Flop two pairs. He doesn't even play it proudly. Flush. <laughs> Big flush. 
Big flush. <laughs> Fourth nice. stand there for Berkey. <laughs> Big flush Berkey. How many Berkey fans do we have in the chat? Let me know. Do you want to buy the shuttle? Let's see all those Saul for Y fans in the Twitch and YouTube. Let, uh, let him just wait till the next time around. Okay. Thanks for joining us on YouTube you and just, Twitch you on this 2550 the live the bike stream here, brought to you by Bally's Presents. Oh. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble. Got Cairo in the booth with me, Mike mixing things up. Always nice to have Cairo in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's gonna buy mm -hmm. the straddle is two hundred. He's just posting two hundred for the game. Because if bait plays it normal, he ends up straddle. Five hundred. Raise five hundred and seven. More revenge. Yeah. Revenge. No revenge. For oh my god. <laughs> And then Turkey is the battle. 300 from 8, 7, 3 from 7, 8, 9, 4. Actually, I'm 1 call. 50, right? No, he owes 100. No the lowest three pips are 100. Anyway. Your first ah, time? Yeah. First time here? <laughs> you forgot. Yeah, 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 forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are right. Check. 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 Shout out to Speed Bump in the chat. That's quite the handle. I like that Speed Bump handle. Pretty jelly. Thanks for the support in the chat, gang. We appreciate, appreciate it on Twitch and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in here in this quarter of 50 50 anti no limit stream featuring Masado, Berkey. We've got birthday boy Johnny Vibes. We've had some 30K pops so far. A lot of action so far in this stream. Looking forward to this back half of it, no doubt about it. I got Cairo in the booth with me yeah. as well. And I'm waiting for you guys to get to 400 likes so I can bye do bye another bye channel bye. membership giveaway. Bye. You guys, that <laughs> thumbs up is free to hit. The share button is free to hit. The subscribe button is free to hit. But being kind is free in life. Mm. And if you guys can get us to 400 likes, I will do the kind gesture and spend $5 of my money to give you guys a free channel membership. If we could get as many likes as possible, we would appreciate it. Sure. Right, 2,000 people on YouTube, a couple hundred people on Twitch. Everybody on Twitch, if you want to head over to YouTube real quick, hit that like button. I will do another giveaway, and we can improve this stream for you guys. I like the I believe. I'm I believe in you guys. It's that YouTube channel membership yeah. upgrade, right? I am limper. Here we go. It is tilting when you want to use the emojis and you're not allowed to. I'm in Discord and some other things. I want to use an emoji and I'm restricted. It tilts me so bad. So it's nice to have that full access to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? I like that. And if you guys don't want to wait for the giveaway, you guys can hit that join button and uh, sign up for a membership. And I will be sure to give you guys a, a shout out. If you guys are wondering, everybody who has that badge and their name highlighted in green does have a membership. Some of you guys won one by being here daily and loyal. Oh, that is cool. You know what? I always wondered how they got that highlighted. I always wondered what that was about, but now I know. That is pretty cool. It definitely makes you stand out in the chat for sure. Mm -hmm. 12, 12, 12, and you get to use those fiery emojis, no doubt about it. How about Nick here waking up with the pocket aces? Yeefy with top pair on the board, but... He has the second best hand right now. Yeah, quite the family pot brewing here. And Nick slow playing his aces a bit, but he bets 300. He gets raised by Berkey, who has an air burger, Jack 7 off to. And Nick most likely is going to re raise this. Yeah. Ten seconds. Just calls. He might be a little bit worried about two pairs or a set. Heads up. Fold to nine. Ten of diamonds. Mm 
Check. If he's still in there, actually, with his uh, Queen 9, I apologize. Two thousand dollars is the bet. Call. If he calls, I think Berkey got out the way. Seven of clubs. Check. If he in a check calling mood. Two thousand from one five call. Check 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 check. Maybe. And Ify getting the bad information. Uh, yeah. He's a trapper and a limper. Trap limper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm the ah. trapper and the limper. But he was the real trapper and the limper. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 Time to get burned, limp at those aces, but that worked out. <laughs> the limper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. He was waiting for a break key. 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you end up trapping yourself, limping <laughs> in with big pairs like that, but that worked out mm -hmm. perfectly for Nick. Walking between raindrops there, staying dry in this oh, wet oh, LA fuck. Friday here in Bell Gardens, yes. California. Yeah, he's, a, he's a very uh, money. tricky player because he'll mix it up. He looks like he's a sniper. Like he's sitting and back and waiting for good anyways. hands and trapping, but <laughs> he's also mixing it up with seven deuce off Damn at random. Yeah, he definitely mixes it up. He definitely gives off the appearance of a sol yeah, solid, tight same player. Same but the more I've been uh, commentating with him in the booth, I realize he pulls out free these kind of random moves. Yeah, for sure. Hard, hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> Brown baller, highly entertained, by the way. Nick L played that. Uh, Nick L, regular here at Lance of Bike. Absolutely. But not anything regular about how he plays. He definitely has an irregular, kind of interesting tag style, no doubt about it. 938. Plays pretty solid on the hole, but is definitely not afraid to pull the trigger and pull it in a big bluff. Got to respect. Definitely growing a lot of respect for Nick's game, no doubt about it. And Nick now with the top pair nine. Wave at 800. Nick snap calls. A lot of good turns here for Wave. He's got back to our page and catch a 10 as well for an open ender. Octo Crab would have made a boat. Octo Crab, my favorite hand. The Octo Crab. But Way dodged all those backdoor equity, unfortunately. He's still got that A7 unimproved, trailing the top pair of Nick with the Jack-9. Almost 4K in this pot now. If Way could double barrel here. 2,500. Wow, that's a big, big second barrel. He's at 2,500 with absolutely nothing here. No redraw, no prospects, just sheer bravado here. 2,500. Three quarters bet, pot size bet here. When check to from way now, Nick facing the twenty-five hundred dollar bet. Top pair, Jack kicker, fold. and he finds a fold. Nick <coughs> thinking that uh, Way might have been taking a play out of his book and slow playing aces. Perhaps. I mean, Way's been an <coughs> interesting player this stream. He's been pretty solid overall, but then he gulped down that $5,000 over bet with just a pair of 10s on the wettest board ever. So I think he's kind of got the table guessing here for sure. Yeah, this table is, is, is spicy. I think after he made that hero call of Masada, I don't think anybody wants to mess with Way after that. They're no. saying, I'm a fold. I don't just no. This dude scares me. <laughs> hold, hold. And you would think Berkey or one of the other pros are the more intimidating yeah. players at the table, but these new guys, hold, hold. like way hard to read, hard to play. Especially after you see him, like you said, make a huge hero call against Masato. You're thinking, what the heck am I going to do? <laughs> but now we have Brown Baller with the Ace King of Diamonds. Johnny Vibes with the Queen Ten of Diamonds. <laughs> Huge hand developing here. Brown Baller with the three bet from the big blind. Twenty or sorry, two thousand dollars. Thought it was twenty two hundred for a second. Two thousand dollar three bet here from Brown Bala. Vibes with the very enticing Queen Ten of Diamonds as well. Burke with the Jack Nine of Spades. That one was painful. That was a lot of hands here that want to see a flop, <laughs> but it's going to be a heads up here. It looks like between Brown Bala and Berkey. And Johnny Vibes getting out of the way. Heads up. Mm. Did not want to be sandwiched in between Brown, Bala, and Berkey. And Brown, <laughs> Berkey. Not Berkey, I'm so sorry. 
uh, Johnny Vibes would have binked that queen. Three. He would have binked a queen, but he would have been facing a lead out of the blind from Bala, who three bit, and he also would have had Berkey behind him. So it would have been a very tough play here for Vibes with a top pair, kind of mediocre kicker sandwiched in between the preflop three better and Brown Bala, who's got a strong range, and he would have had Berkey behind him. Would have been a tough spot, but he would have been in the lead at the moment. Berkey's going to call with his gut shot straight draw. He's got a 10 for the nuts here. And here comes the ace. Ace of hearts on the turn. Jenga for Brown Bala here. He spikes top pair after C betting ace high. 10,475 in this pot right now. 20K effective behind. Let's see what ball of size is here. 2,500. He's going to bet quarter pot here. 2,500 and a 10.5 roughly. Berkey still with the gut shot. 10 makes Berkey a straight. End of the day, he has jack high. He does have jack high, but he's got the button and he's got some gumption here, no doubt about it. He has a 10 for a straight. He perhaps maybe he's going to peel this turn bet and hopefully try to play brown ball off his hand by the river here. Oh, and he's going for it. No 10. Another ace. Repeating ace on the river here. Let's see what Brown Bala does. Is he trying to check and get some rope to Berkey to bluff, or is he going to bet his ace for value? What to do here for Brown Bala? 15K in the pot as we speak. Well, if he does check here, Matt cannot just check and win this hand, so a bet would have to come in. But there's the all in, and it was a snap fold. The snap fold from Berkey. Would have been, been interesting to see oh, what Wayne. Berkey would have did when checked to. If Brown Bala would have checked, I really think bum, Berkey would have bluffed off there, but definitely tempting to bet your trip aces for value for sure. Definitely don't mind a bet either there from Brown Bala. If you guys like that hand, it was like nitty. Uh oh, here we go. We got our Any guesses? guesses? Alright, everybody, thank you. Uh, I think it's time. the same. Live it's bike hard legend to get lane the there in the background. The I've I've gotten out. Once I knew that I was at the bottom, you, I made it my mission to get out. Oh. Yeah, I got it. It took me two times though. Yeefy and like way. I was at the bottom, and then I tried to get Yeefy out. Yeefy at thirteen percent. That is not stream quality. Uh, v pip. I know it's well, first time on the stream the though, so I'm Being gonna cut him some slack. Bottom is very hard 13, to get out. But second yeah. from the bottom, I think you can get out. Definitely gonna need to pick it up for sure. Nick with the highest point. V pip, forty percent is okay. now in the green. Well, what? you can dig out. Huh? I don't know. Brown Waller and Way basically one. both above eleven thousand dollars in Wait, well, who's at the bottom? Who's two? Bottom two. Same. Four and five, yeah. What were the numbers? The next in the twenties. Thirteen and twenty. Thirteen and twenty. Who? And then what? All right, maybe not digging out of that one. <laughs> They were, Johnny was correct. C4 and C5, Wei and Yifei. Yifei, Yifei. Probably pronouncing them both ways wrong, but it doesn't matter. I apologize if I got that incorrect. Well. <laughs> for a 9 so game. <laughs> My girlfriend Mimi in the chat, she says, how was the cake? We haven't ate it yet, but Johnny did appreciate it. He told me Sorry. thank you and told him I love you. <coughs> oh, that's very nice. Okay, he's a big inspiration to poker content creation on me, so. Absolutely. As we get into another dealer change bomb pot, let's see our graphics catch on up. PP with a king and a nine, top pair on both boards. Does anybody have a five? I don't see anybody with a five. It's a monotone heart board up top. And nobody here with a heart, but that is going to mess up this action. Matt Berkey with a two up top and an ace up down below. Right now it's uh, not looking good for either player, but thousand dollar bet, they both call. They're playing the board up top. Let's see who's willing to be the most aggressive here. I think the most aggressive player can definitely end up with the scoop here if they find the courage to Leverage out a stiff bet here, but obviously a lot easier said than done, obviously. They both just have a pair. They're going to chop this up. It's going to be a... And I believe PP is going to get a quarter of the top board. Oh, yeah, flush. I get three quarters. Yeah, they're both. And Berkey gets three quarters. Yes. Absolutely. Pretty good result there for Berkey. Oh. Oh, wait. Three I get three quarters. Three quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Salute to everybody from Japan. 
I believe the term is Arigato. Yeah, King 9 was a pretty good hand. Masato Yokosawa. <laughs> Until the king of <laughs> poker yeah. in Japan and Thank YouTube. You, hmm. Should have checked that river. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Actually, Only on that court, though. Yeah. I would have jammed that court or a jack. Yeah. Or a 10. Yeah. The nice having the ace of hearts in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I am in the booth with Comedic Gamble. Like, my name there? is Cairo no. Luzzi. He's talking trash to you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Friday afternoon, 25 50 50. Andy No Limit here from the Park West Bicycle Casino. Shout out to Shane in the chat. He's a channel member. He's saying, What's up, everybody? Everybody say, What's up, Shane? We are about 25 likes away from a giveaway. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you hit that like button. And if you hit the share button, text, text the link to your friends. Let them know we're live. Sure. Playing high stakes sure. poker on live at the bank. Monotone board, all diamonds, king on the turn. Yeah. Sure. Six is still up top. Gut shot for Berkey. Two, six, three hundred. Fold, fold. Sato folds the only diamond that was out there, and PP says my sixes are no good, so Berkey takes it down with ace high. Berkey takes the lead, the aggressive player picking up that uh, loose money at the table. Well done there by Berkey. I'm curious to see in the chat, who do you guys think is going to be in big winner so far on the session? What is your guess at big winner on the day so far? I think it's we got a couple people around 10k up so far, but a lot of people within striking distance. I think I'm pretty sure uh, Johnny Vibes is going to be the big winner because it's his birthday, and if I picked anybody else, that wouldn't be appropriate. I think you're right, Kira. I think Johnny Vibes is a very good bet. It says birthday. He's a great player as well. Definitely has a lot of wind at his back today, I would think, no doubt about it. It's his birthday, for goodness sake. So happy birthday to Johnny Vibes. He's got the cake as well, the birthday cake luck going for him. So I'm like just very nice on my birthday. birthday. There you go. When nice. These yeah. are in position. Yeah. <laughs> Way is also one of the big winners, and I think he is probably going to leave with a profit no matter what, unless he gets into a big hand and gets cooled. I don't care what Way does. After calling that 5K over bet into 3K with just a pair of 10s on the craziest board ever, he's he's won me over already. I mean, I'm, oh my I'm a huge fan of Way already. So. Masato, Trip Kings. I think that's going to be a tough play of the day to top so far. Way has the play of the day Seven. so far with that hero call. Hold. 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 Definitely would like to see that play get top. That was quite a high bar, Way said earlier with that hero call. And Yokosawa, Masato, win, win, win. One of the funniest things that happened last week with Phil Helmuth was his karaoke that he did every game. And his version of DJ Khaled's All I Do Is Win echoes in my head every time I hear the word win now. <laughs> and uh, if you guys haven't watched that, you guys can watch replays of all of our episodes here at Live at the Bike on our YouTube channel by going to the videos on the demand section. Or you can go to liveatthebike.com where the streams are posted and you can get a link to all the episodes. Big action last week. Phil Helmuth, Jungle Man, Johnny Vibe, and more. Robbie in the house. Poker superstars. Shout out to Robbie. She's out here playing the tournament. We have Boba here. Yeah. And um, we, can't drink it. we wish her well. Brown Baller, top pair with his nine on this rainbow board. All low cards. <laughs> I thought I had Most likely has the best hand. Did you? It's 50. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny can't fold to fifty dollars. Neither can Way. A king on the turn would be interesting, but it is the eight of clubs. Okay. Bringing that one liner to a straight. Seven X makes a straight here. And that's unfortunate. Looks like Way gonna bet three hundred on this turn though. He's gonna take it down. Okay. Somebody Wait. sign no, me up for Way's uh, poker classes yeah. and get me his jersey and trade him card immediately. Yeah. Seriously, he hasn't been putting a lot of chips in the middle, but when he does, it's like the perfect time. It's uh, I gotta give it to him so far, man. He's, he's had some really good instincts in plays so far. Highlighted by that incredible hero call against Masato at hand 
48. I'm sure we're going to have that clip for you all to see in the future. That was quite the hero call from Way versus Masato. Definitely looking forward to seeing that one on the replay, no doubt. So Street TV in the YouTube chat says, this commentator gets 10 out of 10. There's two of us here, so you get five and I get five. Let's do it. Let's divvy it up. Chop it up. Well, we're, we're a dime. <laughs> Chopping it up. On the tanks correct it was not Jungle Man that was here. It was Macho Man Dan. Oh, it's very true. Macho Man Dan. Maybe the I Jungle Man. Really we also developed a new character, me. Raver Dan. There's a there's true a Raver Dan. All right. Place. Yes, the place where you can Daniel play Cates, games. aka Lydia. Jungle Man. I, I went with uh, Ayaka when I was there. It was fun. He's been dressing up yeah, on these streams but lately. I've been like noticing. Yeah, you need at least like two or three people. Okay. Jungle Man's always like, a character. I two people. Yeah, if I if I come, we can do it. I thought that you in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You only need two people. It, it depends. Yeah. There's like a lot of different like games or like okay. maps or like uh -huh. scenarios, and then you choose from them. Okay. And then you like have to like solve puzzles. It's kind of it's kind of fun. It's called like it's right next to the lodge. Yeah. At five. I would like to see Wei uh, Fei. That's right. Getting involved in more hands. He does have the big stack. And he just needs to muster up some bets and he can clock a big profit here. Oh. And PP with the big slick. 150 gets called off by James and vibes with pocket sixes on the button. Four players. Six? Does not come. Okay. PB Bing's top pair with his ace king, Yi Fei, with a king as, as well. Nine, no flush draws present. PB does have the ace with the king of diamonds. He's got that king of diamond redraw, mm. but he's got that primary hand of ace king fairly in the lead now. He's got Yi Fei on a little three out shout here. He's going to need to catch one of the three remaining eights to pull ahead. Ooh, close to an eight, but not an eight. Close, but no cigar. A nine of hearts on the turn. Pretty dynamic board now. Two diamonds, two hearts. Brings in the queen jack, open ended on the flop. Neither player has parents it. Parents upset with your tattoo? Huh? Parents upset when you got a tattoo? At first they were, but then they're like, okay, it's kind of cool. Mm. <laughs> I like traditional. Now they're you got a bit little under pot when yeah, checked. You're a thousand to eleven like seventy-five. Like Indian parents, so. mm. I mean, they have things that they're like more. Uh, Strict on it. Yeah. Yifei calls as we go to this river. More, seven more of clubs. Like narrow minded on, I guess. Ace King still in the lead. Overall, I would say they're more chill than most Indian parents. I mean, like, when I dropped out of college, like, my, my dad was like, sure, you just drop out and then, like, learn engineering. <laughs> yeah, you gotta drop out. Shout out to Jectis well, on Twitch for rating us with 89 people. We appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Everybody, make sure you go drop nice. a follow for Jectis but, I mean, on it Twitch. wasn't that hard getting my first See, job. Like, thank you for the raid. Show you know the stuff. On the one for the value bet really here with the ace king, hoping to get a call from a you worse king a x, which is what he's up against here. Uh, the king eight from mean? Yifei here. Like, did they give you like some sort of like test when before you got all the draws oh, yeah, missed, yeah. diamonds all missed, hearts missed. Would be a good time to call with king eight here. Everything missed. He obviously would be losing to the ace king, but definitely there are some ingredients here to find a call with top pair here. I think he can get away from that though. Higher, yeah. Yeah. But a lot of that stuff is. At least it used to not be too related to your day to day. These days, I think most companies try pretty hard to have it be like actual, like related to hands on work. Mm. Tough spot here for yeah. Yifa here. He flopped top pair. Diamonds did not come in by the river. He's got the calling chips in his hands. But they haven't gone in yet. They have not gone in yet. PP hasn't been super laggy thus far, so that might be in the forefront of his mind, but. Might be tough to fold top pair here. Oh. And I think he's going to see Those the bad chips news. are not coming back. They are not coming back, but I can't fault the call there from him. It's tough to be up against Ace King, but... Second time today where he has top pair and he's just out kicked. Yes, just... Right. It's been tough sledding here for Yefei so far. He's been up against it. Seems like he's been oh, pretty card dead right? pre-flop as well. We haven't seen uh, him mixing up a mini flops as well. It's called so. word chains. Mm. It was like a game where like you play with your friends and like someone says a word and then the other person would have to play a word that mm. ends with the 
that starts with the last letter. Oh, okay. And so you choose a topic, and then you can play with like your Facebook friends, or you can play against like this simple bot that I wrote, and just like picked words at random from like a dictionary that I had. That sounds cool. Yeah, and that was like when I was like 19. C3 calls. That's cool. Whatever, just wrote it just for fun and to like, like cool. learn, learn how to code. Did you put it in the store? Yeah, it used to be up there. I mean, it's not there anymore, but yeah. it was on the Play Store before, on Google Play. Um, it, was, it was on Apple? No, on Android. Yeah. So I only, I only did Android engineering, really, professionally. Um, and so that's how I started. But it was up there for like a year or two. I mean, after that, it's just like, I didn't really maintain it. And yeah, you have to maintain you it. Have to pay, yeah, yeah, you have to pay like server costs. It just like wasn't yeah. worth it for something that like I wasn't really, oh. it, I wasn't really investing time in. Battle burn here between Vibes and Berkey. And Berkey is going to take it down. Always tempting with that nine of diamonds know if your diamond is going to be good or not. You're going to have to very likely call another barrel on the turn. Pretty reasonable fold there by Johnny Vibes. I should have called with the yellow chips. I automatically, when the pink, when I call it the pink <coughs> chips, it's like obviously yeah. going to you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the rules. No superstitions here? <laughs> Not really. C3, 150. <sighs> call. 
Hold, hold. Call, hold. Thank you. Call. Four player. You guys want to play stand up game? Let's do it. Sure. Yep. So when they come back? Yeah. No, when they come back? Oh my god, it's fucking cool. Hey, like 200 each or? Yeah, sure. Whatever. 200 seems a little bit bigger than the usual, but... 200? Uh, Nine players? Uh, <coughs> yeah, 200 seems a little bit bigger. 150 or 100? Yeah, 150 is sound. 100 good. seems reasonable. 150 yeah, 100 or 150, yeah. I feel like 100 will accomplish the goal. 100? Check. Yeah. yeah, 100 sounds fine, yeah. We are playing 9. Yeah. We don't actually have to stand though. Yeah. We get like little. Yeah. Different yeah. 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 Looks like we might get some stand up sitting poker prop going and negotiations currently. We shall see what we settle in at here. Call, 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 call. Oh, Family. Family ball. Bye bye, aces. <laughs> nice. Check, check. Queen, queen, seven, rainbow yeah. flop. Nobody found a queen on this one. have the courage to find a bet here. C7, 500. Bold. Looks like Masato's going to bet Bold. his pocket eights. Bold. He can beat that seven out there. Bold. Bold. Oh, Bold. easy ball. Folds out the field. Thank nice you. take there for Masato. It's not easy winning in an eight-way flop, but bingo, he did it. Man. Nicely done. <laughs> bingo. We are bingo. 10 bingo. likes right. away from hitting our 400 like mark for another giveaway. If you guys are just joining, or if you haven't yet, hit the like button. Somebody will win a free channel membership upgrade. All on the house. Can explain? Stand up Cairo. We're bomb part round. I don't know. Just if you chop, you can. Action is about to get turned up. Yep. Can explain him about the. I want to check on the table for a little bit as I left the booth. Some very 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 very
As, as well would the players. It's a pretty good catalyst for action, so we can't for sure. Travel with one person to do it, you can. <laughs> he, just, yeah. he just games. I'm fine with still playing it if you guys want to. Come on, fandom game. Nice <coughs> flop here for Yiffe, flopping a I'm pair and a flush draw here. He's gonna hazard a bet. That's 2,500 here, a little over bet here in the flop. Again, yeah. being one of the literally the tightest player at the table shows extreme strength. Goku level strength. Definitely does. He gets the feel to fold out. He's got the shades, he's got the earrings, he's got the oh, cool shirt. Neck, I guess. He has a new music video dropping tomorrow. Well, there you go. He's got it all going on. I think he's going to be in the Indy 5000. There you go. Do you know what kind of music video or music he does? Uh, no, I was just kind of making that up. <laughs> it seems yeah. like it would seem like it was true, right? It, it did. I was like, oh, it, did, it, it made sense. Yeah, it definitely made sense. He might actually just really be a musical artist, yeah. and we just don't know. He could be. I, Let's I'd speculate. I bet that yeah, hook, line, okay. and sinker. I was wanting to believe that oh. for sure. Ball. Brown Baller oh. making up with the pocket jacks here. Wait, pocket Johnnies today. Pocket, pocket Johnnies, yeah, Johnny making up today. March 10th it, are they Pocket Johnnies. Making it 150 here. Three, three, yeah, the dimes for Berkey. This is going to be a spicy hand. Absolutely. We got a King Queen in there as oh. well. Oh. King Queen. I'm sorry, King 10, 5, two hearts. We got James with King Queen. Berkey with a set of 10s. Brown Baller going to lead out C bet. Oh. That from Bala, a call from James with top pair, and now a raise from Berkey with the set. 1,000. Gets Bala to fold back to James here. He's got top pair, queen kicker. He's got the queen heart as well. Can hit running hearts. Oh, heads up. He's going to call 800 or more. Heads up as we approach this turn here. Two of diamonds. Dead. Yes, he is. No hope here for James. This is Berkey's world now. 2,700 in the pot. Stacks are deep here. 20k effective. Well, this big bet might look like he's on a flush draw. Got that 4,300 here. He's going to overbet the pot. And they put James in a pickle here. He's got top pair. He's got the queen of hearts as well. King queen on this king 10, 5, 2, now double flush draw board. Definitely proud of James can be putting Berkey on one of these two flush draws. Ace five of hearts, or yeah, ace five diamonds makes sense. Definitely a queen lot. Jack makes sense, but he's blocking the queen. A lot of semi bluffing hands out there now at these double flush draw turn here. <sighs> a double flush draw. We got queen jack. We got ace queen. We got Broadway cards wrapped around the king ten. We could have a ace high wheel draw. Around this turn card that also could have a flush draw. A lot of semi bluffing hands possibility oh. here. James gonna call 4300 here. And Queen, Queen King is dead. Another King out here would just lose him his stack. I, I, why do I say things and they happen? Spoke it into existence like a girl from Silver Lake. God, here we are here. James, I'm so sorry. He does actually have Berkey covered, but. Uh, all in will get snapped off. What an absolute graveyard river here. He for over James. bet the pot last hand, and okay. I think the all in is the only thing that makes sense here. Oh. He's going to go all in here. And is it snapped? I don't think it's snapped yet. 16K into basically 10K. He's like, do you cover me? Let's listen in. I don't want to miss this. Or a thing. 10, 12. Drop a one in the chat if you think he calls two if he folds. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. What an absolute nightmare river here for James. Oh. 
call an overbet on the turn to only then spike trips on the river. Whatever. Now you're facing another overbet for all of your chips here. You got trip queen kings here. On the tank says call. Grace says call. Mike Hager says call. Damon says call. Jesse says fold. Let's see if Jesse's right. Jerome says call. Obviously, James worried about the king ten, the pocket five, the pocket tens. Definitely hands that haven't beat here. Ace king potentially, although that probably doesn't overbet the turn, perhaps. He's gonna have to put him on a set of tens or fives, or it's over. Tough spot for all your chips here. 16 large to gulp down here for James. Not an enviable spot to be in. Even with trip kings, obviously, once that much money goes in, you start <sighs> thinking about the hands that beat you. I think James might say something right here. Oh. And he finds the call. Yeah. Ouch. No, okay. Yeah. And he shows the king, obviously, that's what Berkey was trying to exploit in over $22,000 in profit, going to Matt Berkey's big bet stack. Too. Absolutely. Taylor made run out there for Berkey. Absolutely. I didn't mean to say that. I really didn't mean to say that. I spoke it into existence, man. That was a tough one. And we just hit 400 likes after that big hand, so giveaway time, you guys. Matt Big Bet Berkey. Matt Big Bet Berkey. Is Good luck. Somebody at random is going to get picked by YouTube, not me, so you do not get mad at me. What? No squeeze. I know you're too tight. Yeah, if I had garbage, I would limp. That's why. I'm a limper now. I don't know how to play nine handed. I don't like to get three bet when I have dudes. 17 more? No, I limp. Base mark. <laughs> Very active chatter, Pike, P-I-K-E, <laughs> just won the free channel I membership. Some Congrats. Yeah, just like we did and then I re-raise with them. <laughs> Pike, very <laughs> active in the chat. Oh, I a new strategy. Yes, you did get a membership, Pike. membership, Pike. He says, wow. I don't know how to play nine-handed. I just feel like every time I raise with some hand that's not good, I just lose. So now I limp, and I don't lose. You are very welcome. You guys, I am not done giving things away. If we get to 500 likes, I'm not going to make you do another 200. I'm only going to make you guys do another 94 <laughs> likes. I will do another one. I have lowered the bar just because I love you guys so much. No, Bert, and these likes stack, really do help the stream. Mm -hmm. I, I will not ask you for five? likes again oh, wow. until we get to 500. <laughs> wow, you saw a flop. You have coolered everyone. I had Jack. Clubs, three hearts, ace of diamonds. Got a double a board bomb pot Check. here. Everybody in these hundred dollars sees the flop action starts from the flop onward. And look at Berkey here. The heater continues. Flops king high flush on the bottom here. Which is actually the nut flush because if you look, the ace of diamonds is on the top board. Always important when you're playing double board, read both boards. Reading both boards lets Berkey know he does have the nut flush on the bottom because that ace of diamonds is on top. Berkey with the nut flush on the bottom board. He's only losing like to a few no hands. Well. Yes, now with that pairing 10, obviously that nut Ooh. flush. And Ace of Diamonds could beat him as the six comes out. Here we go, Brown, Bala versus Berkey here. Berkey makes a king up top as well, which is helpful. Now pulls the head of Brown Bala's sevens on the top oh. board. It's big scoop time for Berkey as he doesn't even have to see oh, Quinn. showdown. Mm. He just wins. Nice little heater check for Big Bet Berkey. Really Berkey was below 10,000 at one point. Yeah, spinning it up, as they say. No, I had it on pair on the other board too. Speaking of spinning it up, uh, Jared Greiner, still in this tournament, this high rollers tournament over here at the bike. I went and checked on him. Yeah, how's he doing? He's doing good. He is doing good. We're hoping he makes a nice final ta table for a big score, as he usually does in these big tournaments. Sammy Bouchard still in the tournament as well, LA uh, Poker Dealer. And uh, Greedy Grant, another player that we've had on the stream. That's a good name. He's, uh, he's out there in the tournament as well. So we want to wish them lots of uh, 
Lots of luck. And probably down to the last 30 or 40 people, I reckon, at this point, too, right? Do you remember it what it was? Yeah, it's about in between 30 and 40. Nice, nice, yeah. Two, Hourglass two, winding three, down in that big three, tournament. Three. Good luck to Jared out there and everybody yeah, else cool. mentioned as well. I have the Hourglass on my hand. There you go. Tattooed. Yes, you do. The hourglass always ticks. I don't even notice that. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't rewind. It just keeps going. Yes, it does. It keeps going. Ooh. Time has a way of doing that. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Flush draw for Yife, top pair, backdoor flush draw for Berkey. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, Pike, we did not get, we're, we're not able to start the stand up game because one player objected. They did try to keep leaning towards it, but <coughs> hopefully we get it started a little bit later. As maybe we won't be playing nine handed for very long. Perhaps not. We shall see here. There's always a. Potential of a poker casualty here, we shall see. The chips are flying in here on this quarter 50-50 anti-stream so far. Berkey led the flop, got a call from the double draw of Yife. Here we are now here on the turn. No improvement for Yife. Can't make an eight for a straight or a spade for a flush. Berkey still in the lead with this king-queen RV. He also has a spade to reduce the flush possibility of Yife. Still a pretty potent draw for Yife though. I'd be tempted to fire out a bet here when checked to a six high. Would not work, but I'd be betting here. He's gonna bet 2100 into 3300 here, hoping to get a fold with that six high double draw. And Berkey was staring at his hands and body language through that whole bet. Oh, and Berkey's got top pair, king kicker, he's gonna call. You just see the chest on Yife's Pump in air. And Berkey improves to trip queen. Yes, he does. Let's see if he opts for a value bet here or check. check. Hope to give check. some rope to a bluff, but. I like the snap show, though. He did snap show. He did the quick Helmuth reveal. Nice hand there for Berkey. Great check by Berkey, obviously. That's, if he could see in his opponent's hand, he would have checked. Just because he didn't bluff doesn't mean it was a bad check there by Berkey. Good check by Berkey. Gave his opponent a chance to bluff. He just did not take it. Shout out to you guys in the chat. We have 420 likes. I just there we go. I wanted to say shout out to 420. Shout out to 420. All the 420s out there. That yep. holiday is coming up here in about a month or so, I reckon. So. It is a holiday in Southern California and around the world, but in California, the, the mecca of cannabis, it is... The biggest holiday we, a, we have. It's a pretty big one. It's like St. Patrick's Day for Los Angeles or something, it seems like. There is a haze <laughs> fog around the city on that day. No doubt about it. I once smoked a five pound bazooka blunt on 420. That's a pretty big one. That seems like a Snoop Dogg type of situation there. Yeah, that was a, a be real situation. <laughs> five pounds was a Guinness. Well, it wasn't Guinness, but it was a world record. Wow. That is. Quite, quite the pull there, I bet. <laughs> Took my face off. Look at Brown Bala waking up with pocket kings here. That's a nice pull for him. He's got pocket kings in a great spot here. He's going to three bet to 2,000 from the big blind. He's got Masato on the small blind with a suited ace. Berkey on the button with a suited king. Let's see what we got brewing here. Action on Masato now. Potentially... Thinking about some further action. He gets out of the way. Berkey continues on the button. We're going to have a heads up slot here. Jack 10 2. Two diamonds, one club. Brown ball is still in the lead with the over pair of kings. Not much for Berkey on this flop. He did catch a lone club. But their stack sizes else. are about even. Yes, they are. $47. Literally $600 off. Huge deep stacks at this table right now, especially between these two. Brown ball is going to check over to Berkey. Berkey going to bet about 20% pot here. He's going to bet 1,000 into 4,400. It's going to be an anything but fold here for Brown ball. Let's see if he calls or raises here. Oh. He's going to play it soft and check call. Nine of spades on the turn. Interesting hand. Interesting card here. Bringing in the king, queen straight. Brown ball has half the kings oh, in no. his hand. 
Seven eight gets there, as does Queen eight as well. But Bala with a prominent blocker series still got the over pair pocket kings. Berkey does pick up some equity here. He's got the king eight. He's got an open ender now. And he's got the eight nine ten jack. Let's see what he does when it's checked to him here. Sixty four hundred in the pot. He's in a bet stiff here. Five thousand into sixty four hundred. Nice big bet here from Berkey. Balling with the interesting over pair of pocket kings here. He blocks the straight two kings. He's going to play it as a check call. 16,000 going to this river here. And what do you know? King of diamonds on the river. Brown ball finds top set. Kings. Hockey kings? And that'll Hockey be enough kings. to take it down. <laughs> I'm a fucking king. That's so unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky for me, because you would have bluffed otherwise. I had eight outs to win. <laughs> That's not unlucky that you lose with eight outs to win. <laughs> no, it's unlucky that oh. you have kings. I'm bluffing because you don't have a lot of king X. Yeah. Okay. I have queens, I just win. Yeah. Well, I see some people in the chat didn't believe me, so I'm posting a link to that five pound blunt. Oh no, you still win. Okay. On the YouTube. Yeah, we would have had a straight. A no, no, I'm, sa I'm saying oh. I wanted you to have queens, oh. but that doesn't help me. What a hand oh, between no. Brown Baller and Berkey. I made top pair, it was good. <clears throat> I mean, I almost pulled up too. Very interesting That's how that you that manifest that. That, 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 that was pretty wild. That was a pretty wild. It does feel crazy when you say that in your well, comments. Man, As we look at our chip count, Brown Baller up top, almost 60 racks. He's still 50 plus. 39% for Nick L on the V pip. Yife and Wei still at the very bottom of that Nick tax on. Masato, everybody. Mm -hmm. Nice, respectful mm -hmm. 30. A lot of players mm -hmm. in the green here. James, mm -hmm. after that big pot against Whoa. Berkey, is now stuck 30,000. Ife stuck 12. <laughs> Masato down about eight racks. He did win $60,000 plus oh, yesterday, yeah. so probably doesn't hurt as bad as it usually would, but it's still probably not good oh, to be feeling the deficit right now. And we're going to get into hand number 83, a.k.a. the Octo Crab hand. And if somebody could win this hand with Octocrab, I will give away something amazing, but somebody has to get dealt it. So let's see what happens. For those wondering, that would be the 8-3. Eight, 8-3, three. Eight, three, any suit. My favorite hand. I play it like a set of aces pre-flop. There you go. That's how I play it. It's the only way to play it. A lot of new hands in poker. The Jack-4, the 8-3, a lot of yeah, new things. Yeah, the Robbie, yep. Jack-4, Octocrab, a.k.a. the Cairo. Yep. Nobody calls it the Cairo. We just call it Octocrab. Oh, Octocrab. I'm, not, I'm not that egotistical. Some new poker hands joining in the mix with Seven Deuce and Ten Deuce, the Doyle. Seven Deuce is so 2019. Let's play it out, right? Yeah, let's play it's it out. Play it out. It's like wearing white after Labor Day. Fair enough. I hear you on that. Wow. What a flop. King, Ten, Queen. That Broadway flop. He'd be in there at the Ace Queen offsuit. He's got some of that flop. And the King folds. That's interesting. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Folds out the competition. Well played there by PB. Freezing my ass off so the hood comes on. Ten. King. That sounds familiar. Wow. 
again. Like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give me out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Somebody wanna change a five? Uh, I don't like having too many chips. You can do it. All right, thank you. I think James is calling it. Looks like he is calling it a day, as we have all done before. He has lost his will to compete. 30K would make you do that. Yeah, that oh, happens yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Poker be like that sometimes, man. Okay. Yeah, it's just not fun sometimes. Sometimes you're just up against it. But he will live to fight another day. I'm sure we'll have James back on the felt. Just got an absolutely crazy unlucky hand versus Berkey there. Berkey flopped the top set of tens. James had king queen on the king high flop. Berkey overbet the turn for like 5k and a 3k. He called, then he catches a clean king on the river for trip kings. Berkey put James all in for his last like 15,000. He called it off with trip kings and saw Berkey's pocket tens for a full house. And that was the bulk of his bad day in one hand. To the flop. To the flop here, PP3 bet by Brown Bala on the button with Jack 8. 10 6 2, two diamond flop here. And PP going to continue with this C bet here after 3 betting pre flop. Brown Ball is going to tag along with this pocket 3s on this 10 6 2 flop. As good as turn as Bala could get without hitting a set. He's got the four of spades on the turn now. Improves to a gut shot. Also doesn't likely rate to improve his opponent's hand either. Pretty great turn for Bala here. So good he takes the lead. He's going to lead here for 300 into 1900. Looks like thin value. Thin value slash very interesting bet for sure. Definitely puts Jack 8 off in an interesting spot here. PP gets, lays it down. Nice hand there for Brown Bala with that like one eighth size pot bet on the turn with pocket threes and gets a fold. Well done there by Brown Bala. Taking advantage of that useful turn card. to have octo crab on this flop. Yes it would. The octo flop 983. Got the 10 the spades on the turn here. Super dynamic board here. 10983 double flush draw turn. Nick picks up some additional equity here with that 10. He's got an open ender now. He checks back and gets trip threes on the river. Check. Check. Those check check no bluff bet from Nick. And Burke is going to take it down with trip threes. You want to piss off YouTube and Twitch chat ever? Just say it's you got a set of threes when it's really true. Trips, oh yeah. They will light you up. People love getting specific when they can. <clears throat> On the tanks is asking, do you guys ever tell the rate at a game like this? We do a collection pot. You guys will see it when we do our double boards. And the collection pot winner will actually pay the, the fee for each of the players at the table all at once. And we do that every time we do a dealer change. Now, if they're asking what that rake is, I could guess, but it's probably around $15 per person per dealer down. So I'm assuming whoever wins the collection pot probably has to pay about 120 or so to the dealer, roughly, depending on how many people are at the table. But so, yeah, if you're wanting to know what the rake is, typically around quarter 50, it's about $15 per person per dealer down. So... That's around eight or nine people. It's probably about a hundred and twenty dollar 
collection tax you're paying. I mean, obviously you're running the pot, but you're going to have to divvy out about 120, 130 to the dealer for the rake for the entire dealer down. Whereas at smaller games, they might take, say, two or three dollars out of every single hand dealt. But at the higher stakes game, they basically do a time collection or time Today's rake. a good promotion for so. Salt for Y. Why? Yeah. He's running over the table. Oh. This is for a good now. promotion for software. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Keep giving Ishan King, so he'll show me who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> I got Kings quite a few times today. Three, yeah, three or four times. I had him once. And now Berkey talking about Ishan Brown Baller getting Kings. He three bets to 500 because now he has Kings. Weird how manifesting things in poker just happen. That's so crazy. He literally just was talking about Brown Bala getting kings, and then <coughs> he gave it to himself. That's pretty amazing. And he gets a four bet from Nick as well with ace ten off. I mean, what a perk! You gonna put in the five bet? Perfect scenario. Super shallow stacks here. Only seven k no? behind for wow. Nick. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is the twenty-seven. Twenty-seven more to Nick. We got a five bet here from Berkey to 2,700, 1,200 more to call. Nick's only got 76 behind. <coughs> you know you got a good game with those four bets, five bets pre-flop. Pretty rare to see it in the Lumma game. Definitely a lot of action in this quarter 50-50 any game so far, no doubt about it. And what do you know? Magnet. The ace on the flop, not what Berkey wants to see here. Nick's jamming. If Berkey bets anything, he's jamming. We're either going to see a check or a very small bet from Berkey. He's going to check here. Got wow. Just a little over one stack to pot ratio here. It's kind of dangerous to give that check off. Pocket Jacks just made a set now. Yes, it did. And Berkey's going to try to represent that set. Trip set, trip set. Did you ever listen to dip set? I have listened to the dip set back in the day. That's why I rock with you. 1500 from Berkey, call from Nick here. 1500 as well. He's got the Ace X, he's got the Ace 10. He's not going anywhere. This is go check, check. Pairing Jack on the river. 8500 in the pot, 5k behind left in Nick's stack here. And think Nick is going to assume Berkey would ever check a better hand here in this spot given what's left in the pot and then the Nick's stack. I think I would feel pretty good about value betting my ace 10 here for value. And he's going to get a call from Berkey. Check Kings once. Nice hand there for Nick. <laughs> he says I get Kings once. I feel like Berkey kings. because every time I get Kings, the ace comes up the top. It does seem like that sometimes. We always remember when it happens, that's for sure. To me, it's every single time. I think in the last month, it's like nine out of ten times it has happened. <laughs> it's frustrating when it does, that's for sure. I own howtoplayjacks.com. Howtoplayjacks.com by Johnny Yeah, Fox. it forwards to my YouTube channel. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nice. That is true. He did buy that domain. That's cool. The number one question in poker. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. Tweeted about it a couple days ago. thought that was a solid domain um, investment. I'm most likely going to buy octocrab.com. You should. I really should. Have it forward to my YouTube as well. No doubt. The extra 50 is what threw me off. You got to brand that. Get that uh, copyright in there. Just straddle for two. And then he has options. Yeah, he straddle for two. Merch is on the way. Everybody's been asking me for it. There you go. For real? Yeah. Nice. So we got t shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, pretty much. Stickers, hats, hoodies, and stuff. It is. Uh, are you familiar with Pokemon? They, not really, man. I'm well, there's an octopus stuff. Pokemon called Octillery, and then there's a crab Pokemon called Krabby, and it is a fusion of those two. Okay. I'm one of those weird guys that doesn't know anything about Pokemon. I've never seen the Star Wars. I don't know any of that stuff. Yeah, it sounds like you got a lot of, <laughs> lot of, lot of girls in high school. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I grew up watching a lot of ESPN and Sports Center and sports stuff. I, I didn't get into the mythical kind of uh, sci-fi stuff. I got into Game of Thrones, I guess. That's about as sci-fi as I went. Damn, sad. Yeah. That was Not even Dragon Ball Z? Nope. 
Just nothing but sports, man. I was listening to sports talk radio when I was like seven. Like I was an absolute. Christ. My friends were like, "Why are we listen to AM radio? We're seven. I'm like, We're seven. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to. I gotta listen to this uh, post game. You know, I gotta listen to Chiefs and Royals. I want to hear all the. Let me find out. You have a poster of Skip Bayless on your wall. Oh nah, Skip. I'm not a big Skip Bayless guy. He's a good shock jock, but uh, oh. he's a little too hot takes for oh. me. But oh. Oh. gets people to tune in, I suppose. Who would you compare Skip Bayless to as a poker player? One. Man. <laughs> I think uh, Dub Polk. Yeah, definitely, definitely have or very strong opinions. They both have strong opinions. Either Berkey or Polk. They both have strong opinions and like attention, that's for sure. They're good in the attention economy. That is uh, that is for sure. Did you also play poker with tell Berkey that when we leave the I was like, yeah. you're the Skip Bayless. Yeah, of that's why I met like how <laughs> you're <laughs> Uh, he's a big sports fan, so that uh, a lot of my other friends that'll track for him. I know he's a big Steelers so guy. Stan. Is. Oh, yeah. Stan, yeah. And Pittsburgh he fella. He me to Hustler, and that's how I started playing on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, in, in the Bay Area, yeah. We play, like, home games at the tech offices. Oh, yeah. Hey, Five, two diamond flop, nothing for either player on this flop. The way it feels good about value betting his ace here. He thinks he's in the lead, and he is versus Johnny Vibes in this king seven. Oh. Way gonna take it down with the heads up stab. Gets the birthday boy to fold. Nice hand there for Way. Stu Gats in the YouTube chat saying, I became a big fan of Berkey when I seen his keynote speech. It actually is a really good speech. Um, you guys can go watch that. And they just released a documentary about two, three weeks ago on Solve for Why on YouTube. It is quite quite informative and entertaining. You guys should go check that out after the game if you uh, are not getting enough poker hold, hold, content hold. in your life. Hold. Hold. We do have Solve for Y tagged in the title on YouTube, making it very easy for you guys to find that page. <coughs> Snowman. Nick. He's going to three bet these pocket eights from the small blind to 500. He's going to get PP to continue on the button with the ace four spades. And there's an eight in the window. What do you know? Jack, eight, two flop, absolute. Dream scenario for Nick here. He's got second nuts here. Set of eights on a Jack A2 rainbow flop. Not much for Pee, Pee here. He does have backdoor spades and some running wheel cards he could catch. He's got the ace four two so far. Could catch a three and a five or running spades, but he's gonna say no to adventure and fold that hand at a great time. Nick with the set of eights. I wouldn't have been opposed to a check on that flop. Yeah, definitely, definitely could. That's not a bad flop to do so. It's a rainbow flop in a heads-up pot at that. If there's ever a scenario to, to slow play a hand, it would be in a heads-up pot in on a rainbow flop like that. But you also kind of want to start building a pot as well when you have flop a set. So always in pros and cons to either action. But unfortunately, no further action for Nick on that one. But he'll take it down. He's definitely at risk of some backdoor spades and some other shenanigans potentially. But... Berkey with a premium. Yes, he does. He's got the ace king early position. He's going to make it 200 in this quarter 50 50 anti game here at the Park West Bicycle Casino. Uh oh. Ruh oh, Raggy. Vibes wakes up with the playable ace jack from the small blind here. Going to be heads up to this flop between Vibes and Berkey. Peter Love. Queen 7 2. No connection for either player. Berkey still in the lead with his two over cards. Ace five. King versus the Ace Jack of Johnny Vibes. Call. It's a real small down bet here. 75 into 500 gets a call. Pairing two now. Check. 650 in the pot. Vibes checks to Berkey. Who bets 75, I believe, on the flop after a $200 open and a call. I'd love to see if Johnny Check raises this. We're going to bet 500 now here. Bet's closer to the size of the pot now. 500 into 650. 
Just a call. Looks like Vibe's gonna do a little out of position float call here with his ace jack. Okay, even Run seven makes a full house now, but they both check. Running twos here. And the baddest ace five. I had the, the second nut ace five. <laughs> wow, cool. Pike <laughs> saying uh, Masato is the biggest poker blogger in the world. By the numbers, him and Brad Owens are. Yeah. And uh, Masato with a massive amount of nearly a million subscribers on YouTube. Quite a bit. And uh, I believe Brad Owen is slightly yeah. behind, but that race for number one is definitely uh, up for grabs between the two of them. I uh, actually really enjoy watching Masato's vo uh, vlogs, even though they are in Japanese. You can get CC captions in English, and um, just his demeanor is entertaining, whether I understand him or not. <laughs> nice. Yeah, poker vlogs are cool. He just recently went skydiving three days ago over in uh, Lake Elsinore out here in California. And says, uh, he broke his nose doing it. Not literally, but he got caught in a runny nose after that. Oh, wow. Interesting. Skydiving is something I've thought about doing, but never nope. quite compelled enough to actually do it. But I don't think there's a, a numerical amount to get me to skydive. Yeah. I do some pretty scary uh, skiing that would make a lot of people kind of queasy, but... Uh, that was the whitest thing you have ever told me. I'm a, I'm a white boy from Kansas, so there you go. Go skiing. <laughs> makes no sense. Go skiing. Go up those high mountains and hope you get down. I'm scared of bears. You definitely see some bears. I didn't see... Definitely, I haven't seen any bears skiing, but there are definitely a lot of bears around those mountain parts. Definitely every time I park, every time they say, do not leave any food in your car, and they will show you pictures of bears in the area trying to prove to you that you do need to remove the food from your car. No activity can be entertaining enough to get me to go where bears are. Oh, yeah, yeah, bears and some coyotes. A lot of coyotes in L.A. You probably see coyotes in L.A. I won't even go watch the Chicago Bears play. That's, <laughs> how, that's how deep my fear of bears are. I, I hear you on that. Oh, sub on the... Do you have a, a phobia or a big not fear? Both of them. Not, man, not really, to be honest. I have to think. Nothing that jumps to the forefront. Bears is my number one. I am uh, deathly afraid, afraid of being around a bear. Bears, snakes, sharks, those seem to seem to get people, for sure. It's easier to be away from sharks than bears. Very true. Just don't go in the water. Don't go in the ocean. Got a double board bomb pot here if you're just tuning in and wondering what the heck these two flops are. Everybody, Andy's $100, sees the flop. The action starts from the flop onward. No pre-flop action. Everybody sees the flop. Action starts on the flop. Half the pot to the top, half the top Whoa. pot to the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Sounds like a Lincoln Park lyric. Yeah, right? <laughs> top to the bottom. From the top to the bottom. Nice. Here for oh. Nick, he's got the second nut flush draw on the top. Vibes okay. with something on each. Neither player with a strong hand on either, though. Should be an interesting pot here. Whoever is willing to be aggressive probably can take this down with a pretty big bet. We shall see. Michael Myers time. Somebody needs to stab it. Somebody needs to take a big stab. Nick's going to bet 1,000 into 1,900. I think that might be enough to get vibes out, and it is. The aggressive player takes it down there in a heads-up pot. Nicely played there by Nick. King High wins both boards. You win it without showdown. It's an important metric in poker. How often are you winning the pot without showdown? Picking up that loose money at the table. I had a good pair on both boards. Yeah. I feel like I could fight a no, coyote. No, exactly the texture of the <laughs> There's a lot of coyotes in LA, man. There's a lot, no, a lot around where I live in East LA. I nice have a good piece of both. I'm not scared yeah. to fight a coyote. <laughs> Pretty fierce and looking. Yeah, I'd be bolts, more worried of a bear like for sure. Really the only cards that I hate is I definitely ace. Would, wouldn't shit myself. I don't, have, I don't want to club either. I'd rather have his in. They're, They're fast, too. Some to people don't realize they can run. They don't even need cocaine. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta see that movie or are you too scared to even see that? That's the question actually. That is like me watching Saw. I am, I'm gonna go watch it, but I still probably flinch every time the bear comes. Get a little baked and see the, the cocaine bear movie. <laughs> I actually just uh, booked my tickets for the Super Mario movie. There you go. Nice. I didn't know that. I don't expect you have. I didn't know that was coming out. I didn't know there was such a thing. I don't think you played Mario as a kid either. I love Mario Kart battle mode. I love the battle mode. I love the original. I love that original Contra, up, up, down, down, left, right, maybe yeah, select start or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this flop. How about that? Here, a heads up pop between Berkey and Yefe. Yefe hasn't got tangled in much so far this session, but he's got a nice flop here, a middle pair, an open ender. Nine of clubs on the turn, no improvement for either player. 
Berkey still in the lead here at this pair of sixes, but a lot of outs to fade from Yefe with a pair of fives and an open ender. And he believes. Yes, he does. He's going to hazard out a bet here. Takes the plunge, bets 800 into 1200 into Berkey. Who calls on this rainbow board through the turn here with King Six, second pair. Jack on the river. Let's see if Yefe can find the courage to fire another shell. He does not. He's going to check to Berkey. Could have made it tough on Berkey with a bet there on the river, but as it turns, he's going to check to Berkey and it's going to go check, check, and Berkey is going to be very happy to win a decent little pot here with just a pair of sixes. And you know what? Damon Collins is correct. Today is Mario Day, March 10th. It looks like Mario. M A R T. Oh, Mario. interesting. Nice catch there in the chat. That's a pretty, pretty good one. Yeah. I did not know that. I am a season pass holder at Universal. I've been going to Super Nintendo World, and it is everything I ever dreamed of. So it delivered, eh? Oh. You have a season pass there, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So I'm there. I'm there a lot now. Often you go a year on average. Would you say so? You well, got I that just year? signed up this year because of Nintendo uh, World. Oh, okay. okay. The first time I went, I had uh, some nice chocolates of the psilocybin oh, type. There you go. Yeah. And I enjoyed it myself. Oh, look at what you did. I reckon you did. <laughs> 16. Eight people left that. It would have happened anyway. Here we go here. Three bet from PP with limp, ace, seven of clubs. Yeah, but there you go. Brown like Bala with the walking <laughs> sticks, as they <laughs> say. Vibes <laughs> feeling it with the ace queen. He's going to four bet to 1,600. So much more <laughs> YouTube chat is undefeated. I'll read that in a second. <laughs> Johnny Vibes here with Set. the four bet. We got a heads up flop here between Vibes and Pippi. Ace, King, three, two diamonds. Vibes in the lead oh. with the better kicker here. He's got the Ace, Queen with versus the Ace, seven on this Ace, King, three <coughs> flop. Four clubs on the turn. Almost eight grand in the pot right now. Yep. He's going to check over to Vibes, who four bet this pre flop with the Ace, Queen. Should feel very good about his ace queen here. Perhaps would have heard from us from a pee pee here with a re race pre flop, but he did not. He completed the action, which he may not have, but the ace king. Also, seeing a king on the flop makes ace king a little less likely, so Vibe should feel pretty good about his ace queen here. Not likely to be up against pocket kings given the pre flop action. Same with ace king as well. He should feel very good about his ace queen. Very likely would have heard from Ace King or King's preflop. Cool. He's going to continue with the Ace Seven here, bringing the pot to almost 16 grand as we go to this river. Eight of clubs, yeah. no improvement for PP. Five still in the lead with the Ace Queen. Almost 16,000 in the pot here. Vibes with 9,600 behind. Kind of sizing is Vibes going to go for here? Hoping to get called by worse, but is he going to get called by all worse if he jams for 10K here? All that is an all he in. He's going to go all in. Six, seven, eight. Diamonds did miss. Perhaps people will put him on a miss draw. That seven kicker is just tough because it doesn't really play that much. He's basically got a stone cold bluff catcher here. Hoping that Johnny Vibes is on a birthday suicide mission here. Barreling off with the missed diamond draw. That's what PB's having to hope for to gulp this call down. Nice 
9,600 to win a pot of 25K. A little about, about two and a half to one on his money here is what PP's getting on this proposition. 9,600 to call. Pot is over 25 large. PP three bet pre flop. Johnny Vibes four bet pre flop. PP completed the action and called and saw the flop. Vibes has bet all three streets here. Tough spot here for PP. Yeah, you can say PP is in a hard place right now. He's in a very uncomfortable spot, no doubt about it. Very uncomfortable. Oh, Johnny. He's gonna I find told. a fold. <laughs> Good job. Mm. A rock in a hard place on the river. He wiggled out of the way. Mm. Good fold there mm. by mm. PP in the end. I'll eat my shoe if you can show a bluff. <laughs> Pretty hard to have a bluff there. Hand 97, going Johnny Vibes away. <laughs> I did not have a bluff, but I did not have a super strong hand. Oh, so he turned his ace five into a bluff. We are now eight handed as we have lost James. I had one pair. As we creep up on hand number oh, 100, we're now. Oh. Mm, no, it's it's going to be tough for uh, yeah. it was, it was ace players ace. who are stuck to get unstuck. We have ace king. You can get called by his queen. That's, that's mm -hmm. very fair. Shout out to Wayne Buck, Earl James, G I have Poker, pocket seven. Shelly, Dean C. <laughs> Appreciate you guys being here in the chat. We are 50 love. likes away from you doing another giveaway. On YouTube. Thank you for all the support in the Twitch and the YouTube. Thanks so much for all the likes and subscribes we're seeing, all the comments. We appreciate all that traction and action. Live at the Bike brought to you by Bally's, the longest running poker stream. Thanks for continuing the legacy here at the Bicycle <laughs> Casino here. Headphonious Monk on Twitch. Grimcast. Nate. TV tokens. Just a few people that I'm showing some love to. As Berkey has the check mark here with an eight. Beefy. Good fold, man. 825. Good fold. 825 as he puts in a thousand dollar chip. I love the awkward numbers. You got his check? He's clean. Maybe he had the same hand. Berkey have a hero clean? call on him? Let's see if Yifei can get one through here. I'm not sure if he's won a pot all day, to be honest. He is. Not played he a lot won, of hands. He and... won one when he bet that 2,500 and everybody folded. <laughs> oh, that's right. But it was a very small profit. That's right. Yeah, he's not been involved much, and when he has been involved, it's seemed to go against him except that one hand. But maybe he can get this bluff th through here potentially. Uh, he oh, but not. He gets the hero call from Berkey. <laughs> he started smiling as soon as Berkey he grabbed the chip. And he did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Nicely played there by Berkey. Game is definitely far from the button. And hats off to Yiffe for firing off a bluff. You gotta, you gotta give it to people for giving action, firing off bluffs Berkey like that, even when it doesn't hit, work. And then he'll still station you. <laughs> <laughs> I set it up, man. All right, let's do a roll call between this hand. Everybody in both chats, yeah. let us know where you're watching from. You can say the country, you can say the continent, you can say the state, you can say the city, you can say where in your house you're watching from. I don't care. Just participate. It is interesting to see the countries and the cities come in. That's a fun chat game to play, no doubt. Yesterday, people were just shouting out continents, and it made my night for, <laughs> no, for no reason. The old continent play. Five kitchen? Two of them. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Minkulik poker. Man, it's like poker. Berkey just doesn't want me to play on my birthday. 
I'm trying to save you, man. <laughs> I know what birthday run bad looks like. <laughs> Pot here for Berkey. Dream flop. Re raise pot. He's got the ace three hearts on a seven five four two heart flop. Yiffy in there with the over pair, the black nines on this red seven five four two heart flop. We've seen a bet 2,000 when checked to here. Almost a pot size bet 2,000 into 2,200 here. Gonna really put the pressure on Yiffy. Cool. Good fold there by Yefe with the overpair. Not easy to fold over mm. pairs, mm. but a good time to do so. A lot of equity there versus with Berkey. I saved you. You were going to get cooled off there. I had a king and a queen. 6-8. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you're probably probably telling the truth, actually. All right, we'll see if I really have the birthday right. Favorite back. hand. This one's your favorite hand. I'll favorite try. hand. That's not good for me. I'll check in the well, dark. Well, it's not Jack, so <laughs> you're doing okay. That's not a good board for a favorite type of hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one loves kings or that, That's how greedy I am. <laughs> I had a kind of favorite looking hand too, but... Mm. Favorite hand. Mm. <laughs> No, I can never say that again. <laughs> I mean, it is. Unless not a, I bump aces up. That's not a good board for a favorite type of hand. What do you mean? Three to Some straight, three to a flush, aces. king high. Woo. Uh, <laughs> you should have just called him down with ten high and be like, Berkey's favorite hand must be lower than ten high. <laughs> I, just rolled. I, I mean, I should, <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? I honestly should have. He's like, really? Is your I honestly should assume that his favorite hand is some trashy. Some small, like. yeah, exactly. <laughs> some two small cards. Oh. Favorite hand, favorite suit, too. Oh. Made a straight flush when I was a kid. The old 5 4 spades. Oh. You're still a kid, Berkey. I think I made a straight flush for 5 3. Oh, for What's up? Playing. Oh, I don't remember. I just know it was 5 4 spades. Mm. The old steel wheel. I probably put in way too much money pre flop. <sighs> Some things don't change. Players pocket pairs here, sevens versus fours on this Jack six six ten board. Ground ball gonna check call the five hundred here. Queen of Hearts on the river. Ground ball is still in this pocket Love sevens. PP's gonna check back the pocket fours. Brown ball's got to be ecstatic to win that seven. pot on that board. Nice hand there for Brown Ball in his pocket set. Not a bad slob. Nine, six 
hole. Cool. Can we get here from PP with the pocket sixes? Oh. Hmm. With the pocket tens, excuse cool. me, not to 600 with the pocket so tens. Old end. Love be fun. Yeah. It's like Vibes <laughs> is going to call from the small blind here with Ace King, a bit unorthodox of a play here from Vibes. Wow. 13. And five. Are you learning from Berkey? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I actually mean 24, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If they hear four bets, 20, 30, 1,300. <laughs> <laughs> this hand is chip. playing <laughs> unexpectedly in a few different ways. Oh, Vaki style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good Ishan out of the pot race. Vaki, your style is uh, trending right now. <laughs> 13. <laughs> 600 to 13. Let's go. Yeah. Let's click poker. That's a potential Take back raise spot here for Johnny Vibe. <laughs> potentially why he flatted. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he was hoping to set up a back raise possibility here with all the players behind him in the pot. <clears throat> Although he's probably unexpectedly expecting to see that four bread from Yefe. He's been pretty snug all day. Hasn't really gotten involved in much, so he's probably a little confused by okay. that four bet. But okay. Well, that was a very short time tip. <laughs> yeah. In <laughs> seconds. I never, seconds. I never use them anyway, uh, so. Reasonable. <laughs> Looks like Vibes is just going to play it as a call. A little fearful of the random four bet from a pretty tight player in Yefe. And what do you know? Ace, nine, nine, Eight. flop. 800. Absolutely graveyard flop here for Johnny Vibes. What a dream scenario here for Yefe, who four bet king nine of clubs here. Catches the ace, nine, nine, flop. Yeah, got Johnny Vibes in the crosshairs with ace, king. Call. I check turn. Three player. Eight of spades on the turn. Ace nine nine rainbow. Eight of spades on the turn. I bet in 2400 on this turn now. PP3 bet pre flop. Johnny Vibes just flatted from the small blind with Ace King. Yes, a four bet King Nine of Clubs. They both called the four bet to see this flop, and that comes Ace Nine Nine. Twenty four hundred for Vibes to call now. Yefe with only 9k oh. left behind, and he's going to go all in here. Oh, he's king. Call. Gets the call. Oh, Dream scenario nine. for Yefe here. Oh, wow. Yeah, king nine too. What the fuck? I king nine of diamonds. Absolutely <laughs> squirrely hand preflop. flop <laughs> Yeah, I king nine of diamonds. Absolute birthday cooler for vibes here. I was like, he's so tight here. Um, I was going to move all in preflop, but I just thought I'd only get called a king. <laughs> I king nine of diamonds. I need an ace. <laughs> I need a two out chop here. He does not get it. No ace. It. <laughs> wow, Mink X with king nine suited. <laughs> and from comes an ace nine nine. I had king nine suited also. <laughs> so I don't know. Like funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> get him with the Mink click. <laughs> That was a funny. Uh, that was a yeah. funny hand. That was so awful. Yeah, that's a rip. Huh. Probably the worst hand. I wish it would work out that well for me when I did with King. I think, I think it's fine after the flop. I would have just re repopped it free. Thank, Thank you. I was just trapping. I mean, on the flop, like, yeah, you're never gonna get away from it. They have the best hand, like, almost always. <laughs> or top. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I literally can't I believe that. I had King-9 suited too. <laughs> That's the funny part. 
Kind of like shit. Shit. No, because here is I call three bet, call four bet, and then yeah, I was only shit. at the He <laughs> just, <laughs> he just <laughs> literally has not played one hand, and then he four bets. King. Well, that's King why he's taking it. You missed bet. your four bet. He fucking punched you. I was about to say, I was about to say. Oh, yeah, he went. Yeah, yeah. Raise, three bet, call. Call, three bet, call. Yeah, he had a chance to four bet. But. I just oh, didn't want to yeah. punt. I just didn't want to like pay off someone who's never played a hand. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Bro, do you not see what I'm doing to this poor bastard? Yeah. I was gonna say. I'm hitting him with the five high. You gotta get in there with the ace king. Adding ten thousand. What do you say? Get his ass. Let's fucking go. <laughs> wow. Well, well, Maybe he's just been really card dead. Yes. Go go look at the replays. You want hard to go at the The maximum king nine suited. That's like. The One of the most frustrating hands I've ever played. <laughs> that was a birthday hand if I've ever seen one. That was a really Very bizarre just gets birthday, birthday hand there for five. Yeah, uh, I know, know when I see it. Yeah. All right, I didn't expect King 9. Check. <laughs> that was unexpected. Mason no, because also I had King 9. Masato so popping like, top set here at the pocket, please. Won. You expected then, aces instead? I thought he had ace king. Or ace queen. Yeah. Hold on. All right. But only one. Oh. That's all you get out of me. Okay. How could you not bet? You got full pot on the flop. What changed? Psycho. Is it one time? Five bet. So if his timer goes to zero, it's a check? Yes. It is. Got it. So close. Could have got two. Hmm. So you could, like, if you want to check, you could just pretend that you're thinking for 30 seconds and have a check for you. Yeah. <laughs> and I can do that. Think, oh. Think, oh my gosh. People will think that you're, like, weak. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're thinking about betting or yeah. something. And you're forced to check. Yeah. Or maybe they'll think you're stronger. Yeah. That's a good uh, strategy. <laughs> That's a good strategy. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, that's true. What time is it? Anyone have time? 5.30. Okay. Gold. C3, 150. Raise, C4, 500. Gold. Oh my god, he's playing out of the rack. <laughs> Let's get him. C6, call. C3, call. Replay. I'm rooting for you, Johnny. Sure. I'm rooting for me, too. Reasonable. Huge flop for vibes here. Yeah. Up and down, straight draw with okay. the flush draw. Way in there as well with top pair of king kicker. Berkey in there with a piece as well. He's got a pair of jacks. <coughs> We're going to bet 600 into 1500. Berkey's going to tag along with the second pair. Let's see how Vibes plays this. He's going to raise to 3000 with this double draw. We saw earlier, Wei is not an easy guy to get off a hand. Hasn't been involved a ton, but he did call a mat, he did call a really big overbet earlier from Masato. Like one of the most heroic calls I've ever seen. <clears throat> and hand 48 of the stream, if you happen to want to go back and check that one out. Hand 48, one of the most incredible hero calls I've ever seen from Wei here with the bucket hat. Now he's facing a raise from Vibes. Check that hearts. He gets out of the way as he's racking up his chips, perhaps wanting to preserve his session here. Berkey gets out of the way. Bye -bye. Nice bye -bye. win there for Johnny Vibes. Stand up, uh, yeah, now he can stand up. 
Hug. No way leaving the up. table. Stand up uh, game instantly activated. Uh, there we go. I wasn't sure who the lone objector was. I didn't realize if it was him or schoolboy Way. What are we doing for five? 100. No, way 100 is way too small. Well, for a 2550, it's pretty big. Cause some well, people, 50 <laughs> KD. No, some people only have like 10,000. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, cool. Yeah, from next hand, from next hand. Yeah. Next hand. From next hand because okay. he already fought it. Ah. Well then, I want to take my straddle back because I straddled because I thought it was a hunt. I don't know, right? <laughs> Price, Price There's only seven of us, right? Whatever. Price is not decided yet. Okay. Right, How fine, much? Fine. I, I know you agreed a hundred each. All right, fine. Next I'm time. fine. I'm fine. Whatever. Like fine. everybody. How about everybody? A hundred each. Two. Hundred each. Two. Two hundred each. Yeah, fine. He's the shortest stack. I don't care. Let's go. No, he's the shortest stack. He's six. Oh, he doubled. Four hundred. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, you're right. They're trying to come to terms on the $100 or $200 bounty from next stand. Up. Two each, you said? That's what they want. Yeah. Two? Okay. Johnny? No, no, no. Speaking of the stand up game, I see what you're about to say. Stand up game, where is Eric Johnny? Person? I literally don't Eric Person has played the stand up game hundreds of times, but has only lost it once. That's very impressive. Very sick. But not surprising knowing his style of play. He doesn't show up to the casino to fold, I'll tell you that. He is coming to play as Eric Person, no doubt about it. That man took an origami oh. class and folded never. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's hard to do. <laughs> is it? Look at that flop. Yeah, Two diamonds in the flop. Right? Got a couple players of diamond yeah. flush draws well, here. Well, yeah, what do well. right, but who cares? Well, what do you know? Eight. Seven diamonds That's on the flush, turn though. somehow. That diamond okay? found the turn here. Berkey is okay. flush. Bala has a bigger flush. Nice spot here for Brown Bala here. 2,500 in this pot. Six. Yeah, you guys only got one more chance to win a free membership if you get to 500 likes. You guys are in the final hour here. Berkey going to bet 500. Let's see how Brown Baller plays this. He's going to play it as a call. I'm trying to underwrap his queen high diamonds here. Doesn't want to let Berkey know he's holding just yet. 3,400 in the pot now. Berkey first to act here. Flush over flush situation here. Is a paired board. And that should dissuade the pot from getting too nasty here, but definitely going to be some bloodshed on this river, no doubt about it. Let's see what Berkey sizes for here. We're going to bet 1,500 into 3,500. 1,500 for ball to call on this Pot just shy of five grand here. Wow. Nice value raise with that queen high flush. Five, Gets a call from Berkey. Well played there by Brown Bala. Brown Bala is now the biggest stack at the table. Finally, you can play the stand up right, game. No. So the biggest shot of that one. Yeah. So, bump out is not including in the stand up game. No. Bump out? No, it's not, it's not included. included. Okay. okay, so basically, uh, from next hand. Yeah. There's only five hand roll left, right? Okay. It's good, it's good, yeah. I mean, the pot is so smart. <laughs> uh, how much money would I be up if each one didn't cool with me? There's <laughs> <laughs> only 6,000. 6,000 here, 6,000 there. The other one wasn't a cooler, I had King. It's not a cooler. You got like King 7 suited and I had King. King 8 suited on the button. Yeah, but that's not a cooler. That's a cooler. Not much action so far in this double board bomb pot. Everybody ante sees the flop action starts from the flop onward. Half the pot to the top, half the pot to the bottom. We'd like to have a piece on each, preferably the nuts or near that on either board. Fold, 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 fold. Yeah. 
Like right, a seven pretty good spot for Masato here with the trip sixes yeah. and the jack. He's going to take it yeah. down for the nice win. Yeah. Uncontested. Yeah. Until I yeah. miss it. <laughs> what are we, 150, or 150 or two? Whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys want. 200? 200 is fine. 200 is fine. Who is it? You there, right? Two, 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 two. Oh. Looks like they have come right. to terms here. They are going to do a $200 anti stand up poker. Ah, Shrado. Last person to win a pot, last person standing goes each player at the table $200. Uh, it's gonna be a big pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It ended up being a $1,200 penalty. Six players paying six players $200 a piece. We are seven handed, so. <laughs> yeah. Definitely will incentivize people to win the pot, or they will have to pay out $1,200 for being the last one to win a pot. So, you should see a lot of action here in this incoming round. Oh, we should tell. You have to show. Oh, you have to show your hand, oh, yeah. yeah. You have to show your hand or, yeah, yeah. or you when you win the pot. Yeah. yeah, when you win, yeah. It is if called the stand-up game, but it looks one. like they're going to remain seated for this one, it looks like. But the essence of the game remains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this, is, this, this is This is what he won. <laughs> this is what he won. <laughs> Four bet. Stand-up game. Waking this up. Yes, it is. Oh, we should. You, you did something for you. Now getting four bet by the I tightest player at the table. To. That's why I didn't ask for it. Oh. Berkey sniffed that out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Berkey said, oh, all oh. in. <laughs> sniffed it out like an old school vet. He got the show. He showed his tent. Berkey is just crazy. <laughs> he's, just, he's insane. You can't four bet bluff Berkey. <laughs> the stand-up game. Yeah. Stand-up game instantly showing dividends, instant action as we broken. suspected. Broken person. <laughs> broken person. He's <laughs> a broken yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> broken person. Let me sit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So you see that one single chip, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, right in front of Berkey's stack. That is a he marker to let him know that he is safe yeah, yeah, in the stand-up game. Off. <laughs> they sit down because of our camera man. angles. Uh, Everybody like stand up makes no <laughs> sense because the cameras would be <laughs> off. Yeah, I don't want to sit with him because, you know, he's going to... Oh. I have a good hand. That's <laughs> oh, bad. You can lose this stand If I had a bad hand, I would have called. Okay. Who loses this this right now? Who would I pick? <laughs> Who's going to be the last person to win a hand? I'll probably go with PP. <clears throat> Ah, ah, he showed some heart already, but maybe that's gonna defend if you want bucks. to or get stacked. Yeah, sure. Right. Twenty dollar prop bet. Someone else loses besides those I'm two people. Get the the push. Yeah, we gotta we gotta have the winners. So I got uh, I got PP as last Are man sure? standing, and you have Yefe. Twenty bucks. Okay, that it sounds juicy. Trying to make back all my uh, channel right. membership. There you go. I, <laughs> I hope you win, brother. I hope you win. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> I might as well just Yife showed the showed the balls to to bluff at it, but I think that kind of yeah. Okay, money's on the table. I see you pulling it out. I'm down. You want two tens or a twenty? How do you want it to be okay, paid? Twenty American. Twenty. All right. Let's see if I can find a twenty here somewhere. Uh, two tens works. All right, two tens. I think mm. two tens it is. I got. I'm doing the prepay jinx thing that all these all the poker players know full and well. Trying to see if I can get that jinx equity to work, but we shall see. Check. 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 So it's spirit, right. I put 100 down because I don't have change. Oh, there you go. All right. Battle between Masato and Brown Bala here. Turning into a game of chicken. Neither player with any kind of hand as we get to this river. Ace high versus king high. Check to Masato on the button. He's got king high. Got to be very tempting to bluff here. But is it a trap? That's what he's sensing. Is Brown Baller trying to trap me into betting I here? Check. He thinks it's it was. Right. He checks. <laughs> oh! And Brown Bala is safe <laughs> and sound. Yeah, I knew. I knew it. I feel it. You're going to call me like, you know, eh, whatever. Call. Uh, like five three of clubs. Uh. <laughs> you already have a button. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I win a pot. <laughs> 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 
Uh, straddle? Spicy. Oh, straddle? No. Yeah, straddle. No. Straddle. 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 Do you want to? He doesn't want to. If you want yeah. it, you can do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's yeah, a weird. Straddle for 100 and... 200 and he's straddle. 100 in C5 and 200 in C6. Oh, okay. but he, oh he, he, sorry. I didn't realize Johnny didn't have anything else. He doesn't, but it's okay. My bad. No, that's fine. Okay? You going to do the 100 in C5? Yep. Yeah. All right. C5 straddle for 100. Oh, he said. <laughs> Straddle's on. <laughs> oh, and we got a straddle going. <laughs> what do you call the flop with? Yeah, yeah 10 high. High. No, no, no. King, king high. high. Oh, king, king high. high. That is the guy I bet on yeah. Ife to lose. Puts on the straddle. That's not good. You could probably win <laughs> Check, check on the river. When you call my one, my dark bet, then I think that oh, oh. How many won't try to bluff much anymore. All right, right. All right, here we go. Yeah. Somebody with a lot of courage. <laughs> Nick is in oh, there. Change your mind. Yife oh, with ace eight, eight on the straddle. This is not go. good for me. Here we go. You basically, it's close action. King ten nine, two hearts. Check, check. check. Much rather player. Bob's just get five sketches a favorable flop here. He's got an open injury. He also has a jack of heart, which is a little helpful here in this two heart flop. Sato in position. Is that big for Johnny? That is. He's got the straight here. This is good for me. Two, three, four hundred. Full, full. Nick's not holding just yet. The first hand of stand up game, 26,000 all in. Yeah. <laughs> it's ace in oh, <laughs> 10 against King 9. <laughs> Next playing it as a check call nice. here. Wow. Interesting <coughs> development straight on the board now. Seems like a reason to try to rep that ace. This is so fucking tilting. Oh no. He's calling top, doesn't top even get the chip. Buttons. Top Nick bets 800 here. Top of the button. Yay! Top of the button. That is pretty tilting when you have the best bank counterfeit. Oh, and I can't man, remember Johnny how they score that. Is it, does that. That doesn't count as a win for either player, right? Or does it count as a win for both? He was drawing dead, John. <laughs> I guess they'll probably mention that here in the drawing coming the seconds. Drawing, drawing dead to a chop. <laughs> or a foul defense. deck. Defense. Good defense, Nick. Good Ooh. defense. Good defense. <laughs> <laughs> Picture says a billion dollars there. Ah, yeah. That's you, man. I never said that game. <laughs> so All you kids at home, don't fucking play poker on your birthday. <laughs> I agree with that, Berkey. My God. It's nothing good will ever happen. I agree. <laughs> well, tell you can win a lot. No. No one would want to play poker. It just seems dinner, like a bad idea. Like a dinner, yeah. Hang out with your happy friends. Birthday don't vibes. play this degenerate game on your birthday. <laughs> Ah, I like it. Uh, poker players always wants to twist the knife. Like I, I can't remember being this tilted that. in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even with air ball, seven, eight, deuce. No, this is like peak tilt for me. Yeah. Yeah. More. Peak tilt. Peak oh. tilt. Sounds like a good beverage. I mean, that would be a good one, yeah. Like a good Red Bull fucking that Red Bull cousin or something. <laughs> peak tilt. <laughs> peak tilt. <laughs> I assume that counts as a win for neither, and that they're still liable here for, for a win, I think. Yeah, neither. Yeah. Wear any jewelry? Can't oh. chop. Gotta win. You wear any jewelry? That makes sense. Jewelry? Like chain or like earrings? You have a jewelry. Oh, jewelry. Jewelry. What? Yeah. Like, like oh, this, sick. Or like necklace. Nice. No, like Let's USB, I, I love it. Do you used to? Yeah. Why are you sure. stuck? Uh, I don't know, for like I changed my style. Oh, okay. Because before you were a partier, so you had jewelry. Yeah. And now no partying, then no more jewelry. Okay, You're right. I see. Okay, reasonable. Like even like a watch. No watch. You gotta bet his yeah. nine X, hoping to I I might, I might buy get out of the like, bet. Ooh, yep. a so your your bet is oh, dead. There you go. I am drawn dead. I need. No, no, yeah. no reminder. It's, <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. Is it not 100 penalty. If you're yeah. a mine, you pay everyone. Big still in it. Vibe still in it. Shadow's still in it. Like, you know. Okay, fine. My last Maybe standing horse it. is uh, dusted. Fine. Fine. Uh, I straddle. Yeah, all right, $10 settlement? Ooh, is he going to take the $10 settlement or is he going to go for the 20 Oh, man, that is tough. 310, he can lock up a 10 or he can let it ride for the 20 
Oh man, that is tough. Ooh. I like to gamble. All right, I think he's gonna press it. It looks like he's gonna press. He's still, he's still, still time banking though. Wow. We shall see. Wow. You gave yourself handicap. We shall see. Yeah, you reminded him. I think I'll take the settlement. He's gonna take the settlement. He's gonna take the free ten. He's gonna take the free ten. He's gonna take the free ten. We settled out of court. <laughs> settled only because this pays for my valet immediately. <laughs> settled out of court. We got the valet paid for. Well played, sir. Well played. Well played. Nobody went broke taking a profit. 18. If I would have won, though, I'm going to be butthurt. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to be Now you're gonna be tilted. <laughs> I'm going to be so tilted. Now that's what I got to root for. Now that's what I got to. I got some I good rooting. I did not here. see the settlement offer coming at all. It's always fun. I got to add a wrinkle. You know, you got oh, to offer the settlement. Mathematically, it's oh. a good play for you to take, obviously. Chat, let me know if that was a bad settlement or a good settlement. Pretty good play. That was a great play on your part. It's a very fishy settlement offer by me, <laughs> but I felt like fishing it up. There's like what five people left to stand or something like five people left to win a pot or four or five left to win something like that. Bala Masado, Vibes, Weefe, and Nick. Wow, we have the same hand. Same. Yeah, but mine was suited. Way more likely he's not going to be the last to win. You won the pot. We're down to four. Yeah. Down to four. And then if he gets down to Wee and like one other person, I'm going to lose it. So three players. Made you too good an offer. You couldn't pass it up. I almost did. Couldn't pass it up. This is with five people left. You got to. You got to. It's such a juicy, fishy offer. You got to take it. I can almost promise you that brown ball is going to straddle next game if he loses. Five is going to come along with 10 free off from the button. He's trying to win a hand so he does not have to pay the tax. Oh, no defense for yourself. Oh, Vibes does lose That's or win. I'm sorry, oh. so he loses himself. But he shows the 10-3. Yeah. 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 He has a head. Yeah. 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 All the ten high is good. Masato. Now you and me. Heads up. Yep. I got position. Uh, yeah, you have position for now. <coughs> Don't worry. Yeah. I'm here to defend. Uh, <laughs> Where did yeah, follow so. Gwyn Farmer? Uh, <laughs> my trip. I want the, the pain great to fall of Berkey. Show me some mercy. Heads up. <laughs> visually, it's a little nicer when they're all standing. You can kind of visually track it a little easier. I wish there was like fluorescent chips or something on the table, but yeah, it's harder to keep track of it. But the players obviously are keeping good track. Oh, you know what? I think I just saw the marker. What's happening here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jim. Check. <laughs> <laughs> if it is Masato and we fade, I would have won. You didn't fall for my trap. Four players. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Ace, king, three with two spades. Nice flop here for Brown, Brown Ball. He does flop the ace. <coughs> oh no, Masato has a three. Vibes in there with Good the gut shot straight draw. He's also got running nut spades as well. Oh, oh, you're gonna try? Yeah. Okay. What do you need, like four, six? Pairing check. king on the turn. Masato checks. Check around. Checks through. Duck on the river. No flush coming in. Check. 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 Ball is still in the lead. Let's Two see. Two No. <laughs> oh, yeah. He already has that marker up top. So he's just a side of Two Ball is going to take it down. <laughs> three. Uh, three. Three. Uh, wow. You're not getting tied. Could have won. Down to two people? Is that right? <laughs> you want to take Masato for 10? <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Oh, man. Is, is it really down to two people? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the boss. Still stick with Weefe. Uh, As the last person to win a pot? I think the last person to win a pot. Yeah. I think Masato is going to win a pot before. I think Masato will, too. What if I do uh, give it to you? I can't yeah. make another oh, massive fish bet to you. Stop making fun. Let's see if you. You were right. Pete won 150. <clears throat> Call. Sides with the dimes. You say with Ace Jack. Oh no, maybe, five, maybe. Three. There we go. Maybe. Matter where I mean, woke up and they thought I know he's gonna get Ace Jack. I definitely would have. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Usado is 7 5 coming six, along. Six. I think we're going to see a three way flop here at least, though. I think we're going to see Nick and Vibes continue, potentially get a four bet from one of those two. We shall see here. He's looking at Yifei with that three bet, like, damn, if you win, I'm going to lose. <laughs> and he grabs extra monies. He flat calls a flat 7 5 of clubs. Wow, a lot of premium hand. <coughs> Masato, I would rather have Masato's hand in his hand. He's definitely, you know, a lot of uh, people sharing cards with the high, higher oriented cards for sure. They go high. He's hoping to go low here on this flop. And Johnny Vibes Johnny! with the diamond is somehow a dog in this fight. Decides to repop the crap out of him. He's raise here. Four bets. Yeah. 61 50. Big re raise here from Vibes. He said, I'll take this down here and now. Putting in like a third of a stack preflop here with the pocket tens. E fade says all in, it'd be nuts. Does he have the courage to go all in for 20 large here with ace jack? He's gonna use a time chip. That's not good for vibes. Vibes definitely hoping for snap holds Damn for it. sure. If he gets jammed on, he probably will not love it. I could have hit backdoor flush. Hoping to just take it down preflop <laughs> as vibes. Say, man. I should have just. Masato cannot come along with 7 5 clubs. That would be pretty ambitious of a gambit, that's for sure, with 7 5 of clubs. He's down about a little bit over 10k in this game. Boy, if Yifei could see Vibe's cards, he would just be thrilled to send this in with the two overs. Flipping against pocket tens. Oh, and and he's going to go all oh. in here. You look at you. you Jack. <laughs> literally milliseconds after oh you said Oh, my that. goodness. Here we go here. Vibes has to be puking inside. And Nick has to be questioning his hand, period. Nick's got an amazing <laughs> hand to flop C with <laughs> here. Quick, yeah. It's a quick take. Ah, he's got to get out of the way. Oh. You got something? Not really. Vibes is going to call it off here. Hoping he's got the bigger wow. ace X. Big flip here. King Coon is suited. Baby. I think King Vibes hands hold. Well, Vibes got to be thrilled King just to King not two. be up against King Jack's plus. So oh, yeah, they said, think right, they said twice. Ten, uh, yeah. Here we go six, here. Six, 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 six. Not on the man's wow. birthday. Not on the man's oh, birthday. Get some birthday luck for Vibes here. He's left the tables. I feel him all that. Oh, ace in the door. Back to uh, uh, the only the first one first Yeah, possible, yeah. 10. So it sounds like very uh, shocking for me. Spades I need a 10. are dead for vibes on this one. You can't catch a little no, 10 here. Yeah. No, you're going to lose. You lost. Well, two out shot yeah. for vibes and no wow. out. Two pair. Why is it Jack? So one, you did eight, burn a jack, which vibes yeah, has yeah. to be happy with at least. Yeah, yeah. Burn two second board. Outs. Okay. Second board's got a car burn. I don't want to hear it right now. Yifei does not get the... The dealer button, or the... Here we go, clean Six. flop for vibes here. All rollers here, 763. It's got to fade an ace or a jack. Three oh, on the turn, safe, safe so, so far for vibes. Really Just bad. that last yeah, card here for vibes. Oh, you at home? Brick! Brick! It's going to be very painful. Deuce! Pray for a brick. 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 Deuce! Yeah, and he great. survived. Great. Up. Straight on the ball. So, yeah. <laughs> Neither player going to get that. Or, yeah, Yifei is not going to get that. Uh, Nick, stand up game button. I had tons of other Oh, I, sorry. I thought it was uh, him and Vibe survived. Those, through that those sunglasses yeah. turned into a pacifier there towards the end there. That's a good That's save there for Vibes. He didn't hear me. It would have been bad vibes been on the birthday there if you would have got I scooped. Wolfman in the YouTube chat, you were correct. There was <laughs> only one ten left as King yeah, 10 was so already played. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 That was fun. You fail. I know Masada's glad Why that they we... chopped. Chopped does not count as win. Well, the show's almost over. We could keep it going if you guys want. How much longer we got? It's probably like what? Yeah. You guys want to just keep it going? Yes, let's keep it going. One or two more? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's, let's keep it more? going. Yeah, keep it going. You don't want one? You don't want to? No? Yeah, yeah well, that way we can't okay. Everyone's go, go, okay go. with it? Yeah, let's go. Let's okay, go. One more stand up keep, game. Keep going. 
Wait, so who lost? I think yeah, Masada lost. Yeah, yeah. Gonna keep I guess so, yeah. Three you ever think I'm not in? <laughs> 200 <laughs> Oh, wow, all that. I think because Yifei won uh, the first one. Uh, 26,000! That one, well, there you go. That answers that. If you win the first board, I guess the first board's the deciding one. There you go. Um, My go. napkins are oh, the best. Family pot. Hmm. Five hundred. And you are ah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Five would have uh, big. Should I try to suck out on him? Hmm. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. You got trapped. <laughs> you, got trapped. <laughs> you got trapped. You got dropped there. You got trapped. Ah. Uh, you had a chance on to the check. Set board. Not I the want you board. to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing for you. You had a chance hey, to check. I have a hand. Oh. Uh, see, we could have coolered him. Oh. Right, mix out. But instead, you let him get away. Losado, you lost? Yeah, yes. he lost, yeah. Nip. I paid it. <laughs> Nip, you saved? Nip? Well, these guys went all in for like, <laughs> for like 20,000. <000. laughs> and Misato had like 7-5. I've back? actually never seen... I think like, they should, man. That was a, no, they're running it back. Stand-up game. Stand -up game. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I'll do a little have double ever, or nothing. Like, I'll do a... In your life? I'm sure I have. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll do a 20 spot that. on I'm, I'm not a somebody, although... Okay. Let's see who we're going to pick here. We'll wait till after this hand. Sure, yeah, we'll wait till after this. Just because we saw Johnny got aces, it doesn't yeah. seem fair. Yeah, nice spot here for vibes okay. with the pocket okay. aces. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 no more 500 with that bumpy. <laughs> wow, nobody bumped it up. Nobody bit the hook. Jack, 7 6, all clubs. Okay, Bala flops it. Order? Bala flopping it with order the 9 tray of clubs. Red aces for vibes. Or it gets too late. Yeah. I feel like that was a misstep, oh. just limping under the gun. Yeah, it ends up being when everybody oh, no. checks around, but obviously, you know, this, a lot of these pots have been raised, but took a gamble with it, but... It was a kind of a comedic gamble, though. It was a bit of... It ended up being a comedic gamble when nobody bit the hook, that's for sure. Look at PeePee in here with the nut clubs, though. He's got the ace of clubs on this three-club flop. Jack, seven, six, all clubs. There we go. We'll see a race oh, here yeah, for sure. Yeah. Raise. 2,500. Vibes just muck faces like they were ducks. Oh. Brown ball is going to continue. Okay. Stacks are really deep in this one, guys. We're 40k effective behind. 5k in the pot already. 5,500 to be exact. 39k effective behind. Stacks are deep here. Do you be thinking about jamming? Normally against a lot of players, I think he might, but since it's a 39k bet. See nine, 4,500. That's gonna be crazy. Let's see what Bala does here. He's plopped the flush nine high. Oh, oh me. He's gonna play as a check uh, call and see if he can get PP to just bluff have, off his chips here. Uh, six scrambled eggs cooked in butter and a side of bacon. Jack pears on and the river. A side of white rice with butter. Check. It's high. Go check, check. <laughs> Very important. They use like wow. Uh, wow. shitty pot oil. Brown you know. way. Big pot like there for brown ball. He's on a nice little heater. It seems Garbage like he's track. north of seventy-five k on that what? chip stack. I won. I had five of flush. I'm fucking like <laughs> Take your pick now. Good thing no club on the river. I'm gonna stick with uh, <laughs> Pippi. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride or die, Pippi. Drunk he shoved. Yeah, we're gonna just run back. We're, we're just running back. We're just running the back again. Yeah, All right. Might have called. That, that sounds fair. Might have called. Because because if, if he shoves, he's only repping that flush, yeah. right? Yeah. Like if he shoves, he can never have jack high flush or queen high flush, probably, right? To be honest with you, I wanted to pick Johnny, but I just didn't it's harder to right call if he bets like I hear you. Hot and a half or something. <coughs> like funny k or something. Can't root against a man on his birthday. Oh shit. But if he shouts, he's saying, I have. Oh shit. Here we go. Yeah. He would probably raise. Our boys are battling here. Go ahead. Yes! Yes! He won? $10 buyout? He forgot the Oh man. It's too late. It's too 
Phelps. Ace, 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 Phelps. No, it's too late. It's too late. You're too good at this game. You're too good, Cairo. You forget it's your responsibility. You got lucky last time because Masata reminded you. You can stick with your bet. Or you can buy it. Yeah, it should be a bet. 100 each. No, no, no. It should be 50 each. I'm gonna uh, let her ride this yeah, time. Right. I, want the, I want the whole right. 20. I want the no, suspense. It was time, so I just, you know. Come <laughs> uh, on, I, <laughs> <laughs> like I want the sweat. I want the so sweat. This is the second yeah. time now yeah. you don't have to mention it. Okay. I'm not fish. Okay, that's uh, fine. <laughs> 2000. <laughs> Do you have a coin? Coin? No. Okay, let it go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no defense. Wow, nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice to be free and clear in the stand-up game. It's not going to play credit card roulette. You get your card pulled. It's a great feeling. Get to sit back and enjoy the fireworks. I guess they paused the stand-up. Perky yet to win a hand. What did you show? Queen A don't suit it. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, you should have. Get out of the box, Corey. Oh, Thank that you. That time when Corey. Nick had Jack Tan and I had Jack Tan, it tilted me. You, that was that's so tilted. Yeah. Everybody yeah. in the chat yeah. would say, go PP, go PP, I go. I just limped, or I should have... Right? right? Get yeah, aces and jam it pre-flop, and everybody folds. Or I could have oh. just dunked the flop. <clears throat> I need Yefe to win a hand here. <laughs> I could have done anything. As we get our chip count, Brown Walla up top, almost $75,000. Nick James is yeah, 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 yeah. under that 20K. Yeah, one more time. Way is out of the yeah. game. James is also out of the game. Yeah. 200 years. Did Way yeah. leave with a profit? I can't remember, man. He only played, I just, he just played so few hands, but they were memorable, the ones that he played. It seems like he probably did win a little bit. And he did. He won about 10 grand. There you go. He walked right, with so it, too. It. James left stuck 31K. Yep, that was a tough one. That Trip Kings versus Berkey's 10s. Pocket 10s, 10s full on that pairing King River. That did it in for James, and that was the biggest win of the night for Berkey. Overbet the turn, got called. Overbet jammed on the river and got called when James hit Trip Kings. Kings to give Berkey a full house. That was a key hand. Hand 79, if you guys are wanting to check that out, that big hand between Berkey where he doubled up with the full house versus James, hand 79. I'm sure we'll be seeing that on the replay as well, in the highlights. Yes, Hang Lou, we only use two dealers here at Live with the Bike, so you're gonna be seeing them always. Jack nine. Nine doesn't really help, but it does give Johnny a stronger hand on the bottom board. His aces with nines, but they both have aces with nines now. Aces with jacks for Berkey, I apologize. I'm sure somebody sat on a duck or something, but... That was an interesting sound. Interesting noise. Somebody, we heard that earlier. People in the chat were asking about it. I'm not sure yeah. what that was. It's always funny when people ask, was that a fort? Yeah, it did sound like that a little bit. It could be a chair squeak, perhaps, but... We got some heat on this turn now. Berkey raised to 2,500. Putting vibes in a tough spot. Vibe's gonna tag along. He's got the top pair with the Kings. Probably thinking Berkey's raising with an Ace X on the bottom that they're gonna chop is what I imagine Vibe is thinking here, facing that raise on the turn. Probably assuming Berkey is raising with that bottom board locked down on that paired Ace board. Vibe's thinking he's probably good on the top with the King X. Sixty three hundred in this pot now. Option on Berkey, mulling his action here, mulling his decision. 6,300 in the pot.
Kirk with an absolute air ball on the top. He doesn't really have much on the bottom either. He does have some blockers for the bottom <coughs> board, but he's really out on a limb here as Berkey bet an eight grand in a 6,300. Double board bomb pot, a format of poker that's definitely a lot newer and not many people have a ton of experience or volume in, in this format of poker. A lot of guesswork. Feels like a loose call. Mm. Oh, yeah, five's only going to take down a quarter of the top. Oh, good. We chopped. Oh, okay. oh no, it is a <laughs> chop. That's a loose call. Aces and jacks for. With an, yeah, they chopped the top. Oh, I see. Okay. Nine. I'm a jack. Yeah, yeah. I thought you had a they nine. Both, yeah. They both had the nine to be three quarter, but yeah, he's got the. He didn't see the jack there for oh, Berkey. That was one of the hands I was trying to get the fold. Almost for. Very gutsy call there from Johnny Vibes. 15,000. Definitely very creative aggression there for Berkey. Definitely took a lot of. Gamble to make that bet. Hats off to Berkey for the He's bet and really Jack. gutsy call there by Vibes. Oh, uh, Ace Jack would have chopped. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not that many. Ace hands. King is four. four. Yeah, Ace Four. Yeah. <coughs> Probably not the person you should, should try to bluff right now. That was, right. That was what I was thinking right, when I tried bluffing. Yeah. <laughs> Our kings are clean. I'm like, he's not the person to try bluffing, but that probably means he's betting hands you shouldn't bet. <laughs> so how many people have left for the uh, round of game? Uh, one. Five? Have it. You, have, you don't have it. Four. You don't have it. Three. Four? Oh, uh, no. Oh, oh yeah, four. Three. Yeah. yeah. Four. four makes sense. Yeah. You have that one? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Call first, move the shadows, and fold, fold, raise to 300, call. Re-raise, 16, 25. 8, 5, 16, 20. Nick making it 300 from the cutoff here with Wayne Gretzky, pocket nines. Ife with the ladies. Ife waking up with the ladies. That's what I want to see here. These three bets at 1,600. I need him to not be the last person standing where I lose even more money to Cairo here. Okay, we need uh, seven more likes. I see you guys in chat You're saying 500 likes. Nope, we have to see that dials. Crank over to 500. Oh. Guys, somebody will win a channel membership upgrade. Just have to pick that random. Nick is going to complete here. He's going to call the raise with pocket nines. Heads up to the slop. Ooh. An interesting one at that. King Jack nine. Yiffe with the blockers to the straight. Nick flopping the set of nines. Nine. That's right. betting 900 here. Oh, Nick got a call at the pocket nines for the set here. King Jack nine, two diamonds. Oh! What do you know? A queen on the turn. He needed a queen or a 10 to outrun Nick's set of nines, and sure enough, he found it on the turn. A set of queens set over set here now in the stand-up round of poker. Action's heated up here. 5,500 in the pot. 3, Nick going to bet 3,000 now. A 10x does make a straight. Each player does have a set here. We got the stand-up prop going. Action's been absolutely insane ever since. Oh. Yiffy got a call with this set of queens. Four of spades on the river. 11 and a half grand in the pot as we speak. Nick with 12.4 behind here. Oh, and it goes check, check. It's going to go check, check, yeah, and is going to take it down. Wow. I stink. Wow! What a hand there. Set Big set. win for Yiffy. Jack or King on the River. Oh my god, I was just. Channel membership go. upgrade going out right now. Somebody <laughs> at random will see who it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was on the hook too. Mm. Dean C. Oh, that's You are the winner of our third giveaway of this stream. You have been bumped up. You got a free month of upgraded Live at the Bike yeah, look, channel membership. Cool. Enjoy, my friend. <coughs> I just knew. It felt like a good hand. Almost everybody with the green in the chat yeah. has won this contest. That's how you got them. Yeah. DC, competent vampire that won it. immediately. <laughs> oh, that would have sucked out that Congrats. time. Congrats. I see all the love. You know if nobody loves you, Kyle loves you. 
Yeah, PP now. now. Oh. With the queens. Yeah, I need him to no. win this hand. No. Me, you, and him. Yeah, this yeah, is good for me. And, uh... Bad for right. Adam. Yeah, three of us so three of us in right. Ah, I'm gonna defend it. Oh, I have only raised 300. Yeah. I am have very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't Four let players. the pig get cracked. He dropped them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ace, queen, four. Let's go. TP with a set of queens. Two players with ace. Johnny and Masato getting cooler. I picked PP as the last person standing. Cairo had Yiffe. We ran it back. I lost the first prop. I did offer a buyout, and Adam turned it down. And oh. now it's looking like my $10 profit is just going to stay with me as long okay. as no. Okay. Okay. Chris right. spades on. Oh, the that's turn. a check mark. We're good. We're good. Money secured. I can things put my looking, wallet away. Things looking very good for PP here. Looking good for my wallet. <coughs> Prop bets and booze, always good. I sweat. Okay. If Masato or Vibes would have just had a spade, we could have seen a lot more money go into this pot. This is not good for Vibes putting out a bet. 2500. 2500. Does PP elect to re uh, raise it? This twenty-five hundred dollar bet. I think he's in a call here. He's got the tops. He's got the set. He's got the flush redraw. There's really nothing for him to be scared of, other than just somebody having the exact king of spades. There's not really any bad rivers for him here, really. If the board pairs, he's got a boat. If the, if the river brings a spade, he's gonna have. Oh no, he's gonna try to extract flush. more value. So, yeah, Johnny. He, he's, he wants to keep Johnny in the hand, no doubt about it. Five of hearts on the river. Check. Check. He's gonna go check, check, and PP wow. is gonna win. He is not going to be the last one standing. Real hand. Two pair? That's safe. I saw Queens, I thought I had the best hand. Nice drop! Nice hand there for PP. Great spot there. He had the set. Why not you and lose Second flush redraw. You think he'll lose now? You think he'll lose now? Who is that? Finally, you and Ricky. Oh no, Ricky Johnny. and Johnny. Johnny. Starting to feel like this uh, post-game interview with Johnny. Uh, I'll bet on Ricky. Right today. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet on Ricky as well. I don't know. Actually, I'll take Johnny. Oh yeah? He's got that 100. dog yeah, in him. Sure, sure, sure. Do it, do it. Right. Hundred. Hundred on Johnny. Mm. I believe. See, there's profits. <laughs> profits at the table even. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Gamblers, <laughs> gamblers always want to gamble more. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, like you know, he he can like shopping. 26,000 with a standoff. How can he lose? Yeah. But he can still lose. He just has to lose the pot. <laughs> and look, he, he lost his secret move already. He didn't have 26,000. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he didn't have yes. his 26,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Eagles are yeah, well, unbiased. No. <laughs> Poker players and comedians, they always want to twist the knife. No How much pain can we bring upon our friends? <laughs> Yife with another pair of trips. He has really sprung to life here after three or four hours of inactivity. He's really... He had a stand-up game really benefiting him as a tight player. Definitely got him out of the muck for sure. That's no doubt about it. Uh -huh. That'd be it. Uh -huh. Now we have Five. a game. Nope. Almost worked. Right. A6-6-2 six, six, now. Yife in the lead with the trip sixes. 825. So put a dime into 1475 here. <coughs> it's gonna take a lot of creativity for vibes to continue. Coming this for hand. me, Berkey's out now. It's coming this way. <laughs> yeah, it's it is. Yeah, that's way. <laughs> and then if Johnny pulls we up, we just down the vibes yeah. of Berkey. Yeah. <laughs> Come to me. Come to Got the stand-up prop in action. 200 per person. Like this. Like this. <laughs> Johnny calls. Okay. He faced third barrel is going to be big. Definitely no reason for him not to continue to bet his hand for value here. He's got the trip sixes. A lot of value to extract for potential ace X's out there. Probably what he puts his opponent on after check calling that turn card. But obviously he ends up being pocket fives and not an ace X, but... He's thinking ASEX in his eyes. He's gonna bet here. 
2700. 2700, hoping to get a call. Spades did brick, it'd be a curious call for vibes, but... Never really bluff. He finds oh. the call. Chop. There we oh, go. Oh, fuck. Like back to the middle. Yeah. No, back to the middle. <laughs> Vibes have soured for Johnny oh, here in this last that. handful of orbits. The tough go here the last couple hours for Johnny Vibes on his birthday too, no less. Unfortunately, hopefully he can find a way to rally really strong here. We're in the final few hands of this quarter 50, $50 Andy. No limit stream here on Live to Buck brought to you by Bally's. We've been playing the $200 Andy stand up round the last two or three orbits. It's really heated up the action. We're down to the final few hands of this stream tonight. Will Johnny Vibes overcome in the end? We shall see. Hourglass is winding down. I got Kyra Loves Poker joining me in the booth. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by comedic gamble. Looking forward to the fireworks here as we got a few hands left. Oh. What do you feel, Kyra? new page that says Kyra Loves Poker. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Good one. I'm in this one. Second, second Instagram account. On Depends the yourself. Got a few <laughs> hands left here tonight. It's me and Johnny. really heated up since the stand-up prop has been in action. <laughs> yeah, of course not. I'm just kidding. Wow, Johnny <laughs> Vibes is two pairs. <laughs> no, there's more in the pot. Johnny Vibes. It's like uh, Berkey's going to be paying out this. Uh... Nick with a pair of sevens and a diamond draw as well. Give me some information. I require information. PP take a stab with this pair oh, plus oh straight gosh, draw. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it calls with this pair plus diamond draw. Vibes coming to life. Raising with two pair, 1,200 total, 1,000 more. There we go. Oh. Wow. Like this. Wow. Why not? wow. <laughs> He needs to dodge his diamond. <coughs> and he does. Clean queen on the river for vibes. 5,000. 5,000. Gonna overbet the pot here. Hoping to elicit a hero call from one of these two opponents. He did have a flu double like flush it. draw on the turn. A lot of straight draws as well. They all bricked on this queen of spades river. Definitely a story you can tell yourself to make a hero call here. 10 seconds. Vibes also still could be gunning for that stand-up as well. He's one of the two people who has have not won a hand yet. And does Nick lead towards that ideology you just said? Yeah, does that tilt him to make a call here? All the draws missed. Vibes is still on the hook for the stand-up oh, bounty. Yeah, fun for that too. Vibes has kind of been and a lot of hands here and kind of somewhat bleeding okay, here like these last few orbits, yeah. perhaps. <laughs> Nick yeah. thinks this is a tilt stand-up oriented stab here. 5k into 3900. I've never used like all of my time bank in the streaming game, but I use it like, you know, all <laughs> times again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Like it's between Berkey and Vibes, I believe, yeah. for the stand-up prop. I've oh. never... Oh, oh and, he calls. and he finds a call. Johnny Super. gets paid. Let's go, victory. Johnny gets paid. Uh, I try my best. <laughs> Nick did try his best to so put him on bluff. All the ingredients were there for a suicide mission from Vibes. He'd been bleeding. He needed to get out of that stand-up prop. I thought that was a bluff. Huh? I thought he was like Jack I I was going for Well played there by Johnny Vibes. The Vibes are starting to be restored here. Jay Flats and Jesse Vibes about to make a big comeback. Yes, sir. Shout out to Jay Flats, a.k.a. Jay Flatley. I would have been the King 4 off my last two games. Check the box in there. They're in a box. I'm hitting oh, an open mic after this. Jay Flats, the fourth wall. See you out there, man. Get one of those remaining spots, the 9 p.m. Are we running open back? mic. Yeah, but Jay Flats has a birthday show like April 8th at it's the a Comedy Chateau. Oh, 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 sweet. What, what date is that again? April 8th. That sounds like a date. Sounds like a date. That sounds like a date. Hang out with me. I'll be in the audience. I might even introduce him on stage because I'll probably pull a Kanye and just go up there and grab the mic. That would be interesting. Have your little Taylor Swift moment. 
I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> I need a gamble. The best comic commentator in poker. Uh, oh, there's a few of them out there. I'm trying my best, no doubt about it. Who's another comedian poker commentator? Uh, well, Joe Stapleton does. Uh, stand up. He does stand up as well. He actually did a lot of opening and featuring for Norm Macdonald, actually. So yeah. Norm Macdonald. R.I.P. That is one of the legends. One of the best ever. I miss the best ever. Norm was super underrated his whole career. Unbelievable. I got the pleasure to hang out with him because I do comedy with another one of his uh, I was say, I acts. Do <laughs> I got to hang out with Norm in Vegas about a year before he died. It's a night the I'll never Pair. forget. That was good. And he ended up winning the Aria yeah, Poker Tournament. Overs. He got wow. down to the final Loose two people of like a hundred fifty dollar tournament. They chopped it. He won like six grand. Overpair. I'm playing with him. I'm seeing losing every sports bet in just hilarious fashion. He lost that sports bet where um, Westbrook lost to I forgot who it was. Lillard hit like a three from like the logo in the playoffs. How many? Norm had the other side of that. I see him just rip his ticket. He loses another, but he ends up winning the tournament. But it was a. And I'll never okay, forget uh, for sure with Norm Macdonald in Vegas. No, but, uh, less. I've got to meet some cool people along the along the way doing yeah, comedy for sure. Only two and threes. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. So two or three is one out of fifteen, right? Yeah. So three times one out of fifteen. So one out of. All right. Yeah, at some point, whenever I produce another comedy show, I'll definitely have Jay Flats on it, and uh, we'll both get to perform on the same show. So that'll be fun whenever. That comes into the fold. Hey, Flash, say I'm going to the Laker game to meet up with Staples right now. Oh, well, there you go. Shout out to Staples. Oh, 13. 13. <laughs> what? What's so funny? 13. Yeah, okay. What are you talking 13, about? 13. What'd you just One say? out of 13. One I out thought of there was 15 unique cards. <laughs> you know, he said like this. Well, I was approximating. They have the card like approximately 15 cards. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One out of 13. Wait, Reference what? Uh, the amount of times pocket fours is an overpair on the flop. What the genius? <laughs> it's two. Three. Three percent? <laughs> Wait, uh, you're saying how many vortexes are there? No, like how one percentage of the time. Oh, oh, oh. It'll you can get an uh, overpair. So it has to be two. So it's every, two out of 13. Yeah. Two out of 13. Two? Okay, okay come two, two, two. About no, it. each one is one out of 13. So it's one out of 13 that the first one is a two or three. Then it's one out of 13 that it's one oh. out of 13, right? You guys have never that? studied it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. So, it's, so do you add them up? You multiply them, multiply. right? Multiply. Oh, so it's one out of like 1,300 or something. Way less than a percentage. Yes. Oh. My 4% was, uh, was wrong. Adam, do you know why Queen Elizabeth always played poker? Because she was always guaranteed a royal flush. Ah, there you go. So it's two out of thirteen. I got it. So it's going to be three out of two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two out of thirteen. And then the next one becomes, assuming that one is checked yes, then you have to quadruple it. Yeah. Uh, okay. You got to read that. Those are your napkins. Okay, that was good. I had a good hand, but I already had a button. I <laughs> uh, clean five suited. I clean nine off. That's a good You made it like 500, I would have called. 800 is too much. You got you to gotta read these. <laughs> you got to read these. All right, I got some dad jokes in the chat. What's a poker player's... I'm sorry, what's a poker player's favorite fruit? You're a big what is it? Mm -hmm. it is a raisin. That's very accurate. And what is a truck driver's favorite way to win a hand? <laughs> what is his favorite way to win a hand? Semi bluff. Keep on trucking. There we go. We got the corny dad poker jokes. I'm out. I would never tell those on stage, but uh, that's not my comedic sensibility. But who has it? I don't care about. Be a little goofball on some dad jokes here in these last few hands of this. You? 25, uh, 50, oh, you have it. Oh, yeah. No Limit Stream here yes. featuring yeah. Berkey. We yeah. got Johnny Vibes, we got Masato. It's been oh, quite the action-packed oh, affair oh, so far oh, tonight. Oh. Definitely check out right. those highlight reels. It's been a huge hand so far tonight. So the Animal Kingdom was having a, a poker game, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the lion was there, uh, the elephant was there, gorilla was there, giraffe was there, but you know who they didn't invite? Who's that? Ben? The cheetah. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, very good. Don't want to have a cheetah around, that's for sure. Yeah. 
so in my race down. Sixteen. Yeah, both. We were on bullet. fire with the dad jokes. Uh, Brown Bala takes uh, it down with the pocket tens. Hand, yeah. Yeah. Everybody no, was looking out the window pre flop. Yeah, you do. What are you doing, man? <laughs> no object. <laughs> I should have been smaller. You guys would all call That's me. Right. You are twenty-five in the button. Do you know the if difference like between uh, so so God and Philhamius? Tens. Oh, oh, three ways. They're both the same person. <laughs> a God doesn't think he's Philhamius. Oh wow, that's very true. That's a good one. I like that. That's a very good one. Me, you, and yeah, him. The always entertaining and polarizing Philhamius. I'm building a wall. Mm. Yes. The Great Wall of Red Ishan. Yeah, Ishan. The Great Wall of Brambala. Uh, hold on. All right, down to the final first. few hands oh, here. Do you know uh, Jerry Fe Seinfeld is actually going to start a poker show? Interesting. Yeah. It's called What's the Deal? <laughs> That's good. One call. Three calls. That is good. Well, I got poker dad Deep. jokes and bad jokes. They're Deep. poker dad slash bad jokes. We got a lot of them here. A lot of jokes, a lot of comedy going on in the booth. These last few hands here at this quarter 50 stream. Live the box brought to you by Bally's. He's throw playing. Throw playing. King of the face. Maybe. We got Berkey in the lead here. He's got the ace, but a lot of equity from Nick here with the flush draw and the pair. Proper. Yeah. To no avail, however, Berkey secures the bag on the river here. Checks to Berkey, pulling the thin value bet here at the ace. Ay ah! Berkey says, "I am the trapper." He's gonna overbet here, hoping to. What is he doing? Not get any chops oh. from other people having an ace Big as bad. well. Yeah, Big bad yeah. Aces and sixes with yeah. the king. Obviously, there's no other ace in there, but he's hoping to put the pressure on somebody with an ace oh. x. What? He gets a call ace. from Nick with the oh. jack. He's gonna get an outright win here. Nice hand there for Berkey. Nick what the on life support stack now. Yep, Nick has been making some curiosity calls in previous streams I've watched with him. They've won, but a couple of the calls have came up empty tonight. But always nice to have Nick in the game. Always prone to pull off some unpredictable plays. Jay Flats in the chat says, How is a woman like a casino? 5x pop turn on kicker. Oh boy. 2x pop turn on kicker. Let's see what the answer is. Kicker is on the board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kicker, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, he said, how is a woman like a casino? Bluffing. Liquor up front well, and yeah, poker in the rear. Oh boy, boy it looks like a t-shirt you get at a carnival, I think. <clears throat> that was very uh, Barstow of you, Jake. <laughs> Here we are, Yefe with the ace, ten of clubs. He's going to make it 150 here in this final hand, I believe, of the stream. Let's see if we can get some fireworks going here. Shout out to Uncle Roger. Hiya! King Jack Jack, two hearts. No, I like his own. I would eat more like. Pee in the lead here with this top pair. Yefe, however, does have the Broadway gut shot to the queen. Battle of Yiffe oh. and Pippi. As we see this turn, he's going to need an ace or a queen. No luck, six of clubs. Pippi in the lead here with this king four. Pippi's going to check over to Yiffe here, who's got the ace ten. He's got the gutter ball. Needs a queen for a straight or an ace to outrun the kings of Pippi. Four. 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 He's going to bet half pot here, roughly, 425 into 875. Should be a pretty trivial call here for PP. He's going to check call here and go into bluff catcher mode with his weak king. Queen wow. on the river. What do you know? Yahtzee for Yefe. He makes the Broadway on the river, barreling all the way. Broadway on the river. Let's see if that'll be an action killer for PP here. Heart's dead brick. I think he might get paid on this river. PP's checking over to Yefe here. 1700 in the pot. Yeah, I should have known that it's 13. I don't know. It just feels like there should be. He's gonna bet 1800. Just a skosh over pot size bet here. Four face cards and an ace. This <laughs> final moments of this stream yeah, here, eighteen hundred dollars for PP. He was in the lead all the way until that final river card. Yeah, <laughs> and there isn't four Broadway. There's only three. 
<laughs> he still has top pair, but he knows that queen does complete some straight draws. It could have been barreling like the ones Yife has. Could it be a 10-9? Could it be an ace-10? Could he have king, queen, and had to beat all along? He finds a fold, and good fold there by mm, PP, and Yife is going to take it down for a nice win. Yeah. He was pretty dry most of the Sweet. session, yeah. but he really kicked it into yeah, over here this last yeah. hour and a half. Uh, yeah. Did Yife. What was your name? Hey, our final chip count to end this stream. Brown Bala, our big winner. 74000 up top. Matt Berkey, over $42,000. Nick with the biggest V-pip, but I think he took a big L towards the end. Matt Berkey and Johnny Vibes in that 40% percent tile. We, Yife, and PP in that bottom V-pip. And we go to our cumulative winnings. Brown Bala, Berkey, we and Yeefy. Yeefy, a surprising profit. Big time comeback. At the end, he really turned it on. Fourth quarter player as we watch James and Masato, PP, Nick, and Johnny Vibes. Only 3,300. You know, it doesn't feel like that big of a loss, I think, but his morale was just kind of beat up on his birthday, which if we do listen to Berkey, don't play poker on your birthday. I agree. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this stream. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I, got, I go by Comedic Gamble. I had Kira in the booth with me. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Thank you so much. We will see you next time. Yep. If nobody loves you, Kyra loves you. Brian, roll the credits.